بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله السلام عليكم everyone السلام عليكم to our Sheikh Adnan Rashid and Sheikh Muhammad Imtiaz welcome once again to Dawa Wise and also we're streaming at the same time inshallah السلام عليكم السلام ورحمة الله we're streaming same time and no Sheikh Imtiaz's channel as well so a very welcome to you Alhamdulillah. Imtiaz, but you're muted. Alhamdulillah. Sorry, I'm just. Uh, yeah. Alhamdulillah. Audio fixed Alhamdulillah. Here. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. And so today, inshallah. To, uh, to, to all the panel and to all the audience. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Yes. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. We're voting our you know, esteemed audience who are waiting eagerly to continue this discussion, inshallah, on the very religion of. Ahmadism, Ahmadiyat, as it's known as Ahmadism, whatever you want to call it, the Ahmadi religion. We are going to, inshallah, talk about a subject matter that is not known to many people, not even among the lay Ahmadis, in terms of whether Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadian himself believed in whether he is the second advent of Muhammad. Wasallam. Is this the correct? I mean, uh, are the audience hear this right, hearing this right, that this is indeed what we're going to talk about? Not about that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed of Qadian believed that he is the promised Messiah, Christ, Isa, but he is the second advent, second coming of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Adnan bhai? Absolutely. So, uh, inshallah, I'll uh, uh, hand over the case to the Imtiaz. He has all uh, the evidence uh, present with him. This is indeed the discussion today that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani not only claimed a lot of other things, uh, as you stated rightly, that he claimed to be the promised Messiah, Masih Ma'ud, to use the terminology which uh, the Qadiani fraternity uses, uh, that he was the promised Messiah, i.e. Isa ibn Maryam Alayhi salam. Alayhi salam, absolutely, radiallahu anhu, is used for the Sahaba. Alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, he basically, he is the return of Isa alayhi salam, as was promised by uh, Allah and his messenger. So, not only that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani claimed that, he also claimed that he was Ayni Muhammad, he was exactly Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Not only that, there are other crazy things that he claimed in this respect. And I will not give the details at this stage. I will let sure. Brother Imtiaz do that so that we can indulge in uh, the discussion uh, in, in a more detailed manner. Inshallah, over to you, Brother Imtiaz. Inshallah, before we do that, um, Ustaz um, Hashim, as alaykum to you. Um, the format today, inshallah, is going to be, we're going to have a very, very compact discussion, inshallah. So we are going to present point by point with commentary on this very issue. And inshallah, we hope to finish it, say, within two hours, inshallah. inshallah. Because yeah, a couple of hours, find... I think, uh, it's because of um, Brother Yemeni has a, has a debate just after this. So inshallah, we'll try to keep it short, uh, maybe less than half the time what we usually do. Yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah. So, um, uh, Brother Imtiaz, Tafaddal. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. He was salat of a salamu ala rasulillah. He am mabad. So, inshallah, uh, I would like to begin with this dua. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant all of us complete sincerity, ikhlas. And we are, inshallah, doing all of this to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to help the common Ahmadis who are, because all of these things, they are not common knowledge, especially in the Ahmadiyya community of today, and especially amongst them, those people who are not aware of the writings of Mirza Sahib and the Khulafa and the Jamaat literature. Our job is to present to them the truth. Obviously, beyond that, we can't do anything. We will present the truth in a conclusive, decisive manner, after that, we let them decide, we let them see that where do, do they want to go by the truth or they still want to stay in the darkness. So the choice is this. 
So inshallah, let's begin. Uh, Mansoor bhai, can you please uh, share my screen inshallah so I can start the first point. Okay, it's there. So basically, uh, the way we will go about this presentation is we'll go point to point because our live stream today is on the topic that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, he claimed to be the second coming of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So first, in the first part, let's establish that we are not putting any allegation. That is what he claimed. So as you can see on the screen, so this is uh, basically, uh, if I can make it bigger, so yeah. You can hide that margin on the left. Uh, how to do that, Ashimbai? So I can. Uh, it's it's okay. Continue, or you can just zoom it. See if you can zoom it. Because uh, the, the translation is on the rest of the page, so but because because the full page is not, I believe, visible at the moment. Yeah. So you know where it says plus or minus one hundred percent. You can yeah. maximize or minimize using that. If you were to take a mouse on your the window that's where you're sharing, you can just use this mouse to move the screen up or down. Okay, let's inshallah present the reference and inshallah people will be able to see. So it is Ruhani Khazain, volume number 17, page 254, Tohfa Golarviya. So because the actual text is in Urdu, Jaisa ke momin ke liye dusre ahkam e ilahi pe iman lana farz hai, aisa hi is baat par bhi iman farz hai ke a hazrat sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ke do boss hain. Ek boss e muhammadi jo jalali rang me hai, jo sitara e marikh ki taasir ke niche hai. Jis ki nisbat ba hawala torayat Quran Sharif me ayat hai, Muhammadur Rasulullahi wal-lazina ma'ahu ashidda'u ala al-kuffari ruhama'u bainahum. Dusra boss Ahmadi, jo ke jamali rang me hai, jo sitara mushtari ki taasir ke niche hai. In English, he's saying that as it is obligatory upon every believer to believe in other commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, likewise, it is an obligation of upon every believer to believe that Prophet, that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam has two advents. His first advent is referred as advent Muhammadi, and this is with the you can say with the grandeur, and this is under the effect of Mars the planet Mars. And the second advent is called Ahmadi advent. And this is like more in the form of beauty, Jamali rang me hai. And it is under the effect of Jupiter. Now, in this one, basically, we want to ask the following question. So when any of the Ahmadi cleric comes, here, uh, with regard to this reference, we have three questions. Number one, have we established from this reference that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad has propagated this belief that there are two comings of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. Number one. Number two, he is the second coming of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam. And number three, this thing about the Mars and the Jupiter, okay? These are the points we want Ahmadi clerics to discuss with us and to tell us and to establish us from this first reference. Adnanabai, over to you. Okay, Bismillah rahman rahim Thank you so much, Imtaz Bhai, for putting this reference out. For the Ahmadi community in particular, because these are the people we're trying to reach out we have nothing but compassion, mercy, and love for the community, our lost brothers and sisters in humanity. Okay, they are lost, and we're trying to gain them back. Okay, a lot of the Ahmadi missionaries, Qadiani missionaries, actually, I would like to make this distinction between the two uh, entities. One 
entity is the missionaries. The other entity is the masses, the people. The people are innocent. They are misguided. They are just following their Murambis, their Morvis, and their missionaries. And they don't know better because they are not allowed to read into not only Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's literature, but also the literature of Islam in general. They are not encouraged to read the commentaries of the Quran or the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu independently. Okay, they have to read the Qadiani literature that is given to them by the Jamaat, by the Murabbis, the Maulvis, and the missionaries. So the missionaries are Qadiani missionaries. We call them Qadiani. When we use the word Qadiani, we actually refer to the missionaries. And with a bit more respect, we will call the, the community the Ahmadis. Although we don't accept these titles, these uh, references given to the community. But for the sake of politeness, for the sake of reaching out, we will, uh, you know, use these references, although we don't accept these references to be valid, okay? But we, we're only using them for the sake of communication so that we can communicate respectfully and not degrade and disrespect uh, the community, the masses in general. So we have nothing but compassion, mercy, and love for the community. We're trying to reach out to them. We're doing da'wah. Which, we ha which, which is what we have been commanded to do. So in this reference, you can see that there is a claim from Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani that the Prophet of Islam will have two advents. He's stating this categorically, that the Prophet of Islam will not only have one advent, but he will have two advents. We are told Islamically in the Quran and the Sunnah that the Prophet وسلم, will co come only once, and he has since passed away. He is not going to come back. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Okay. In fact, the Quran tells us that the religion was completed upon the advent of Muhammad Rasulullah Ibn Abdullah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That Islam was completed with the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as a blessing of Allah. As Allah states in the Quran, "A'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Al yom akmal tu lakum dinakum, wa atmam tu alaykum ni'mati, wa radi tu lakum al Islam adina." Okay, that today I have perfected your religion for you, and chosen Islam for you as your deen, and uh, uh, I have completed my favors upon you. So today I've uh, completed your religion for you. Uh, and I have completed my favors upon you, okay, and I have chosen Islam for you as a deen. So, Islam reached its peak, its completion, with the advent of Rasulullah Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is claiming that's not the case. There is, in fact, a second coming of Rasulullah in beauty. The first advent was in grandeur, uh, grandeur as a uh, clarified by Badim Tiaz. The second advent is going to be in beauty. Okay. And as we will see in due course, uh, there there are a lot more absurdities from Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani in this respect. So three questions raised by Brother Imtiaz in this respect. Okay. We want these Qadiani missionaries and Murabis, if they have the courage to come forward, to tell us that uh, what is the answer to these three questions, these three points we have raised? Firstly, are there two advents of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Where did Allah say this in the Quran? Where did the Prophet himself say that he, there will be a second coming of his? We know there is a second coming of Isa Alaihi Salam, which Mirza claimed for himself. Okay, we know that clearly. This is clearly foretold in the Quran and in the Sunnah that Isa salam, will come the second time. Uh, in the Quran, it is in Surah An-Nisa, verses 157-159, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, none of the people of the book will uh, be left until they will believe in him, in Jesus, in, in Isa salam, before his death. And we know that the Christians and the Jews have not yet believed in Isa salam, and his message. And Isa salam, could not have died because there are still Jews and Christians who disbelieve in him. 
so it will be second coming of isa alayhi salam when they will all believe in him because he will tell them to believe in him or he will fight them isa alayhi salam this is how we know from the quran that there is a second coming of isa alayhi salam because the quran is very clear on this and in the sunnah we are told that isa alayhi salam will come with might and power to do certain things that mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani claimed himself because he claimed to be the return of isa alayhi salam first he knows he is not ibn maryam mirza knew that he is not ibn maryam he is ibn chirag bibi so in order to claim uh, the title of masih mawud or the promised messiah which is not actually an islamic term it is a jewish term it is a jewish idea masih mawud the promised messiah is a jewish uh, idea not an islamic idea we are expecting the return of isa ibn maryam as uh, a follow, follower of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is not coming back in his prophetic capacity he has already fulfilled his prophetic capacity he is coming back as a follower of the sharia of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam not as a new prophet of allah he has done his prophethood he has done his time he was lifted above alive he is with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he will return near the end of times however mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani had to kill isa alayhi salam for him to claim to be masih mawud if he did not kill isa alayhi salam in bari in kashmir as he did in his writings he could not have claimed to be the promised messiah because the hadith literature is very clear that the, that the one coming back is in fact isa ibn maryam Jesus the son of Mary not Mirza Ghulam Ahmad ibn Chirag Bibi not Mirza Ghulam Ahmad the son of Chirag Bibi okay so Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani had to kill Isa alayhi salam okay uh, and claim that title for himself the promised messiah in fact the promised messiah status of isa alayhi salam is already fulfilled because he was the promised messiah to the jewish people which they rejected and when isa alayhi salam came he told them that i am the messiah you have been waiting for i am that one but the jewish people rejected him so that that part is already fulfilled his second coming is not as the promised messiah his second coming is uh, as a follower of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam to complete the job that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, cl- uh, you know clearly stated that he will come to do basically near the end times he will be a sign of the hour as the quran states that isa ibn maryam will be a sign of the hour the quran clearly states that how is mirza ghulam ahmad qadiyan in that sign is the question because mirza ghulam ahmad qadiyani is not isa ibn maryam he never claimed to be isa ibn maryam in fact he did metaphorically speaking as the qadiyani's claim that metaphorically he did claim that but the quran is very clear that it is the actual son of mary isa ibn maryam who will be the sign of the hour we claim this is when he will come back according to the quran and the sunnah so before, before, instead of longing the topic Yep, let's go to the next point, inshallah. Yeah, Mansoor yeah. bhai, uh, Mansoor bhai, inshallah, uh, before we take any Ahmadi, inshallah, to rebut this one, can you please uh, put on the screen, I just send you something now, if you can just put on the screen now. Yes, right. while Mansoor bhai is doing it, so basically just to summarize, those three questions from this quote taken from Mirza's writings, we need Ahmadi or qadiani murabbis and missionaries to come and explain to us how do we contextualize that quote and those three points we have raised from the quote uh, in the life of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we we haven't opened up the joining link have we we're going to go through all the points inshallah and they can come uh, afterwards is it? I, I i think i think we should open the floor um, imtiaz bhai do you want to open the floor right now but then you won't be able to. Then you you won't be able to finish your points in in due time. Why don't you finish Actually, all the points? And I then would they say can... I I would say Mansoor, by Inshallah, once they come and they join us, because we have Inshallah all the references ready, 
So our main uh, case is already, inshallah, there that this was the claim of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad that they are going to be two comings. So they can, inshallah, they can come now and they, first of all, they prove to us that first of all, they need to prove this uh, idea or this belief in the first place that they are going to be two comings, number one. And number two, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the second coming. And number three, that Jupiter and uh, that Mars thing. I think, inshallah, if they can establish their main case from these three points, then, inshallah, we can move on to the next point, baby. Yeah, so... Um, if you guys are okay, I mean, we can put up the link. I just wanted to inform everyone that uh, this link right now we're going to post is for the Ahmadis only to join. So the Muslims, you need mm -hmm. to wait your turn until later, inshallah, if you have time to, because today there's another debate following this. Uh, we'll, I will inform you and we'll invite you if there is time, inshallah. But right now, uh, just the Ahmadis can join in. So please... Uh, Bear with us, be patient. And uh, those who are joining from the Ahmadis and even from the Muslims later on, please make sure you have your cameras on for verification in the back studio uh, where only Mansoor and myself can see you. So this is just for verification. So inshallah, you guys know the drill. Inshallah. And stick to Why the so topic, guys, please. That's quite important. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to make sure. The... This is the quote that you wanted to share. Yeah, yeah. Basically, uh, in th this is a principle given by Mirza Saib himself. It is Ruhani Khazain, volume 7, page 63, Karamatu Sadiqeen. He says that Magar wo baate jo madare iman hai, aur jin ke kabool karne aur janne se ek shaks musliman kehla sakta hai, wo har zamana mein barabar tor pe shay hoti rehti hai. He is basically saying, because the, the quote we have mentioned, he said that it is an obligation upon every believer to believe in this idea that there are going to be two advents. Now, in this, he has given us the principle that if something is a part of Iman, which we have to believe, it has to come with the Tawatur. It has to be in the publication, in propagation throughout the history. Now, we, obviously, we just don't want anything, you know, out of the topic. So, whenever the first Ahmadi cleric comes, he should tell us that which Imam, which Mufassir, you know, has published this and then how it came to us through Tawatur. It's not our principle. It is the principle given by Mirza Sahib. Right, so we have pinned the comment, sorry, the the link for the Ahmadis to join in for the Q&A. Uh, so if there are any Ahmadis, please do before join. They, before they yeah, come right. in, I would like to quickly clarify that last stream I was traveling and a lot of the Ahmadis on yeah. Twitter and elsewhere were going on a victory parade. Adnan, Bhagya, Adnan, Runaway, Adnan, <laughs> Runaway. Adnan is on a marathon. Adnan is competing with Hussein Bolt. And all these things, <laughs> mashallah, as you know, these. How many medals did you get, Adnan? Yeah, so Adnan is Adnan has completed a round of the world running and has come back again to the stream to support our beloved brother Imtiaz in particular and Dawa Wise team. Uh, may Allah bless you, Jazakumullah khairan. This is a, a joint effort. We are here to defend the honor of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. This is an obligation upon all Muslims to defend the honor and the finality of his prophethood. We are doing the service together. We are all behind Imtiaz Bhai in his efforts. Imtiaz Bhai has specifically dedicated his life to this cause. He has studied Mirza's books uh, with a lot of attention. Uh, he has given a lot of his time to this cause and Allah has produced an opportunity for him to present his case step by step, point by point to the Ahmadi community so that they can be guided uh, and return to the fold of Islam, inshallah ta'ala. We are fully behind our brother, Imtiaz Bhai, and we support his work. We pray for him, and we ask Allah subhanahu ta'ala to bless him with more and more knowledge so that he can continue this work. So we are, Amen. whether we are part of the stream or not, so we, we are all busy with doing, uh, at times we are, you know, doing things that we cannot always participate in streams. But Imtiaz Bhai will continue this effort, and we will be there 
whenever Allah permits and uh, if and when we, we are needed, inshallah. Just want you to put this clarification out in case the 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 missionaries and the murabis, the Qadianis, you know, uh, when we are not there to participate, they, 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 these people are sick people, you know, they have some mental issues, clearly, or there is an issue of insincerity. This is why they just make up these things. And I'm sure the Ahmadi community at large can see this in their behavior, that they are extremely manipulative. They are not honest people. They're not direct. They're not straight. They don't give straight answers. And they are experts of mocking and, uh, and you know, belittling others. Okay. Uh, and despite the fact that they have no answers, they have no answers. So just want to, you know, wanted to clarify this in the beginning. Another caveat I would like to add very quickly is that we are discussing the core of the belief. The writings of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, their prophet, they claim he is their prophet. And his writings are supposed to be the most important uh, beacon of light for them, right? For their guidance. So when we indulge in the writings of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, I don't know why they start shivering, why they start going, you know, hysteric. Why this, they, they start throwing this, uh, this, this, oh, we want to discuss Quran and Sunnah. We want to discuss some Quran and Hadith. We don't want to use Mirza's writings. We don't want to go to Mirza's writings. Discuss with us the death of Jesus. Discuss with us the finality of prophethood. Discuss with us Mirza Walam Ahmed Qadiani in light of the Quran and Hadith. You know why they play these games? They do not want us to indulge in his writings. And this is exactly where the solution is to this problem. Okay, we can debate uh, the death of Isa salam, which we don't believe in. This debate has never taken place in the history of Islam. Bring it on. If this debate ever took place among the scholars of Islam, bring it on. Okay, when I say scholars, I mean the overwhelming majority, 99.9%. .9%. You will bring one or two opinions here and there from the writings of, you know, uh, and and a lot of these opinions are not even authentic. They are not even authentically reported. Okay, then you will try to debate finality of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which is not a discussion in Islam. There is ijma in the Ummah upon this point that there is no Prophet coming after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So why do we need to discuss this with you? We need to discuss the man you you're doing these gymnastics for. You're doing these gymnastics for the man. Called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. The reason okay. why you want we to have, we have is some uh, probably Ahmad is joined in the back chat. Uh, if they're okay. verified, we can put them on, inshallah. Okay, okay, please, please. I, I'm, yeah. I was just going on because I thought they're not coming. Those of you who joined in the back chat, in the back okay, chat now, could you go, just, yeah, you know, show yourself? Yep, Atta, you are verified. You will be next, inshallah. So I'm okay. going to bring Atta so, in. Yes, inshallah. Let's open the floor. Let them in. Most welcome. Please go ahead. Three points. And let's stick to the point, inshallah. Let's stick to the topic. Assalamu alaikum. Walaikum salam. So who's with us? So I got Atta. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, Atta. we can hear you. Yes. Yeah. Are you? Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Um, Wa alaikum. Imtiaz bhai. Especially. Uh, Imtiaz bhai, we're going to do the two minutes thing. Yes. Perfect. Point to point. Yeah. Yeah. With regards to the two minutes thing, the thing is, if if it goes off topic, we are going to cut that short to ensure that you're on topic. Because yeah. many times, what happens is people go off different tangents. So we just want, because of the time limit today, we want to make sure that we focus on the subject matter and keep it concise. Inshallah. Yeah. Yeah. And Hashim, yeah. Inshallah, before uh, you put on the timer on the screen, so uh, brother Atta, the first uh, obviously. We have started the topic and within the topic, we have presented the first piece of evidence. Now, within this evidence, our first question is, do you believe in this belief what Mirza Sahib is saying that there are two comings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Do you believe in this? Obviously, after that, you have every right to explain whatever. But first, you need to tell us, do you believe in this? If that's why I'm going to speak when I get my two minutes. Yep. Okay, just one sec, Atta. Okay, just before the time starts, just to yeah. confirm the question, 
Do you believe, Atta, that Prophet Muhammad had two advents? One was himself, the second was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Two advents, one Jalali and one Jamali. We have already explained what that means. A Jalali advent and a Jamali advent. Okay, one of grandeur, one of beauty. Do you believe that? And the first was Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The second was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Over to you. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So this concept, uh, Ibn Azbai started saying that it's unknown. It's very well known in the Ahmadiyya literature. And we know this very clearly. So to answer the question very directly, yes, Hazrat Mizra Ghulam Ahmad salam said that he is the second advent of the Prophet وسلم, in the way of Buruz and Dhil. Now, Buruz and Dhil are very clear in Islamic history, especially with the Sufiya. And, of course, you're going to have to throw a lot of people under the bus here when you don't accept Buruz and Zil. Interestingly, in the same, in Dofa Goleria, in the same reference which um, Imtiaz gave, the Prophet Messiah says, Baad papaya sabood pohunch gai hai ke anzir salam ki do boz hai ya ye tabdile lafz alfaz yun keh sakte hain ki ek Buruzi rang me anzir salam ka dobara ana dunya me and this is from Surah Juma, which I can explain in a bit as well. So, by way of a spiritual manifestation, in the sense that the Prophet Sallallahu Kamal and his um, different sifat were reflected in the Promised Messiah Islam, that is true. And this is from a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu as well, which we can discuss. Um, I will discuss this after this, um, uh, my two minutes. So, by way of Buruz, and Imtiaz said last time that this means reincarnation. That is quite sad because in Islamic um, lexicon, we know what Buruz means. And it means that someone has the sifat, he reflects the sifat of another person. I can um, go give those references as well. So Hazrat Mizrahul Ahmad did not say he is literally the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, by way of Buruz, I am the Holy Prophet Sallallahu and I have come in a Jamali way, which I'll explain. Right. I think it will be beneficial for the audience if you use terms which are not English to just explain it briefly. Um, also, when you make a, when you quote something in Urdu, please translate it as well. So sure. should I uh, go ahead now? Yeah, just, just one sec. There's a thing about this. Uh, I'm just going to share the screen again for the stopwatch. Okay, Bismillah. So, Bismillah rahman rahim so, Alhamdulillah, the, the first thing was we need to establish that we are not putting any allegation. So, Ata has already accepted that, yes, this is the belief of Jamaat Ahmadiyya. He said it is the common knowledge in Jamaat Ahmadiyya that there were two advent of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and Mirza is the second advent of, uh, in, in that two advents. Now, uh, my, my question is, I, I, I want to stick Point to point. So, Brother uh, Atta, just one question I'm going to ask. I don't even want to consume my time. I want to stick point to point. So, my, my question is, when you say that you believe that, he, yes, he was the second coming of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, do you believe that in terms of his name, his station, and his uh, his function, Nam, Makam, and Kam. He is absolutely at par with Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Hashimi, who was our beloved Prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So, once, one more time, the question is Do you believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, in his name, in his station, and in his job or function or description or what he was supposed to do, he is exactly, 
exactly at par with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. That's only one question I'm asking. That's it. Yep. Okay. Just one sec. Let me. Can I stop? Uh, let me just share the screen again for this top watch. I don't know what's happening today. If they ask by, look how civilized and beautiful this is. This is the way forward. Alhamdulillah. Inshallah. Oh, sorry. Got the wrong person. Yalla, bismillah. Okay, Bismillah. So, Imti Azbhai, to answer your um, question very directly, it's interesting you're not using uh, the Buruz, which just means, it's a Sufi term, which means spir spiritual manifestation. So this is an Islamic Sufi term, okay? And we can give the references of that later. So, in terms of an, a reincarnation, if you're trying to push me towards reincarnation, his name is exactly the same. His name is Ahmed, by the way. His station is the same. Station Definitely not. Okay. The Promised Messiah Islam, explained it very clearly that everything I have achieved is only by following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He said, I'm not even a drop in the ocean of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This is why we ask our Sunni brothers and sisters to read the books with an open heart, read all of the books. We encourage you, you will see how he raised um, you know, the rank of the Prophet وسلم, amongst the Muslims and he showed them his state. So no, he does not say that I am on par on the Holy Prophet وسلم. He just says in terms of a spiritual manifestation um, in, and uses the words Buruz and Zili, which is reflective prophet. And, you know, in Islamic sciences, there's a thing that you don't need to quibble about terminologies. La mushahata lil istilah. Right? There's no fighting over istilah. So the istilah which he used was Buruzi and Zilli. It's not reincarnation. So that's to answer your point. The second point, which is really crucial to remember, is. No, no, no. Stop, 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 stop. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. If you no, want please. to say something on this point, please say it because my question was just one his name, his station, has... his function. Are they we're, not, are... we're not doing two minutes, two minutes. It was going so beautifully well. But only the same point. No more. No, but no if you ask by this, you know, you can't say yes or no to everything. You know, now, fine. now, you now the time is... You don't need to say I give you... As your time... We'll give you 30 timing. seconds more. It's okay. Let, in let in him just clarify. In class, don't ruin it, please. Don't ruin it. It's going so well. Okay. Look, the Prophet wasallam. This is when we're going to go to Surah Juma and I'm going to explain the second coming of the Holy Prophet wasallam in way of Buruz. Okay. And this is from Sahih Bukhari. When the Prophet uh, Surah Jum'ah was revealed, and minhum lama became, uh, was revealed, and among others from among them who have not yet joined him. This is referring to the Prophet وسلم, initially, rasulan. The next verses, which means Allah sent in the unlettered people a Rasul. And he sent them in the of um, among others from among them okay. who have not Time's yet joined him. Up. And I'll explain this in my next two minutes, okay? This is where we get it from. And, and Mirza Ghulam Ahmed alayhi salam, explain this and we can discuss this as well. Okay, can I quickly request, uh, as it's going so beautifully, um, now, does it, I mean, when you say it's going beautifully, do you, do you mean you can say what you want or do you mean what we have to completely stick to the topic? Adnan, what? I mean that when you're here usually, it goes haywire and everyone's seen that. But of with Imtiaz from but, last week, it's nice, yeah. it's civilized, right? My, That's what I mean. My, yeah, he didn't yeah, even I say thought, anything, subhanallah, and you're accusing him me. already. No, 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 Mansoor, he's asking no, me. Adnan didn't, didn't say anything, me. and you started accusing me already. I mean, that's very interesting. He's asking yeah. a question, I'm replying. It's called poisoning the well. I'm only, I'm only here to make sure that the Qadiani missionaries stick to the topic point by point. Mm -hmm. Instead of when, when, when a direct question is asked, a direct answer is given. Yes, I watch gave direct me, answers watch, to every, watch both me, questions. Watch, watch me, watch me. You will not hear a word from me exactly. if you give direct answers. Okay? okay, you have given a direct answer. 
which which is beautiful. This is what I call beautiful. Beautiful is when we get direct answers. You said that Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadian didn't even consider himself to be a drop in the ocean in comparison to Muhammad Rasulullah. That's the answer we wanted. Jazakallah khairan. Let's stick to that. Stick to that very point Intaz Bhai has, has raised. Thank you. Over to you, Intaz Bhai. Okay, just one second, Intaz Bhai. None by Jazakallah khair. Right, Hashim, is not because uh, I feel that if I'm just sometimes frozen from my side, is it true or? Yeah, you're frozen actually. <laughs> In so, turn, switch, but, but, switch off but, your but, camera but, and just switch but, it on again, maybe. But we can but hear you. My, but is my audio clear? Yes. Yeah, the audio is clear. Okay, Alhamdulillah, that's fine. Okay, now uh, first of all, I uh, before my time starts very quickly in. 20 second i want to request atabai atabai no problem at all it will be going very smoothly you have you will be given time but my only request is please point to point so in the previous point of the, the question i asked was that is mirza hulam ahmed absolutely at par and your answer was no now listen very carefully the reference and i have the original reference as well hashim bhai we shall time start now inshallah okay bismillah yeah so bismillah rahman rahim so it is akhbar al fadl volume 3 number 76 and the date is 1st of january 1916 and we have the original scan as well if demanded now listen everyone carefully hazrat masih maud ka naam काम और मकाम के इतबार से गोया आ हजरत का ही वजूद हैं आप में और आ हजरत में जरा भर भी फर्क नहीं and then he says further so why is के के मसीह माउद now listen this point carefully because I want to be honest to give the full quotation so why is के के मसीह माउद शागिर्द और आ हजरत उस्ताद हैं and then listen the next point लेकिन लेकिन ये फर्क नाम काम और मकाम के तबार से नहीं बल्कि जरिया हसूले नबुवत के तबार से है। In English he is saying that the promised Messiah in his name, in his station and in his work, he is absolutely at uh, the 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 being of Prophet Muhammad. In him and Prophet Muhammad. There is not a difference of a mustard seed. Uh, sorry, Intiaz, can you put this on the screen? Okay, no problem. You can do it after your time, Intiaz. Uh, actually, the, the problem I'm facing, uh, uh, Ashimba, yeah. is that my... Send it uh, to me. Uh, if you want, you can send it to me. Just continue. Yeah, my with screen is... So, can I complete the point and then, or what? What should I do? Yeah, do that. Yeah. Complete yes. the point. So basically, so basically, in in simple in simple terms, what Ata said that is not correct. Maybe he's unaware of the belief of the Jamaat because the belief of the Jamaat is that he was absolutely at par. There was not even a difference of mustard seed in terms of his name, station, and work with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So I have rebutted your point. Please answer to what I have just said. If you're accepting it, accept your ignorance, there's, there's no problem in that. And if you are rejecting it, then I can display on the screen. Okay, just to just to, just for me, for my clarification in Tazbay, just for me, yeah. for me clear on this. Al Fadl Akbar, volume three, you're saying it is clearly stated that in work status and in uh, uh, name, in work yeah. status name Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is absolutely on par with the messenger of Allah Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam correct yes 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 okay so apart from a relationship between the two uh, with regards to a student and a teacher but yeah. the work the name and the status is exactly the same they are on yes. par with okay exactly and, exactly and yes. Atta, Atta said Atta said that Mirza Muhammad Qadiani is not even a drop in an ocean in comparison to the Prophet Sallallahu So there is a yeah. clear connection. So over to you, Atta, with your two minutes. And please be direct to the point. 
Yeah. Do you still want to see the reference author? Yes, of course I do. You can't refer. Okay, it's coming now. It's coming. Course, no problem. Of course, of course, brother. And okay. uh, page number as well, and date, everything. Uh, it's, it's coming. Actors scan, no problem. Okay, Bismillah. So I can speak on this without looking at the reference because. No, 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 no. It will be on the screen. Hashim, bhai, okay, I said great, you already great, in great, your great, WhatsApp. Great. Yeah, let's put it on the screen, and we and I'm sure Ata can read Urdu. Yes. Uh, yeah, we'll let we'll let Ata read it, and then. Yeah. Okay, so let me refer. Let me start. Uh, no, no. Just give me a let, let it be on the screen, and then you start. Okay, sure. Nearly there. By the way, Mansur, I need to go for Maghrib. So maybe you, you want to play pray quickly while I look put this uh, picture up. I think Mansur's gone already. Sorry, say again. Uh, yeah, I, I said it's time for Maghrib. So do you want to quickly pray while I'm looking for this, and then you take over, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. So is it you can't find the reference or what? Uh, no, no, I sent I, I sent to Ashim by already. Yeah, I'm just yeah. putting it on the screen now. Okay, there you go. It's there. Can you read it, Ata? Can you? Shall we zoom in? Yeah, you... definitely. You need to zoom in. Ashim, I make it bigger. You unfair. you can. Very you want. ambiguous. You can. You can. No, no, no. take a screenshot and zoom in. Because, because, scan, to be honest, yeah. Uh, it's a scan can... from the original, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. I honestly cannot read that. That's very unclear. I can read for okay. you if you like. I yeah. The chapter heading is Masih Mahmood. Okay, okay. So Imtiaz, by read it again. Okay. Because it's Let too it's too, take, it's take one, one, too one, second. Out. one second. No, no it's, problem. Let me. One let second. me read it, it for you. Okay, Al Fadl Akbar. Yeah, I can read it clearly. The reference is there, and the heading Imtiaz by heading is very important. Can you please please read the heading and translate it as well? Masih okay. Masih Mahmood Muhammad Ast. Wa ain Muhammad Ast. This yes. is Persian. The Persian. Yeah, the promise it, it says that promise Messiah is Muhammad, and he is the very Muhammad because in it will say Ain and Ghair. So Messiah Maud Muhammad as promise Messiah is Muhammad, wa Aine Muhammad as, and he is the very Muhammad. Okay, very this is Muhammad. the heading. Yeah. Yes, and now I read the reference again. Hazrat Messiah Maud ka naam. काम और मकाम के इतबार से गोया आ हजरत का ही वजूद है आप में और आ हजरत में जर्रा भर भी फर्क नहीं है सवाय के के मसीह मौत शागिर्द हैं और आ हजरत उस्ताद हैं लेकिन ये फर्क नाम काम और मकाम के इतबार से नहीं बल्कि जरियाए बल्कि जरिया या हसूल नबूत के इतबार से है दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वर बैटम कोट फ्रॉम दिस वन ओके परफेक्ट so would you would you take yeah. your answer back yeah. or do you okay. want to rebut? Okay, can I start? Can you give my two minutes? Yes, yes. This one. Okay. Sick. So first of all, it's interesting. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> okay, Bismillah. Okay, so it's interesting if they ask by that you couldn't bring a. Um, a quote of Hazrat Mizar Ghulam Ahmed Salam because I know it will refute your whole concept. And Hazrat Mizar Ghulam Ahmed Salam, you know, his words, he never ever has the contradictions, which um, it's, it's funny that you have to come to Al Fazl, which is not the writing of Hazrat Mizar Ghulam Ahmed Salam, and it's come after him as well. Second thing is, in terms, the Ahmadi understanding, you have to realize this is a spiritual concept and it will be hard for. Salafi kind of people to understand spirituality in this sense, I can understand it. His name, this is what we explain, you know, of all the ahadith, um, Yudfanu Ma'i fi Qabri, and the Azbai, I would like to ask you, do you really think when the Masih, the Mahdi comes, he'll be buried in the Qabr of the Holy Prophet, Ismahu uh, Yuwate Ismi, that his name will resemble my name. So, in, sen in, in the sense of spiritual reflection, and this is when this is why we say Buruzi and Zili is so important. I don't know why you're not talking about those. The promised Messiah Islam was 
a reflection of the Prophet's Kamalat. And yes, his work was the same in the sense of not bringing a new Quran or a new Sharia, or, you know, his name, his work was in the same sense as spreading Islam, right? To spread it all over the Adiyan. When you come to Maqam, no, the, the, the promised Messiah, alayhi salam, obviously was, like I said, he, you read his writings, he was never, he never claimed to be on par on the Holy Prophet, he said he was his footsteps, he was um, under his feet, everything, these, these, there's so many um, um, writings of Hazim Zaghulam Ahmad, alayhi salam. So, in conclusion, Hazim Zaghulam Ahmad, alayhi salam, was a reflection of the Holy Prophet, alayhi salam. in that sense, his um, name, Ahmad, and all of his qualities were a reflection of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. That's why Allah spoke to him. His nabuwa was similar as well. But in terms of station, the, it's not what you're trying to represent from this Al-Fazal quote, which isn't even the writing of Hazim Ghulam Ahmad alayhi salatu wasalam. So Hashim, I uh, just uh, wait. So I, I send you something. So let's inshallah clear a bit further for him. No problem at just, all. Just a quick yeah. clarification. Yes, uh, yes, Adnan, please. Yes. Earlier, Atta came and he said, we're going to throw people under the bus. He has just thrown the entire Jamaat under the bus and the Al-Fadl newspaper as well. Just wanted to clarify that. He has just thrown them under the bus because he... Uh, Adnan, he... no, you're mis misrepresenting me. I'm telling you, okay. you're not understanding the Al-Fadl quotations. Okay, you, you can respond to me in your time, inshallah. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, oh, Adnan, but please continue. Okay, so yeah, just I was just saying that he has just thrown um, Al Fadl Akbar under the bus, and we will clarify um, what this means to the audience. Al Fadl Akbar is one of the uh, you can say it is the the times of uh, Qadiani Jamaat. Okay, am I correct in this, Dazbai? In claiming Adnan that, bhai, Adnan yeah. bhai, you know, uh, unfortunately, uh, I know that uh, obviously I'm not sure if Ata is uh, really ignorant all of these matters or he is just trying to make something up just to, you know, for the face saving because uh, it's very unfortunate because Al Fazal Akbar, the whole purpose of all of these articles is to educate the Jamaat Ahmadiyya. And by the way, I have this complete, uh, you know, Shumara as well. They are educating the, listen everybody carefully, in these newspapers, magazine and issues, they are educating the Ahmadiyya community that what they believe, why they believe, what is the evidence. Now, once we presented their own evidence, he ended up saying, oh, I'm, bring, I'm bringing Al-Fazl. Can you tell me, uh, brother Atta, in your turn, not now in your turn, that if this thing was wrong, and it was not represented. I'm not maybe. denying it. I'm not denying it. This is the problem. What okay, you're that's you're, you're straw man in, in your time, brother. In your time, please. Don't straw man me. No, no, <laughs> no problem. Okay. Now, uh, now, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm not. Sorry. I'm not okay, denying. Okay. This I'm I'm let me be clear. Atabai, no, inter no interruption, please. Okay. In your turn, you can say what you want to say. Okay. Ashim Bhai, we want to be inshallah fair with Atabai. You can start my time inshallah and play something that's sent to you now on the screen, please. Do you want to display that picture on the screen, the one you sent me? Yes, inshallah. Yes, yes. I inshallah, I, I don't want to give the impression that I'm taking more time. Inshallah, we'll take equal time, no problem. Okay, here you go. Okay. Atabai, uh, this is nobody other than Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A., which is the author of Siratul Mahdi. I think uh, if he is not authentic, I don't know who is authentic. Listen the reference very carefully. Again, if you want the original, I have the original ready with me. It is Kalmatul Fasl, and this page number is 113 of in the Shumara, volume 14. He says that Nabu Tab Nabuwat Mili Jab Isne Nabuwate Muhammadiya ke Tamam Kamalat ko hasil kar liya. What he's saying? That, uh, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad received prophethood after he achieved all the greatness of the prophethood of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is a blasphemy. Nobody can even come closer to that. And Atta himself said this. And now here what he's saying that he achieved all the achievements of prophethood of Prophet Muhammad and then look, because you are saying Zilli, listen about the Zilli now. 
Hashem is gone on the screen, maybe. Okay, he says that it's Kabil ho gaya. It's Kabil ho gaya ke Zilli Nabi ke lai. Pas Zilli Nabu wat ne Masiye Maud ke khadam ko piche nahi hataya, balke aage badaya aur is kadar aage badaya ke Nabiye Kareem ke pehlu ba pehlu la khada kia. There you go. It is called at par. Okay. So Mirza Bashir Ahmed said that the Zilli Nabu wat because you said before talk about the Zilli Nabu wat reflective prophethood. Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A., the son of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. I am 100% sure that he is more knowledgeable than Atta and than anybody of this age. He said that the Zilli Nubuat of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad put him at par, at par with who? With Prophet Muhammad. And this was exactly the point I was making. So Atta, why my only request is respond to this reference. Okay, okay, um, one second. Imtiaz, why can I re respond to the Alfaz one because you're straw manning me on the Alfaz one and saying I reject it? Okay, and, and again, start, you misunderst can, you're misunderstanding can, this one as well. So let me one, go to Alfaz one. If okay, you go we, forward in the Alfaz reference, one it, second, we'll start, it clearly explains the whole aspect, the same Alfaz um, uh, reference. Okay. اب میں اس مضمون میں یہ دکھانا چاہتا ہوں کہ حضرت مسیح معود حضرت مسیح معود نے بسراحت اس عمر کو لکھا ہے کہ مسیح معود در حقیقت محمدی محمدی حقیقت کا مظہر تام اور آپ کی وجود کا آئینہ ہے this is the problem with you guys you guys half quote cherry pick everything and you do it on the spot he's saying no no he's saying that I am the mazhar the manifestation of the holy prophet صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم and aina hai um what is it i uh or wujood ka aina hai he's the mirror nahin, nahin, nahin. mazhar mazhar ke baad ek aur lafz bhi hai wo kya hai mazhar tam i said sorry mazhar tam okay what does that mean a complete reflection okay you know what tam is tam the word tam yes what complete Yes, okay. Yes, so, complete yeah. reflection. That's what I'm trying to say. No, you no, know, no. Reading. It doesn't mean complete Anab reflection. Anab let him complete. Okay. Anab let him complete. Don't cut me. Don't cut me, okay? This is what... Mazhar means... means you can give any references what you want. Mazhar, what you guys have Mazhar. to remember... What you have to remember is Hazim is a Ghulam Ahmed alayhi islam is saying he was a complete... Again, reflection, reflection, reflection. Baruz. These kind of... These are in Islamic istilahat. These are in Islamic um, terminologies. He did Brother, not... Mazhar, mazhar does not mean reflection. Aina, Aina you can use Manifestation, there. Mazhar, manifestation of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa It doesn't mean it is... Look, you guys can straw man Ahmadis as much as you want. It doesn't prove anything. Hazim is Ghulam, for example, in a misconception review, um, um, removed, he says that the promised one will be heir, heir to... His uh, name, his character, his knowledge, his spirituality, and would reflect his very image. He will acquire nothing on his own, but will acquire everything from the Holy Prophet and will, will lose himself in him as to reflect his very image. And just as he would by way of Zil. This is, this is what we're trying to explain here. It's just by way of Zil. It's not in the sense that you guys are trying to straw man. You could bring any reference you want. Ahmadis have explained this and is very understanding. Um, and this yeah, time is actually... This is exactly okay. why Ahmadis don't okay, have a no problem. problem no problem. No problem. Right. No problem. Uh, so before before we proceed, I think instead of going in circles, let's get some terminology straight here. I heard Atta saying he's a manifestation of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Is that right, Atta? Okay. Look, there's there's complete he, just, manifestation. Just say, is that right or not? I heard you right, or did I not hear you a, right? Look, a reflective manifestation, a spiritual manifestation. You said a manifestation of the Prophet. Okay, not, not, a not in the sense one, of reincarnation. Wait, wait, not wait. This is look, la, look, la mashahata fil istilah. Right? This is a concept in Islamic um, terminology. Ata, we are not disputing istilahat. We are disputing. I'm going to go for Maghrib. Someone so can you please take wait, a Hashim, okay. yeah. Manifestation Ata, your does time not is mean finished. reincarnation. You, you, Remember Ata, that. Ata, by, your time no, I didn't say reincarnation. I used the term manifestation. No one that you used. Don't, yeah. don't try and play semantics. We've said this Hashim, last time I, I will as well. Respond. No, let, let, let him be. Okay. Not quite I'll go respond. quickly pray Maghrib and uh, Mansu take our place here. Inshallah. Okay. So, by Inshallah, now I will respond to what he said. Because we need to educate, obviously, the, the people as well. And um, Mansoor Bain Shah, you can start my timer as well. Yeah, I've started the time because I don't have that st stop clock. I've got it on my phone. Carry on. Bismillah. Okay. 
no problem. So, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, dear viewers and listeners, please understand the discussion. Then you can benefit from it. So, Ata himself used Madhare Tam, complete manifestation. That Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was complete manifestation of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu And then I quoted already that Tamam Kamalat or Sifat Ka Madhar. It means that each and every quality attribute of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was, has come into Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. So in, in your turn, Ata, you need to tell us that what are those unique qualities of Prophet Muhammad Sallam who came into Mirza Sahib. And secondly, I, I'm not putting 10 of things, just this one question regarding what you just said. Are you still not accepting your ignorance that Mirza Sahib was at par? According to Jamaat Ahmadiyya, Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A., he said that Zilli Nabuwat ne usko a hazrat ke pehlu ba pehlu la khada kiya. My request is in your turn, translate what is the meaning of pehlu ba pehlu la khada kiya. And I translate in my turn now that the reflective prophethood of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad put him side by side with Prophet Muhammad sallallahu sallam. Is it not that he is claiming the same station, the same maqam? How else I can explain for you, dear Ata and dear Ahmadis? Okay, okay. before, 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 okay. Okay. for my clarification. So you're claiming, uh, Imtiaz Bhai, using the yeah. quotes that, that Ahmadi, the Qadiani Jamaat, actually yeah. believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is actually the complete manifestation of Rasulullah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is on par with him in status. They actually believe this, that he's equal to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we will come to see that not only that, there is more than that, actually, which we will come to see, inshallah. But for now, let's stick to equal, equal status. You're claiming in light of Al-Fadl and uh, Muhammad Bashir M.A., the son of Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani, in light of his writings, that they believed that he is basically equal to the Messenger of Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah in status. Okay. Um, so him being Zilli or Buruzi does not reduce his status. Rather, it actually increases his status to bring him on par. Is that what you're claiming? Yes. Basically, this is exactly what Birza Bashir Ahmad M.A. He said that his Zilli Nabuwat, his reflective prophethood, bring him at par with uh, side by side. Pehlu ba pehlu with Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So we, what we're claiming, we're giving evidence. Okay, now I I, I want to take this forward with Atah, yeah? Uh, yeah. Atah has wait, already... Wait, can I just... Can I yeah, yeah, you can. Points. Atah, you can. Atah, you can. Uh, okay, Atah, that's fine. Your, your Atah, time starts now. Go ahead. Okay. Atah has already thrown... So, Atah wait, my time's thrown my time started. My time started. So, look, I'm just... Adnan... Yeah, do you Atah want to um, get Atah Atah to start or do you have some points to make? Yeah, just making one point. Atta has okay. already thrown Al Fadl under the bus already. And now we want to see what he does uh, to uh, Mirza Muhammad Bashir, the son of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, where he said that Pehlu ba Pehlu la khada kiya. Side by side, he was placed with Muhammad Rasulullah. Please answer this point directly. Atta, over to you. Okay, go to Al Fazil again. Like I said, Imtiaz missed out. He keeps reading Mazari Tam and then he ignores Aina, which means mirror. Okay, so the Prophet uh, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the Hazrat Mizu Ghulam Muhammad Alaihi Wasallam, said again and again, he's the mirror and he's the complete spiritual manifestation. I, he is taking the the reflective grace of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Soon, We're not like going to allow this. We're not going to allow this. You said no, no, Adnan, spirit. come on. Don't do this. Adnan, please. No, complete. I'm you replying said, to Al-Fazal. Why decent. are you doing this? Keep Why decent. are you like this? Please. Keep it, keep it decent. Don't cry. Keep it decent. Adnan, um, the why, reason I'm getting You just upset said is... complete spiritual manifestation. Where is that? Where did you get that from? Spiritual. Where did you get that from? I've just read it to you before. Okay. Where um, is the... This is this from this is from, okay. this is from okay. Azala. 
He will look, inherit look, his name, his character, his knowledge, his spirituality, let, and will let reflect me, his image. Let there me, we go. Let me, let me complete my question. Mazhar Tam means complete manifestation. It does not mean complete spiritual manifestation. Okay, so what's Where aina? is the word Ruhani? What's Aina? What's what, aina? Ruhani? What, Urdu, what is Aina? Urdu word for, Urdu word for spiritual is Mazhar Ruhani. Mazhar or Aina? What does Aina mean? Okay, wait. Do no, you no, know? No, no, say it. Say it. Okay, wait. Say okay, it. Wait. Wait. Adnan, say what Aina means. Tell the audience. Yeah, yeah, I'm relaxing. Now, Ata. Ata. No, Aina. Come Ata. On. Don't be scared. Ata. Do it. Do Ata. It. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared right Trump now. Or Aina. No, please, what does Aina mean? Mirror. Can we, keep, can we keep it decent? I'm asking, you said complete spiritual manifestation, correct? Step by step. Let's move step by step. Yes? Look, I'm going to reply to Imtiaz. Imtiaz, look, you made three points. Okay. Let me come back. No, no, you are not. No, no. If you want to reply to me, brother Ata, please, you know, I, Alhamdulillah, I am very kind. So I will remain like that. But please do not play games with me. My question to you is Mirza Bashir Ahmed said yes, okay, in Kalmatul Fasl, he said yes. that, listen, Ata, listen to the question very carefully. He said that Zilli Nubuwatne, Mirza Sahib ko, Hazrat ke pehlu ba pehlu la khada kiya. Please, I have no other question. Okay. I want you okay. to translate and explain this point that when Zilli Nabuat has made Mirza Sahib standing next side by side at par with Prophet Muhammad Sallam, what it means, please. Can we can we give um, Atta two minutes to answer that question only? And yes. once these two minutes are over, then you can just say whether he actually went yes. off, off the topic or not, inshallah. And we'll, we'll, we'll see how things can go from there. Okay, yes. I thought yes. your time starts now. Go ahead, please. Okay, okay. So you didn't uh, let me answer the previous stuff. This is Imtiaz Bhai. You should know this. I, I, I expect you, you say that you're whole, you know, clean hearted. You're seeing this with, um, for, the, for the sake of Allah. This is the concept of Fanafid Rasul. Okay. This is the concept of getting lost. In the love of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam And becoming at one with him It does not mean That you become on par with him This is Villi This is Baruzi And I know it's difficult for you guys to comprehend But it does not mean That you are on par It does mean not mean you are him In fact in Iqaltika Azala The Promised Messiah Islam said That it doesn't mean that there's two Muhammads now Okay It's all of these references, which you can just pull out everywhere, all it means is in the spiritual sense, Hazim is a Islam, follow the Prophet. He was blessed his reflection. Okay. In the same sense of the Buruzi sense. And it's the same thing with Al Fazl is saying, Mazritam and Aina, which Adnan wasn't uh, translating, it means a mirror. And also, he said, a student to a teacher. So in the Al-Fazl thing, he's calling himself a student. He's calling himself the mirror. And that explains everything. And this is exactly what he has said in all of his books. And this has never been an issue. That's why I find it quite amusing that Imtiaz has suddenly created this an issue. Whereas the past ulama who are against Ahmadiyyat, they didn't even raise it. They realized, okay, this is not even a strong point. I'm actually surprised Imtiaz is raising this point in this stream because your past ulama say this is not even a point to argue over because the zili and the Buruzi aspect you know the sufia understand it the other sects of islam understand it as well i can understand that the salafis find it difficult because it's to do with spirituality but this is what i'm trying to say so it doesn't matter what you pick out okay and okay, your time is up, uh, come, one second the brothers who will come after me they will show you imtiaz other past ulama who you can't That's reject, you have to throw them under Thank the you, Rathabai. Your time is up. Thank you. explain this. Thank you. Atabai, can I see your face, your beautiful face? Is it, is it possible to see your yeah, face? Yeah, sure you can. So, Please, you, I you, want you, to. You, you, can't, you, you can't say I love you anymore. Mashallah. Last time you said I love you. Do you, you really love me? Talk about, okay, inshallah, brother. Uh, let's inshallah, uh, you know, this is the point. Uh, Mansoor Bhai, all the audience remembers Ata said that Fana fir Rasul, this is the concept of Zil and Buruz, right? Right? Ata, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, this now is... be quiet. Okay, Mansoor, my, please put on the screen the reference. I just send you that one. 
inshallah this is this will finish all the points <laughs> What I'm saying, just give, give me a few seconds to put it up, inshallah. Yeah, I might not talk before the on the screen, inshallah. We just want to keep point to point. Yeah, one second. Yeah, because if we're going to keep throwing things at each other, it's just, yeah. uh, it's just not, uh, you know, it's going to keep going on and on and on, and we're going to keep having digs at each other. So best yes, stick to exactly, exactly. Okay, I so hope at all by this time I'm going to apologize. <laughs> if the Aussie can't bring any reference, that's going to go against. The light's coming. <laughs> okay, so okay. Can make it a little bit bigger. One second. Can you all read it? Okay, Al Fazl Akbar. Okay, thirtieth October. 1931 I want to read the last two lines aap inke buruz ho ke nabuwat ke maqam par pahunche bas fana fir rasool aur masil hona buruz se alada cheeze hain albatta buruz aur autar hum mani hote hain I want to translate for the audience last two lines he said that uh, uh, to be the fana fir rasool to be spiritually you know dying or whatever it means you know to be spiritually you know becoming one with rasool it is something else and buruz is something else however buruz and incarnation have the same meaning buruz or autar hamani hai now i am not focusing on the second part you only need okay. to reply the first part wait wait atta wait 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 because you seeing this for the first time so handle it I'm okay not. this is so, so this is such you need to tell us you need to tell us do you agree with the statement of al fazl akbar in the fanasir rusul or buruz no no wait atta wait 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 point to point my my question is only one no 10 quest only one question it says in the last line fas fanasir rusul or masil hona buruz se alada cheeze hain it is clearly distinguished between the buruz and fanafir rasul do you accept it or reject it just this one question that's it okay listen, oh, listen. Oh, okay can can we can we translate this no, no, no. let me ref, let me yeah. uh, uh, respond to this okay it, Atta, before you come in uh, what is buruz exactly uh, uh, imtiaz bhai can you because there are i can i can i can imagine audience getting frustrated what is buruz what is zil and what is fanafir rasul can you please quickly explain that so the people are with us fana fir rasul uh, as uh, ata was trying to allude to it is basically when somebody is in total obedience submission and following muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then this term they use for this person okay who has completely brought himself in the obedience of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in every sense of the word okay this is called fana fir rasul now in this quotation the point i am refuting is ata said that actually buruz or zil is specifically fana fir rasul it's clear here fana fir rasul and buruz because mirza is buruzi now wa barazu lillahi al wahid al qahar this is ayah in the quran buruz mean and ata listen this point very carefully buruz does not mean that somebody comes in someone's place buruz mean that the one who is if that very person appears or comes that is called buruz if you want to challenge i will not entertain anything other than that okay you need to tell me that way uh, secondly we don't even need to describe this one al fazl has made it simple it said buruz or autar hum mani hai you only need to tell us and it will make the job life easy for all of us what is the english word for autar okay, okay. and before that before that ata please let's be honest in this conversation you tried to equate fana fir rasul with the buruz but this thing has completely destroyed that point are you going to apologize okay imtiaz look okay this is the problem with you guys you can cherry pick everything this is talking about two separate things this is what i said to understand to comprehend what the promised messiah said in terms of his second coming of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam i said a number of things There's buruz, okay. There's dilli, 
which are basically the same. And I'm saying all of this has come from Fanaf al Rasul, which is loving the Holy Prophet and becoming at one with him. Okay, these are separate uh, things which are intertwined at the same time. This is what you understand. These are, spir <laughs> these are spiritual concepts. Okay, to understand the whole thing, you have to read, you know, openly with an open heart and understand these spiritual elements. I understand okay. these spiritual elements are difficult. I, I, I'm, I'm getting understand. frustrated. Hold on. I'm getting frustrated. Okay. And one second, I just want to. I just want to read. Categorically, it states categorically, Fanaf al Rasul. Or and guru. I never said Guru's is Fanaf al Rasul. I look. <laughs> People can rewind and listen look, to you. This is the end. problem. You this are is actually. Problem. This is the problem. You guys are not understanding. Fanaf al Rasul. Guru's. Okay. Fanaf al Rasul is becoming at one with the Holy Prophet in terms of loving him. Okay. Following him. And then we have Buruz and uh, Dhilli, which is a reflective manifestation, Aina, a mirror of the Holy Prophet. So, Atta, 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 Atta. What is the difference between Fanafi Rasul and Buruz? This is this is what I'm trying to say. Fanaf, Please tell us. For, okay, this is what I'm trying to say. Fanafi Rasul, what is it? It means being lost. And dying in the um, love of the Holy Prophet وسلم, becoming at one okay. with him. Okay. And Buruz. Now Buruz is a reflective or a, a sorry a spirit a spiritual manifestation Who of the Holy this? Prophet It says Buruz or Otar Hamaniyat. It is in front of you on the screen. Exactly. Yeah? Exactly. 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 Listen. 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 Uh, this is important. I'm listening. This is the funny. You can't do little. You know. You did Al Fazl one. That was you ran away from that. And the funny thing is, you're not even, you're, no, 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 you're not even bringing the quotations <laughs> of Hazrat Muhammad Sallam. Meaning, Otal is referring to the prophets. Okay, so the Buruz is a reflection of the prophet. And what is Otar? No, 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 no. But okay, what is Otar? What is Otar? This is what is English word? No, no, Otar, Otar. What is English yes, word for is, Otar? A prophet. What is English? Yes. This is what is English to the word for Otar? This is referring to the Prophet. This is what I'm trying okay, to say. Which, here. Which, 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 which dictionary says that Otar means Prophet? This is, it's, it's, the the contextual, it. it's the contextual meaning, Imtiaz. This is what you have to understand. Look, you okay. Just, you now can't just think, look, yeah, this, is, this, is, this is the issue with you. Look, I told you in the There's no issue here. Now listen, listen. You have spoken already. Okay, Atar. Look, at the only issue here is, the only issue here is, Atta, okay, the problem. Okay, wait, wait, I have a question. Have no, a question. no, no, you have done already. You have nothing to say. You nothing to say. Okay, the problem here is first, you uh, when you talk about the Zilli Nabuwat, I quoted Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A. He said that Zilli Nabuwat brought Mirza Ghulam Ahmad at par with Nabi and Muhammad. And I explained this. Don't, don't straw man. You did not explain that. Okay. exactly what this meant. Uh, explain again. Explain I'll again. Explain this, I'll explain said, again. Pehlu, pehlu, no, listen, listen, listen. Pehlu, First, translate this one. Zilli Nabuwat ne Mirza ko Aafsa Asallam ke pahlu pa pahlu khada kar diya. Translate okay, this one. Wait, wait. Okay, let me ask you a question. No, no, no. You first answer my question. Let me ask you a question. No, no, no. 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 You, you, you ask a lot of questions. You love asking no, no, questions. I, I, I'm only asking you one question. Yes, you've asked. And I can see your face. You, last... you feel like crying. Adnan, I feel like crying. Are you, are you, you serious? Yeah. Why are you for the last away? half an hour. Atta, why are you For the last away? half an hour, you've been why asking questions. I've, Atta, we right. cannot give you Atta, look. If, they ask, if you don't want to accept, give you any look, more time, okay. accept how Atta, Hazim is a, if no, you don't want to accept no, the concept no, which Atta, Hazim is a war on the lace game, take that's fine with last, me. Atta, Atta, take your last two minutes, okay? Take your last two minutes and say whatever you look, have to say. I know people yeah, I know have listened already. I know people have seen already. People have seen already that this is the level of ignorance of you guys. Look, 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 Imtiaz, okay. Imtiaz, look. Ignorance I'm going to, I'm going to start your two-minute times, uh, Atabai. Your two-minute time starts okay. now. Go I'm, ahead. Going to, I'm going to end this uh, thing. Yeah, your two-minute time starts now. Thank okay. you. Yes, look, please. this is the problem with people like Imtiaz who think they've suddenly bought something out for ending Ahmadiyyad. His past ulama have been trying for 130 years and they've failed miserably. Hazim is a Ahmad al-Islam explained his second coming as the Prophet وسلم, as a reflective Baruzi uh, coming, okay? And this is what he's explained in the term terminology of Zilli Baruzi. And in Islamic terminology, there's a thing, la mushahada fil istilah, right? There's no quabbling and running over the terminology used. And this is what Imtiaz is doing, okay? He's going against this principle in Islamic um, understanding of the sciences. 
Then you have to remember, I've explained through the writing of Hazrat Mizra Ghulam Ahmed Islam, it doesn't mean on par, it doesn't mean that he is the Holy Prophet, it doesn't mean reincarnation, it doesn't mean that he is, you know, somehow at the spiritual level of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. If they are running around bringing Al-Fazl, doing some, you know, obscure quotations, not, by the way, this is for all the audience, listen very carefully, all the, all the audience, he's not it's using not the quotations one. of Hazrat Mizra Ghulam Ahmed Islam, he used one in the beginning, I gave the rest of the quotation, and he ran away. He's not talking about the mirror, the reflections. So he is basically straw manning Ahmadis, which is fine. You can do that. But all Ahmed, and, and the funny thing is, he thought that this stream would bring some kind of new concept and Ahmadis would be shocked and Ahmadis don't know. Dude, your own ulama don't even debate this with us. Final thing, Imtiaz, I want to know the date, the time when you will discuss the death of Isa. You ran away from this question last. I want you to answer it in this session please with your next final two minutes okay, okay. okay. before you come uh, in by, before, before uh, you come uh, date and time if there's by date and time i just want to respond to him inshallah you can shut me okay Atta, keep your beautiful face here on the screen inshallah let me respond to you okay now let's go this is alhamdulillah this is how the muslims this is how they respond in clear terms number one keep the face on the screen Atta. i want to see your face brother one second, carry on, carry on. No, no, I want to see your face, brother. No, he, he will, he will bring worry, it. No I've shown my face so much. It does. How much more do you want to see my face? <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Speak, okay, speak. okay, no problem. Okay, point number one. We have established, alhamdulillah, that Ata, unfortunately, was completely ignorant of the writings because we produced two references. In one, it says that in name, in station and in the job. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was exactly Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam without even a difference of a mustard seed. Ek zarre ka farak bhi nahi tha. No, not even a difference of mustard seed. And then they them Alhamdulillah, I honestly quoted the full reference. They say that Unme Taluk ta Ustad or Shagird ka they have. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, according to them, they have a, uh, a relationship of teacher and student. Then he clarified again. He said, Lekin isne unke naam, makam, aur martabe se koi farak nahi pada. Ye sirf husule nabu watta. He again clarified that just because of being the student, it did not affect the name, station, and job or work of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Then we quoted Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A. He is not some ordinary person. He is the son of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, number one. He is the one. He is the author of one of the major works, which is Siratul Mahdi, the Sira, the biography of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, coming from his own son, Mirza Bashir Ahmad M.A. What he said? He said, Zilli Nabuwatne of Mirza Ko of Sallallahu Ke Pehlu Ba Pehlu La Khada Kiya. Now, how, how else I can explain that one? He said that the reflective prophethood of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad brought him pehlu ba pehlu at par, side by side. To who? To Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. So these two ref Now, listen, dear Ahmadis. If you believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was the second coming of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam, this is what they mean by this, that he was exactly at par with no, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa number one. And number two, he said that, oh, obscure references of Fadl, Akbar. Are you serious? Which, what was obscure? Everything was crystal clear. And then he started to say that actually Fanafir Rasul and this and that, when I showed on the screen that Fanafir Rasul and Buruz, they are two separate things. And you guys can listen the stream again. He said that they are separate, but they are intertwined. This was a forgery, insertion. It does not say in the text. The text simply says, and this was the whole point in the text, the Fanafir Rusul. You know why he said this? Because the author of this text knows that there are many people in the past, they were Fanafir Rusul. Why were they not prophets? He's answering this question in this code. That because Fanafir Rasul and Buruz are two separate things. He tried to create escape by saying, oh, I, I mean Zilli. First, I answered the point of Zilli through Birzam Bashir Ahmad M.A. He ran to Buruz. 
when I answered the Bruce in this quotation, he ran to Zilli. So this is exactly the game they play. When you when they are cornered on one point, they will run to other point. This is exactly the game they play. And last point is this. He said that, uh, you know, I'm not quoting Mirza Sahib. My dear listeners, Alhamdulillah, we are people of Usul. I started the quotation of Mirza Sahib and then we did not give our own interpretation. I gave the interpretation of Jamaat to the court of Mirza Sahib. And this is called the, the, the how you interpret a text because the people of his Jamaat, not the ordinary people, his own son, I am sure that the son of Mirza Sahib knows what his father was writing. So I did not, so this was the link between first quoting Mirza Sahib and then quoting his son and his, his own newspaper. Why? So we can establish we are not giving our own meaning. We are giving the meaning which Jamaat itself has given. And last he said, death of Isa alayhi salam. Alhamdulillah. Yamani, our brother, is, uh, is debating on the death of Isa alayhi salam today. Very soon it's starting. Inshallah, we'll see what we have to say on that. Are we giving any more time to Atta or are we bringing the next guest? No, yeah, just he has nothing to say. Because, because there's still quite a few guests waiting, um, which will be interesting yeah. as well. Yeah, I have I have a couple of words to say very quickly. Okay, um, so I'm going to bring the next. Uh, I'm done. I'll bring the next guest anyway, and you can. No, no, I, I wanted to. I wanted to speak to Atta, but is, if you, I think, is, can you bring him back, please? Uh, he's he's left from the back yet. Okay. 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 So on, then. I will bring um, Ahmed in next. If you are there, so, I hope you have come back from Maghrib. Yeah, yeah. Before you bring him back up. Before you bring him back, Ahmed up. is on the screen already. Sorry. I would um, like to. Can you hear me? Yeah, you, you continue, and uh, uh, we can let Ahmed speak later. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Look, it's very clear from the sources, Qadiani Cook sources, that they believed Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani to be equal to the Prophet. The games they play with this terminal, Zilli, Boruzi, is just to confuse the masses. Okay, they don't have the guts. They don't have the guts to come and admit categorically that this is what they believe in. Okay, you know why? There's a reason for that. The reason is that the moment they start to accept publicly that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is or was equal in status, in work, in name to the Prophet Sallallahu to quote Al Fadl, then it will be absolutely impossible for them to sustain this claim because they themselves know that Mirza was nothing, nothing in comparison to, you know, <coughs> even, even, even a wali of Allah, let alone a prophet of Allah. Okay. Mirza was, according to us, a disbeliever for the, the, the things he did and claimed. Okay. For us, he's a disbeliever. Okay. For the Ahmadis, he's a prophet. He's a prophet. And in order to raise his status to prophethood, they have to they had they had to make these stupid claims that he was on par with the Prophet. He was equal to the Prophet in name, in status, in and in work. Now the reason why they feel strangled when we bring out their sources to show them that this is what you believe in. Clearly, Abba was not able to accept this. He didn't want to admit this, and he was trying to use these uh, Sufi terminologies. Amazingly, he himself admits that these are Sufi terminologies, and Salafis don't have any sense of Sufism. This is, firstly, he's trying to claim that we don't understand spiritualism. Okay. Did we lose Adnan Bhai? Uh, With me? Like, yeah. You, you hear oh, me? yeah, we can hear you now. Yeah. yeah. So just want to clarify for the audience that these games the Qadiani missionaries play is to confuse the masses. The sources are very clear. Imtiaz Bhai pulled out categorical sources that claim that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was on par with Muhammad Rasulullah in work, in status, and in name. Okay. They can't claim that he was uh, the Prophet himself, although they did. In the heading of Al Fadl, it clearly states in Persian, okay, Masih Mahud Muhammad Ast wa Aine Muhammad Ast. 
Okay, this, you know, the heading of the news article in Al Fadl, it states that, uh, that Masi Maud, in other words, Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani, is Muhammad and he is exactly Muhammad. The heading itself, I wish these guys knew Persian. Most of these missionaries don't know Persian. Okay. Why don't we get the next um, Ahmadi okay. guest and see whether they can able to answer yeah, the let's, question? Let's, yeah. let's guess, did, okay. did you guys manage to pinpoint the, uh, de the definitions of the word? Maybe we can use a lexicon that we all agree, you know, to get the definition of the words. So what happened to Ahmad? Why did we bring yeah, this? Ah Ahmad is still here. Mm. Ahmad oh. is here. Okay. Who do you want to get? Speak with uh, Ahmed. Yeah, actually, okay. Ahmed was the first to come. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Jazakallah for taking me. Um, interesting. interesting. Uh, before you, Ahmed, my before you begin, just one. Is it okay if I can say something? Bismillah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm first Ahmed. Welcome to the stream, first of all. Jazakallah. And uh, Ahmed, my. Uh, I want you to first answer a question because we want to make discussion, you know, fruitful for the listeners as well. Okay. So in order for someone to be the zil and bruise of any entity, what is the necessary condition according to the writings of Mirza Sahib? You know this is a question. Uh, it's a good so, question. Yes, the, so please, you know, I, don't, uh, I want to begin discussion with this question because we don't want to repeat yeah. things, but we want to make it fruitful because people are not understanding these things. So my, I, I would repeat my question that in order for someone to be the zil and buruz of any entity, any person, what is the necessary requirement according to the writings of Mirza Sahib? Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, interesting discussion uh, because the issue is that this 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 matter of buruz and uh, matil and majaz and this is discussed in numerous books of the Prophet Muhammad sallam. And according to my research, Brother Imtiaz, there are uh, there are about uh, I will give you, and I'm still I've, I, I I've written down the number while doing my research about 38 books in which the Prophet Muhammad sallam has discussed this concept. But for the benefit of, a, of the listeners, there's one book I would like to recommend, and which is A Misconception Removed, Ek Ghalti Ka Izala, in the Urdu language, in which this concept and every single question is answered. This is the basis upon which, uh, you know, this, this, this point has been explained. A lot so, of different uh, things have been... Uh, 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 Ashim, mm -hmm. from now onward, we can go with the timer, point to point. <laughs> so I have asked the question. So, yes. Brother Ahmed, please uh, answer the question in your two minutes, which I asked before. Yes, I don't, I, I don't understand uh, the, your question clearly. I just honestly don't understand. Okay, no problem. I repeat it again. Okay, I repeat mm -hmm. again. Because at the end of the day, Mirza Sahib has to be the yes. zil and buruz of mm -hmm. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, my question is, in order for him to be the zil and buruz, mm -hmm. what is the criteria mm -hmm. he need to meet? I'll tell you. And I'll answer it in the words of the Promised Messiah. The Promised Messiah says, I'm a Rasul as well as a Nabi, which in other words means I have been commissioned by God and I receive knowledge of the unseen from him. This is from a misconception removed, page 11. Thus the seal of Khatam al Namiyin remains intact, for I have received his name by way of reflection and zil through the mirror of love. And then he continues and says, on page 16, thus, just as it is evidence in this context that naming someone Muhammad and Ahmad by way of Buruz does not make two Muhammads or two Ahmads. Likewise, addressing someone as a prophet or messenger by way of Buruz does not break the seal of Khatam un Nabiyin, for the person of Buruz has no independent existence. This is the point that's been also mentioned in Masih Maud Muhammad As Muhammad As, as well as. The reference that you 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 pre presented here, and I want to go to it now because there's so many things that have been mentioned, and I had highlighted it. Yeah. Can, can, can we? Can we? Can no no no. Can, can we, we just take on that one point? No no no. Please. I've, I've made a point. I've answered from that that thing, and I want to also uh, allude to the points that you made okay. to Father because it would look like to the audience that we don't have an answer. The, go ahead. The answer, go ahead. Is, the answer is there. 
He Go says at the, at the very top, and this is the issue. Uh, you know, uh, I, I want 30 more seconds, please, because you, you know, you. No problem. Take it. Take it. Take so it. Mr. Bashir Amasayev on top of that page, which is page 113, which they have just take out the snippets as the Christians and the, you know, the other opponents of Islam do. It says, Mustakil or Hakiki Nabubuto ka darwaza band ho gaya hai. I.e., independent prophethood. And, you know, uh, this is another Hakiki Nabubuto, the, the true essence of prophethood, which is the prophet of Sharia. Has come to an end. Or zilli nabuwat ka darwaza kulla hai. Okay, this is that uh, the uh, by way of reflection, the the, the door prophet is open. Bas ab jo zilli nabi hota hai, wo nabuwat ki mohar ko torne wala nahi. He does not break the break 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 the khatam on nabiin of Rasulullah sallam. Because uski nabuwat apni zat mein kuch cheez nahi. Because his prophethood in its essence is nothing. It as I explained from Azale Oham, it is not two different individuals, but it is the prophet of, of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Continues to line six or seven. It says, "Jab zil ka ye takaza hai ke apne asal ki puri tasvir ho." The whole concept you don't understand that the zil, the reflection in a mirror, has to give the complete picture. It can't be half of the picture. And this is yeah, how the and all of the people had understood it. Yeah, please. Right. You know, I think like everybody else, uh, I would also like to know the meaning of these terminologies because. The whole thing, an hour and a half has been wasted, and we still haven't got to the crux of the matter as to what these terminologies mean. One guy yeah. says manifestation, another says, I don't know, something like foreshadowing or post-shadowing rather. What exactly is this? Is it a manifestation or is it not? Ahmed, a direct question to you. Yes. So, brother, brother I'll tell, tell you what it is. Okay. So, in the, in the Islamic scholastic tradition, these terms include, for example, shadow, which is zil. Uh, spiritually projected buruzi likeness. Mathil means non-real, ghair haqiqi, metaphorical. Majazi means partial, juz, uh, juz juzayisos, non-legislative, ghair tashri'i, non-independent, ghair mustaqil. Now these are all the terms which in reality are semantics, right? But the concept okay. is the same. The concept so let me ask same. you, let me ask so you this. Let, let me just finish, I want to say one sentence, one yeah, sentence go on. for, 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 for our understanding. So the issue is when, you know, the topic that we bring for a stream of two hours, wallahi, this topic needs days to be understood. Trust me. because Well, we you need 28 books and you still you still haven't uh, actually uh, uh, touched upon the actual crux of the matter uh, of the 38 books. Is. Seriously. I have just explained. the. No, but it, it, you, uh, you have just repeated what the previous scholar did. So let yeah. me ask you this. My, you know, we deal with the same concept with the Christians with regards to, and the Hindus as well, because they call it avatars, they call it uh, manifestations. They use the same terminology, trust me. So it's not, wait, 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 let me finish. I'll let you finish. Yeah, please, sorry. Okay, so we have dealt with this. It's not something new to us. So whether you bring in the Sufis, you bring in the Hindus, you bring in the Christians, we have dealt with them, brother. It's nothing yeah, new to us. To do with, okay, let yeah, me ask you one simple with, question, Muhammad. Please, please, please. We know who the Prophet sallallahu is. Yeah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We know who Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is. Now, let me ask you: Do when you say he is a manifestation, if that is a correct term to use instead of all the foreign words you're using there, would you say that their identities are same or different? The identities. Yes. As in their person, their physical being. No. no identity so whether you are a spiritual being or a yeah. physical being every yeah. being has an identity yeah. do you agree yeah so your identity is different to that of your parents for example yeah you both have yeah. a unique identity yeah. I would answer so this in a, on the day of Piyama, you will be responsible for your deeds and yeah, your yeah. parents will be responsible for their deeds so even though you're closely related your identities are separate so let me ask you once again yeah. is the identity of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and that of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, are they the same or are they different? In that in that understanding that you mentioned of parents and thing, yes, it's separate. No, no, in the, in the identity. Forget I'm parents. Saying. Forget parents. You, you don't need for your again. for your you identity. You don't need parents, my friend. You just you can example. be. A, so don't give an example. That's what I'm saying. Okay. When when somebody your your passport is your identity, right? Don't mention examples. That's what I'm saying. It, it's but you're asking for an example. I'm giving an example. Now I'm saying don't mention examples. I will give you from the Quran. You just said give an example. I'm giving an example of identity. Every individual is identified by unique identity. Whether it's your fingerprints, your retina scan, or even your passport. Okay? Yeah. So let me ask you once again. Using this, what I just explained to you, 
is the identity of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed and that of Prophet Muhammad who came 1400 years ago. Is it the same or is it different? By fingerprints, by eye example you mentioned, is separate. It's not the same. Okay. So in what terms would you say he's a manifestation then? Beautiful question. So to the Quran, Allah Dinwadi says in the Holy Quran, Inna arsalna ilaykum rasoolan shahidan alaykum kama arsalna ila fir'awna rasoola. That, that, that Allah says, Inna arsalna ilaykum rasoolan. That Allah is the Almighty has sent a rasool ilaykum shahidan alaykum. Just add, he has sent Moses a prophet. So there's a likeness of Musa alayhi salatu was salam with who? With Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And they have a resemblance. And this is the whole concept of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam in, is discussed in those 30 odd books that I was mentioning that just as in the time of mosaic dispensation there was a law bearing prophet and all of the prophets that came after they followed that law Ashim, so, by, can can I, I, likeness is not a manifestation look, you see this shows the brother likeness is not a manifestation let me brother you, brother you can be like brother, your brother I'm, but doesn't I'm make I'm you a I'm manifestation you. sorry say that again. No, I'm here, go on no, Sorry, I just the thing answer. is because we are just going round in circles well, because of this. I have not when the Quran yet. is mentioned, they make well go so No, no, no. The Quran, the Quran clearly Quran. says listen, likeness, listen. not manifestation. When, when the Quran difference. is mentioned, we should be silent. Please have that. Like it's not about me or you. Oh, wait, no, no, you finish the Quran. Come on, you finish the yeah. Quran. And then you no, you just interjected because I was no no no. You finished the ayat, you were explaining the ayah. Let me explain them. Let me okay, so don't, don't try to use these emotional arguments. So does that mean try to win the Quran and use the point here? I'm talking Hashim about Hashim. terminology. My, my words were very clear about manifestations, yeah. about similarities. These are okay. two different things. I'm okay. talking about identity. If when one asks, person identifies as something, then they cannot be something else, can they? Yeah, physically they can't be. Just as Rasulullah not physically, even spiritually, they can be. They can even spiritually. Just as Rasulullah is is likeness of Moses in the Quran. Allah Why did you use the term likeness, not manifestation? Huh? Huh? Likeness. Yes, it's the same. Likeness doesn't mean manifestation. They are two different words meaning two different things. Okay. 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 What I'm going to do now? I'll pass it on to Imtiaz. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to now. I'm going to go away from the books of Prophet Salam, and I'm going to prove to you. One sec. One sec. Let me make my claim. Let me bring the muqaddima. I'm going okay. to prove to you your no, own 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 no, no, wait, wait, I'm, I'm, it, okay. it, it is QA. It, 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 it is QA. It is QA point to point, okay? Now, QA, Ahmed, my QA on such a deep topic on the subject is QA. No problem. No problem. Show us your knowledge. Yeah, show I'm us your you. knowledge. Okay? Yes. So now, you raise, you note, down, note, down, note down three. No, no. no. Note you down the three points. I have you? not spoken after you. Okay. I have Can not we spoken. Go one by one, one by yes, one. it is. Yeah, it is by the way, it's, it's, it's Imtiaz's turn now. So you, yeah. you had your, you one had your turn. It is my turn. I have not yeah. spoken. It's Imtiaz's turn. You're right. Okay, brother Imtiaz, please. I am it. Brother Imtiaz, drink okay. water like last time. Let me grab some water. One sec. Please continue on this thing. No problem. Okay, just, just one Ashim sec. Bhai, Ashim Bhai, inshallah, my only request to you as moderator is. I will only, in my turn, I will only raise one question and I want you to have him answer that question. That's it. Okay, inshallah. But you know, the reason I had to step in and try to clarify this terminology because it's just going around in circles. They keep using this terminology. You you need to verify because you, you both need to come to an agreement as to which dictionary or which lexicon to use and then agree upon the definition. Others will not, we will not proceed otherwise. It, it'll just go in circles. And Ashim, my Ashim, my I'm happy to go one minute by one minute. Mm. <laughs> this concept cannot be discussed because you're asking the question. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's stick to two minutes, inshallah. Doesn't make sense. The reason the reason Imtiaz by is saying one minute is because but Imtiaz, you can just do a lecture and we will not come. You can just do a lecture like people will just listen in, mashallah, clap at the end, but we won't be able Ahmed, to let's, let's do two minutes, now, inshallah. Please, Ahmed, Ahmed, let's start, inshallah. Okay. So okay, my request uh, to you is, when I'm asking you the question, please take a note of my questions. Okay. My yeah, question number okay. one is, according to Mirza Ghulam, okay, Bismillah rahman rahim According to Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, was Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was a buruz of any human being? That is one question. Second question. Can an other Zilli and Buruzi prophet come after Mirza Ghulam Ahmad? Or because you said in your uh, in your turn, you said that 
حقیقی نبوت کا دروازہ بند ہو گیا دا ٹرو اور ریئل پروفٹ ہوڈ دا ڈور آف ٹرو اور ریئل ہیز بین کلوز اینڈ آفٹر دیٹ زلی اینڈ بروزی ڈور از اوپن سو مائی کوشچن احمد از واز مرزا فاطم الانبیاء فار دس زلی اینڈ بروزی پروفٹس اور مور زلی اینڈ بروزی کین کم دیٹس اٹ دس جسٹ ٹو کوشچن ایم ڈن ماشاءاللہ ویری ویری گڈ very very uh, uh, profound questions you have now your two minutes please yes bismillah start it no need to notes or anything so the, the issue is that when you are so brave and you 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 bring these references one quote or something like that when you when we open it and show you that the answer is stated exactly there you want to run away to a third point to the fourth point to the fifth point and to the sixth point that's what we that's that's what's been what's been happening We've said that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is khatam an-nabiyyin wa khatim an-nabiyyin both right in terms of his superiority his his status as well as his his sharia coming to an end nothing can be added la ya'ti ba'dahu nabiyyun yansakhu shar'ahu this is what ulama have stated a prophet cannot come up after him who can yansakhu shar'ahu who can uh, you know um, annul his sharia Now the question, the second question you asked, we have already discussed it in the previous stream about who can come after or not. I have already answered to you that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam informed of us about the coming of one prophet after him, in clear terms. Laisa bayni wa baynahu nabi. He said, "There's no prophet between me and him." Ah, uh, Isa alayhi salatu wasallam. The issue here is that is the matter of identity. That is why in the book Mutahhar ibn Tahir al Maqdisi. which which was i think written in 966 ce it says wa qalat firqa nuzul isa khuruj rajul shabih bi isa fil fadli wa sharafi kama yuqalu li rajul al khairi huwa malak wa li shariri huwa shaitan yuradu bi at tashbih la al ayan and one group says that the descent of jesus is the emergence of a man who is likeness of jesus in excellence and nobility just at it it is said of a good man that he is an angel doesn't mean now this is answering your question brother hashim and of the emu man that he is a devil but he is not actually a devil but he is depicting you know his qualities which is meant the likeness not the essence this is answer to your question and and there were of course i have to mention that uh, there, there there were two groups one who believed that he would descend uh, in accordance with act to appearance and the second group the, of of people believed that he would come in tashbih and uh, as 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 i've explained here Okay, uh, I don't think that answers my question, but uh, I don't know if uh, <laughs> Mtiaz has it answered yours. No problem. Problem. Hashim, bhai, Hashim bhai, I don't want to move forward. I only want to, because I did not get there. My, my first question was, Ahmed, please take note, please. It's noted, your okay? question is noted. My first question is, was Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, was he a buruz of any human being? Question mm. number one. Question number two. Is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad? Listen the question very carefully, Ahmad. Is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Fatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nubuwat? That's it. I'm yeah, done. That's the same question. So I, I don't I'm know. I mean, okay. It was an answer. I, 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 because I, I only want these two answers before I move forward. Okay. Okay. So this is, we, we gave you one chance. This is a second chance for the same can question. Request, can I yeah, man, go on. Okay, okay. I would answer yeah, directly, but you don't want me to answer uh, the previous. Yeah, Ahmad, hello, hello, Ahmad. Can yeah, no, you no, no, no. please, without wasting any further time, answer these two direct, clearly stated questions? So let's do one at a time. Empty as by. Let's do one at yeah. a time. What's your first question okay. once again? Okay, I was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu oh. alaihi wasallam. Was he a buruz of any human being? He was okay. like Ahmed you want to answer that quickly yes he was a likeness of Musa alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned in the Quran as i mentioned the no my wali buruz buruz you can't dictate that's what that's what i'm saying you can't dictate my the answer that i'm going to give i'm saying to you i'm explaining rasulullah cannot listen to what i'm saying rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasalam is khatam an nabiyyin he is the greatest of prophet the issue is you haven't read the books of prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam as you claim In Surma Chashma Arya, let, let me come read it and then, we, then you will say it's not an answer. Then Adnan can do this all night long with the Tasweeh in his hand. No problem. He's not answering the question. I'll tell He you how he answered it. He's not answering the question I'm again. I'm going to get answer from the words of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Listen to this. 
Surma Chashma Arya, page 249. Uh, brother uh, Imtiaz, write it down, please, as you say. I always write down, no, no problem. No, you don't. You don't write it down. Page 249. <laughs> okay. I, I, have you written it down? I'm waiting for the answer for my down? question. Okay. Now, what does he say? He says, Khudai Tala ki zaad ka namuna, Khudai Tala, dusra Khuda hargiz nahi paida karta. Khuda can never have a second God. Okay. Listen, listen, it's a simple question, Ahmed. Come on, man. You're beating around the bush again. Oh, the Holy Allah Almighty through his sifat, you know, uh, you know, he, he manifests in people. And then he says, or just a musaffa or vasi shisha, Messiah Ruyat ki tamam wa kamal shaks munaki sojati. Just as, you know, if, if there's a big mirror, just as. You know, his shabi, his, his, his appearance is clearly man manifest through it. See, so Khuda Ta'ala is sarah par apne misal kaim karna mohad mohtaris ki tasali ke liye kaaf nahi. Is jaga wazir hai ke is intihai kamal ke wujud ba wujud ko Khuda Ta'ala ki kitabo mein mazhar-e taam-e uluhiyat kara diya gaya. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is mazhar-e taam-e uluhiyat. He is the greatest of prophets. Now, that's what he says next. He says, and then he continues. Okay, uh, your, your time is up. Sorry, Ahmed. Um, Come on. Please, I can explain this concept, I, please. Come on, man! You you had enough time. This is the second, by the way. This is the second series, please. And then you still haven't answered. It's it's deep concept. We can't understand it. That's the that's the issue. What do you mean can't you you can't just say you can't answer it? Ahmed, we we are asking for the answer. You haven't answered it yet. I'm talking about Ahmed. I gave the answer that Muhammad Rasulullah is not looking at mirrors and all that. We don't want all those flowery words, man. Just want the answer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Please go ahead. Go on, please. Yes. Can I continue? Please, please, please. Okay, yeah, okay, no, no. Was Prophet Muhammad the bruise of any human being? This is the question, brother. I answered it. So, what was the answer? Was he or, or he wasn't? What do you define bruise as? I don't need to define. You have to define it. What is your definition of bruise? After that, you can define. No problem. Likulli First, give me the answer. Everybody has the right to do their, their, their own. I let you define. I let you, you define it's, it's a term in your book, so you should define it. My brother Ahmed, listen me for me, listen to me just for 30 seconds. Okay. Yeah. My question, all the viewers know what I'm asking. I'm asking you, was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam buruz of any human being? How else I can explain my question? He's not a buruz of Musa. No. Okay, no problem. Okay, That's I got fine. the answer. Yes. Okay. Okay, now yeah. question can number two. No, no, no. Okay. It's, it's my turn. Okay. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nubuwad? He's Khatamul Khulafa. He doesn't use the word Khatamul Ambiya. No, no. My question is you can say he, he was not. You can say he no. was not. No, 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 I never said. Oh, that. he was or he was not? He was what? Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul yeah. Ambiya for the Zilli and Buruzi? Himself. Wait, 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 wait. Was, wait, wait. My <laughs> question about question? my question is not about the Khulafa. My question is was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwa? This is my question. What is Khatam? Explain Khatam. You define last, as you are defined. Last? Yes. You last? You yes. He's the last to come? Yes. No, no, no. Yes. My question, listen to the question again. Yes. My question is very simple. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for the Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwat? The Promised Messiah himself, uh, him, himself explained, ex, 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 explained it in Munna Malay, the reference that we spoke last time. Did you not get the answer? So what is the answer? So what is the answer? The answer is he's Khatamul Khulafa under Munna Malay. My That's question is, let me one more time. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli translate. and Buruzi Nabuwat. Translate Khatamul Ambiya for, for, the, for, for the benefit of listeners. Translate Khatamul Ambiya. You're using last English prophet. Huh? Last prophet. For? Last prophet. No, we don't claim that. Okay, we're no problem. So no. now we you said two that. things. Number one, okay, if somebody says, if somebody says, listen, yeah. Mohammed carefully. Wait, 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 it's my turn. If some you, we don't say, claim that. Answered. Okay, if somebody says that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu yes, alayhi wa sallam was the buruz of someone, is he a liar or truthful? Sorry, he's, he's, he's if truthful. If someone says, if someone because, says, 
if is, someone says that prophet muhammad peace be upon him was a bruise of an other person is this person a liar or truthful prophet muhammad or or someone says he's a bruise of prophet muhammad or prophet muhammad listen says, again repeat listen it. again repeat if it. someone says that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the bruise of such and such person yeah. the, the, the the one who says this is he a liar or truthful i don't understand your question i'll tell you why i don't make sense i'll tell you why are you no 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 wait, 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 wait no 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 first question and then answer wait, 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 wait and then the first brother imtiaz is saying his words in the english language as clearly as he could yeah i am sure all the audience is following the discussion they understand his direct questions you're the only person here who cannot understand his clear and straight questions yeah i am understanding hashim i'm sure can understand the clear questions you're the only person who's not understanding the question so imtiaz bhai repeat your question once again slowly so that he understands your question i don't know no whether problem. he can't understand or whether he doesn't want to understand no problem we'll get no to problem it. i repeat my question ahmed bhai again mm. if if a person says that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the bruise of an other human being is this person a liar or truthful okay good question you think it's a very clever question no it's a simple question i explain to you i explain to you i said likulli okay. an yasaliha what it would, it would depend on what he means by buruz it would if if he means buruz mathil likeness then he's that that statement is, is incorrect if he says that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is for instance for example i mentioned the uh, example of musa alaihi salam that he's the buruz of musa that would be incorrect he's khatamun nabiyin he's the greatest of prophet so you so see if you, someone say i know okay. your cleverness no 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 no, no 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 so you are saying no 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 hundred so, uh, people, people can see people can see what's happening here jamaat, wait 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 the wait 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 let 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 let's say together let's say together keep the, the victory for later the hmm. person who says can you repeat after me ahmed can you repeat hmm. after me if a person says that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the buruz of another human being this person is committing blasphemy and kufr can you say this no i don't know what i'll repeat that one more time i'm reading okay no question. problem okay. because you said question. already no no wait 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 no. our discussion is not about the masil no our discussion is very particular specific i said that if a person says that nabi muhammad mm. sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the buruz of an other human being i am saying and you 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 said already before that this is not true right what yes i said what it depends what he means by buruz you can do the meaning later but first yeah, let's agree no with the statement meaning comes first no later brother meaning comes first okay what okay, do you mean by buruz explain explain what do you mean by buruz you explain to wait, us you explain to you that's why and that's why i explain to you ahmed ahmed came to the live mocking us for being jahil not understanding the terminology did i say that you lied you lied meaning. wallahi you lied for some reason did i call you a, did i call you a jahil wait, wait. did i call you a jahil hashim ahmed wait don't ahmed wait don't 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 correct i had gone to class i don't know if you could have said that at that time did i say jahil did i say jahil okay don't interrupt you came to the stream telling us that we don't understand the terminology we don't understand the meanings now that we are using your terminologies from your books asking you questions for some reason you've gone dumb you can't answer straight questions his question is so direct his question is so direct can you answer his question if someone says that the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the buruz your term from your books is the buruz of another human being such a person is a kafir is a blasphemer do you agree such a person is a kafir i said this i did not say this he's not I following us guys he's asking he's the question he's gone he's gone completely down okay you asking Please. the question he was asking you a question you're, you're not listening are you ahmed adnan repeated one last time one last time oh, please man. repeat it 
Oh, this is like the 16th time we are repeating the same question. No, because it depends what you mean by buruz. That's what I was saying. And he didn't okay. yeah, but he, did he not hear what Adnan said? He said the same terminology is used in your book. How do yeah. you understand it? So use that same understanding. Yeah, your yeah. understanding of buruz. These are your in your book. Whatever yeah. your Qadiani, Ahmadi okay. understanding according to the books of Mirza, because he's the one who used this term buruz. That I am a buruzi nabi. Zilli nabi, buruzi. Okay, if someone says, I'm going to make a statement, you can agree or disagree. If someone says that Muhammad Rasulullah is a bruise of another human being, such a person is a kafir, is a disbeliever. Do you agree or disagree? Uh, I, I, I don't think he, I don't think he's a kafir. If, if, he, if, if, if you mean, if you mean the person was size bruise of someone, Holy Prophet cannot be bruise of some, uh, some, somebody else. In the sense, the Prophet size bruise of the Holy Prophet. Do you understand what I've said? Do you, you understand okay. what I've said? Okay. Do you understand what I've said? The, the way the promised Messiah is bruise of Rasulullah, Rasulullah is not a bruise of anyone else. He is a mathil of someone else. Do you understand so, this point or yes or no? You don't understand. So if someone, Do you, you understand saying, this point or yes, yes or no? Yes, I, I understand. Good. So if right. someone says yes. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the bruise of another human being, However, you understand the term because it's your term. Yeah, is a kafir. You don't agree with the statement, or you agree no, with I, it? No, we don't call him a kafir in that sense. Okay, over to you, Dazma. You got your depends answer. On, depends on what he means by baruz. As okay. I what I think. Look, it? you guys okay. ask a question. Hashim bhai. Hashim bhai. Hashim bhai. Hashim bhai. Yeah. Hashim bhai. Uh, yes, we we inshallah, need to move inshallah. on now, guys. Yeah, yeah. Inshallah, we're gonna move on. Okay, mm. Ahmed Bhai. Obviously, point, you said point. that you cannot call this person a kafir. We will discuss that later in our stream, but. If violator, violator, now, please, now. If a person, why, why when I'm because gone? You're not, you are not why answering the I'm question. Gone? Discuss now. Bismillah. Yes. Discuss. Give us the fatwa. Okay, if a person fatwa says. Means, then I'll better fatwa there, Nala. Ask him, Adnan Rashid. Speak English, please. English, English, okay. Ask Adnan Rashid to give fatwa. He's sitting in the next to you to give fatwa. No, no, but do you love, okay, do you love a person who says that Muhammad was a bruise of someone? Is he a good guy, the one who says this? Good guy, nee. he said, he said, kafir, bro. No, no, you kafir. tell me, is, is he a good guy? If First he says of all, this? decide among yourself. As I said, I gave you the answer. Listen carefully. Oh, yes. The way the way the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu was salam, is a baruz of Rasulullah, in the same manner, Rasulullah is not a baruz of Musa. Understand what I'm saying? Okay. okay? But was he a baruz Rasul, or not? Let me finish. Rasulullah is mathil of Hazrat Musa, as said in the Quran, kama okay. arsalna ila fir'auna rasula. And this okay. is the concept from Prophet Islam has explained. So when you bring something from the books of Prophet Islam, please be honest. Wallahi, please be honest. Honest, present its concept with honesty, even if you disagree with it. You, you say this concept is a kufr, it has nothing to do with Islam, we will accept this. And we will okay. challenge it. But okay, now, I, it, now my turn. Now my turn. Okay. You. You, said, so you, said, you said that you want to give gurus some specific meaning. I am already allowing you give whatever meaning you want to give. Okay. But is it is it permissible in Islam to say yes. that Muhammad Sallam was a bruise of someone? Is it permissible or not? Or not? Baruz, uh, you can say uh, you can say Mathil. Nabi Hello. Muhammad was a bruise of someone. Is it permissible to say in Islam? I, I said Likuli and Yastalia. What does he mean by baruz? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. Let, let's continue. Yes, and I will explain it from the Quran. So, it is prim so it's, it's permissible, right? It depends what he means by baruz. Yes. Is it permissible it. in Islam to call? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Have, have, I, have I got the question okay, correct? See, it's on the screen. I I my, I it's on the I screen. Last right. time. <laughs> continue. Hashim bhai. Hashim yes. bhai. Now my second question. Was Mirza Ghulam okay. Ahmad? Khatamul yeah. Ambiya for Dilli and Buruzi Nubuat. Okay. You've done that already. No, you've asked it. I've already answered it. So let me tell so what, you. No, no, what was, no, 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 no. What was the answer? What was the answer? Yes or no? What do you mean? No, I, I'm asking you a question. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli hmm. and Buruzi Nubuat? Khatamul Ambiya of Zilli and Buruzi Nubuat? He said, yeah. he, What do you mean by Zilli and Buruzi Nubuat? What do you understand? No, no, look, 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 explain it. The Promised Messiah Islam claims to be Khatamul Khulafa. Okay, wait. Okay, okay, can okay, I... okay, okay. Direct answer, direct answer, direct answer, direct answer. I understand what he means yes. now. Okay, yes. I understand what he means. Yes. I understand what he means. So, as I said, and let me explain this. We know from Rasulullah's words 
that there's only one prophet we told by name who's going to come at the end of times. We believe it's the promised Messiah. For him to come, the door of prophethood has to be open. Otherwise, he cannot come. He's he, uh, otherwise if the door of prophet is in absolute sense. You're you know, not answering his question. He cannot come. Is, You're he not understand answering what I'm saying? his question. He understands what he's what is, I'm saying. No, no, no I, is, I did not. I did not. Oh, because you are not is, my okay, question. Allah, 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 Allah. My question is, Brother yeah. Ahmad, everybody yeah. knows what I'm asking. My question is, was yeah. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya, not Hulafa, Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nubuwa? This is my question. In terms of last, you said, yeah? You said before you explained it. You said in terms yes. of last. Yes. yes. We don't claim it as you're claiming it because your understanding is different. Oh, so, so it means, it means, it means, it means you are. Wait, saying, wait, wait. Continue wait, your discussion. Wait, continue. Wait, Where do you wait, want to go with it? not. Ahmad, stop it. I don't want to go anywhere. You are going Imtiaz, by one second. Imtiaz, by one second. You were at the Mars and you came back with Imtiaz, Ahmad, wait. Wait. Yes. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani yes. claimed to be a Zilli and Buruzi Nabi. 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 Noon. Baya. N A B I. In case everyone is not clear. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Claimed to be a Dilli and Buruzi Nabi. Imtiaz Bahi, Imtiaz Bahi is asking, was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani the last Zilli and Buruzi Nabi? Do you understand the question? We don't know. This is the answer. Okay. Finally. We don't know. <laughs> what will we let you know today? What will we let you know you. today? I'll explain you what I mean by we don't know. I explain now, now because, wait, wait, wait. Because this second, is why. What? One second. Ahmad, one second. Ahmad, one second. Ahmad, one second. Yes, yes. Ahmad, one second. Yes. In other words, in other words, the Qadiani, the Ahmadi Jamaat, yes. okay, opens the possibility or keeps the possibility open for other prophets, albeit Zilli and Buruzi, to come. Okay, they keep this door open. The door is not shut. The door of prophethood, Zilli and Buruzi, albeit, is still open to the Qadiani Jamaat. Correct? Yes. I'll explain it. Your concept is very inflowed. I'll tell you why. Uh, no. How, how, is, it how is it that you? How is it that you've gone so dumb today? I'm explaining. Wait, Ahmed, please. Okay. You finish please. and let me speak then. Okay. Yeah. How is, is, it, is the question correct? That's on the screen. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwat? Every human being will say it's, it's a yes or no question. Okay, okay, Ahmad, Ahmad, if he we were to ask know. you, if we were to ask you based on your understanding okay, of the you terminology are. Zilli and Buruzi that's used in your books, which you quoted earlier, would you answer in a yes or no for this because question? I, I tell he you why, he because, said, I don't know. No, no, because I tell he, you why. The Khatamul Anbiya term has never been used by Khumsa for himself. That's the point. It's, it's, a, it's a fallacy. You see what they're doing there? He's used Khatamul Khulafa. The prophethood is... Wait. Let me come... Wait. Look, look okay, so would you say no to Khatamul Anbiya? Let, let me explain to you. Ahmed, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. We Listen. understood what you said. Listen. Listen. Would you say no to Khatamul Anbiya or would you say yes to Khatamul Anbiya? The, if, if he hasn't used the term, then... What, I'm, 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 talking about the, I'm, I'm talking about the question the on the screen used. right now. I'm using the term that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has used. Yeah, yeah, so I'm asking you. I'm Why asking you. you we will, we will yes. show you the term Ambiya, okay? Answer yes. the question. Yes. Sure. Just say yes so or no. Simple as that. I've answered it. Was, was Mirza yes. Gulam Ahmad? Yes or no? Well, he answered, he doesn't know. No, I think, no, he, I think he was know, using right? the terminology. I've answered in the concept of being the greatest follower of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he's Khatamul Khulafa. And, and, okay. and listen, that's second thing. Nabi is one who receive, who, uh, who, who gives news of, of what he receives from Allah the Almighty. In that sense, Allah said, uh, Allah said, Ahmad, let me Ahmad, let him finish, let him finish. You know what I'm answering this. He knows I'm yeah, go on, go on, finish it. He knows I'm answering this. So the Prophet Sallallahu has explained this, that before him there's been many awliya and mujaddideen who used to receive revelation from Allah the Almighty, but not in quantity and quality as the promised Messiah was going to receive. Hence, he was Khatamul Khulafa. Okay. Right? And yeah. the word that, that, let me complete. The word okay. Nabi is within the Ummah of the Prophet, as in someone who receives revelation. But when he, when he says Anbiya, 
he, what he understands from it is independent prophethood. And when Adnan says uh, there's so more prophets, than I Allah, ask Allah, you, Allah. I ask you a question about Zilli and Buruzi, not yeah. independent prophethood. That's called Hakiki yeah. Nabuva. I ask yeah. you the question about Zilli and Buruzi. Yeah, I've answered it. So what's your answer? Answer is Mahatakum or Rasulu Fakuduhu. Why no, no, no. do you take it? You don't that's, take that's, a step that's the it. ayat of the Quran. What what we're asking yeah, here is that you, you said wait, wait, I Ahmed, you said Khatam al Khulafa. When it is Khatam al Khulafa, the answer for you, it's yes, am I right? But you're you're disputing Khatam al Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nabuat. Am I right? No, I'm 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 not disputing in the sense that you're saying. You're, you're confusing speaking. yourself. Ahmad, you don't even Ahmad, realize. I tell you, Ahmed. I tell you. No, I let tell me you. speak. You spoke a lot. Not me speak now. No, let no, me no, speak no. now. No, let no, no, no. It's my turn. It's my turn now. Ten let seconds and you speak. Ahmed, please. please. Ten okay, seconds and you speak. Ten please. seconds. Chalo, that's second day though. I'm going to that second day though. Please, please. please. Take twenty second. Twenty. Okay, okay. I said that our understanding is ma atakum rasulu fakudu. Whatever Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, you take it. You don't make a step forward from it. When Prasulullah told us, Laisa bayni wa baynahu nabi, we, he told us that there's going to be a prophet. We understand he's going to be within the ummah of the prophet. Okay? He has come, we have accepted him. You are playing a game. What's after him? What's after him? No What's problem. after him? No okay? problem. You're done. We, do, okay, we now don't my turn. know. Listen to what, by what I mean, we don't know. We know that Prasulullah promised that, uh, uh, that, that, that there'll be a prophethood, and after there will be khilafat ala min hajin nubuwa. The khilafat will be established on the precepts of prophethood. That Khilafat is established among us. And How much time you it. want? How much time you want? I've given the answer. Okay. It's, it's been now, over 40 seconds now. Come on. Please address. Okay, my, now. Now please my address turn. my understanding. Please address my I, understanding. I got your point. Now my understanding. Okay. Please. If someone says, if someone yes. says that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was the last prophet from Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwat, is he a liar? Last prophet from Zindi or Bur 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 Listen Bur again Bur the question. If someone says that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was Khatamul Ambiya, last prophet from Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwat, is he a liar? I, 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 I wouldn't say anything on that. I'll tell you why. Because I no, you see, are saying. I will okay. see what he has written. I know. Was, it, I would it, means that, it, it means that. It means that. It means that. You are sitting on no wait, 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 wait. It's yes. my turn now. Please, it's my please. turn now. Yes, yes. I give you one more chance. Okay. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad? Don't tell us about the Hakiki Nabuwat. No, my question is, as you know, my question is about the Ummati Nabuwat, Zilli and Buruzi Nabuwat. Yes. According to according to the Jamaat Ahmadiyya, is Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati Nabuwat. Has it come to an end? With Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, or is it continue? Have I not answered you already? What was the answer? Yes or no? There's no yeah, that's what I'm saying. You okay, let okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'll say I'm, I'm gonna ask you if I say yes, what's your response? If I say no, what's your response? Go. You don't have to worry about my response. <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't work like that, Ahmad. Come on. No, you it, tell it, us, okay. You, uh, you know what, to be honest, Ahmad, I'm, Ahmad, Ahmad, I'm going to bring in. I want to see okay? what contradiction he wants to bring forward. I want to see. I don't want, want to do anything. I he ask you a simple smart. question. He's going to bring a I'm asking you a simple question, Ahmad. Don't bring joke over me. Don't joke over me. Let me speak first. Then you can speak. Okay. Go on. I am not going to prove anything. I'm asking you a simple my question. Is 1%. I have to come back from the laptop, yeah? If it shuts down, don't think I've run. No, 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 wait here. Listen <laughs> to my question first, okay? Then you can yeah. go and you can sort the answer, no problem. My question is hmm. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad the last prophet from the Ummati, Ghair Shari, Zilli, Buruzi, Nabuwat? This question needs a yes or no answer. He's the last prophet. Uh, 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 so, uh, Zilli, Buruzi, Ummati. He's the last prophet under Zilli, that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has told us about. Here's so basically, answer. basically, he is the last prophet from Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati Nibuat. Yes. Complete. Aage, aage bhi kuch hai. What have I say said after English. this? Say in he English. is the last prophet in terms of Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati. What you have said that the Prophet has told us about. Alhamdulillah. 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 It has come on the record. Now, Ashim Bhai, give me just one minute, okay? Let me speak something. Ahmad, you stay here, okay? So, up till now. So, uh, it's one, one percent, please.
Sorry? Sorry? Yeah. Let him go and connect to his laptop because it's no not worries. his time. I stay here. I will speak after you come back. Anama, you can speak. Anama, you go on, Shala. Anama, you can speak. Okay. Look, it's clear that Ahmed is simply not able to answer this question clearly. He doesn't have a clear answer. That's why he has to dance around it. He's gone now and he's going to come back in. He already said that uh, his laptop battery is dying. So we will wait for him to come back. But it's clear that he's not very clear on his own concepts. And this is what we are trying to expose about the Qadiani religion. Okay, it's a made up religion. It has no clear answers, no clarity on these very, very, uh, you know, important concepts of Islam. Okay, Zilli and Buruzi was a term coined uh, or used by uh, Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani to claim a type of prophethood that has no place in Islam. Okay, this is something new he claimed for himself because he was a charlatan. He was, you know, he knew that he couldn't be like the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He didn't have those characteristics, didn't have the qualities and he was clearly a liar. Okay, so he coined these terms. Now these terms are like a lock in the neck of the Ahmadi Jamaat. Okay, those who chose to follow him for whatever reasons, may Allah guide them. Okay, so now clear answers, he cannot give us a clear, uh, clear questions, he cannot give us a clear answer. Okay, and there's a reason for that. The reason is that the concepts themselves are not a clear. Adnan Bain, yes. inshallah, I will, I, will, I will pray Fajr now, but I want Ahmed to stay here, inshallah, I come back in five minutes. Okay, no problem. Go ahead. We'll, we'll continue, inshallah. So, this is, this is a very, very important thing on a very important topic. Earlier, we presented the evidence that the Qadiani ideologues and the founding fathers of the Qadiani Jamaat, which doesn't necessarily always mean Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, they came up with ideas and to this day, the Qadiani Jamaat or the Ahmadi Jamaat cannot make sense of those ideas. As demonstrated earlier, it was clearly stated in the literature, early literature, that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was seen as a prophet on par with Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is the second coming of Rasulullah It is clearly written in his uh, books that there are two advents of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One was with the Prophet himself, the second with Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. And, and the, the second... second the, the the, 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 second the second advent, advent is basically, basically he is on, on our heart with the Prophet shoulder by, shoulder by shoulder, side by side. Mirza Muhammad Bashir clearly stated that even his, uh, you know, Zilli, his Zilli Nabua puts him side by side to the Prophet ﷺ. We quoted it, we put it on the screen, right? And now when we ask this question from the Ahmadi Jamaat, they cannot handle it. I mean, like Ahmad is right now nodding, he's there to respond. Okay. Now coming back to our main point, you said, you said, Zilli or Buruzi, okay, you don't know clearly whether that prophethood has ended or that type of prophethood, whatever it means, has ended with Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. You're not clear on that. Or are you? Can I speak? Yes, yes. Assalamualaikum. Can you hear me clearly? Yes, <clears throat> yes. Okay, so where was the disc discussion that we left left off? I said, uh, yeah, 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 I remember. I said, I said the promised Messiah salam, is that prophet that Rasulullah informed us about. For him to be a prophet, the door or prophet of under Rasulullah has to be open. Otherwise, it makes no sense. He has to be a complete baruz. He can't be half of the Baruz, he's a quarter of the Baruz, he's 10% Baruz or 5% Baruz. <laughs> the very essence of Baruz is that he reflects the mirror, what's the, the complete picture of the mirror. Okay? So, so, this, so, this is how the so, concept is, has, 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 has been explained. Now, it, the it. Prophet وسلم, has not told us about anything after he's told us about Khilafah. He said, 
then the Khilafah would be established based on prophethood. Is that Khilafah established or not? It is established uh, among, among us. We believe it is established. We're talking about Nabuwa. <coughs> yes, yes. So you Anand are brought, Anand bhai, I challenge you. Let's go over those references again. Al Fazl, three references. Three, 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 three. Al Fazl and that two references. Let's completely go over them. I challenge you right now. Page that one page, okay? And we understand what is written over there. Not one one thing that you mentioned, because I read it out to you what was stated above, right? And what was stated in the middle. And then you took something from the uh, from the end. So that's what I'm saying. That's dishonesty. Let's not do that. So since you are building your case upon those two references, let's, I'm going to share it right now on the screen. Full, complete references. You know Urdu, I know Urdu. You know Punjabi as well. I, 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 I you know, I realized. We, 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 we can go we back, can go back, back to the references if you want. We no, should, no, we no, should, no. we should. We, we, yeah, yeah, but before we, the case. Go back, before we go back, we need to establish to the Qadiani Jamaat. Can another Zili or Bukhari prophet come? Is that the topic of the stream? Is not the topic. It, it's, no, a it is, it is, it's a smart thing. It's a good smart thing that you've done. It's a good smart thing. Wallahi, it's a good thing. I see, like you're a good debater and you know how to go, uh, go from side to side and how to cut things. The topic of today was is the promised Messiah the salam, the rules of Rasulullah sallam. He's claiming to be the second coming of Rasulullah as an independent, thank you, thank separate, you. You complete in his understanding. That was thank the stream's topic. That thank was you, the stream's topic. I, I really, I really feel. It's really not off topic. It's still the same topic. I, I, I. I don't know. Same topic? Topic. Topic. Is that what you had advertised? It is definitely I am back. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. so it was my Okay, guys, so guys, guys mic is open. open. Someone's mic is open, open, open and we can hear the. Uh, I think uh, uh, Ahmed, uh, your mic, we are hearing the echo. Oh, not again. It's the laptop. What should I do? Uh, I've got keep yourself mute. mute. Okay. No, keep yourself mute, 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 and then speak when you speak. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so with regard to our, I we only discussing two questions, and this is the topic as well. First one was regarding the burus, and I ask you this clear question, brother Ahmad, that is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is is he the burus of any human being? So your answer was. Uh, sorry, let's, okay. let me so, unmute him. Yeah. So your answer right. was that he was not the bruise of any human being. Okay, this was your answer. He was not the bruise. You said he was masil, etc. But you said he was not the bruise of any human being. This was your answer. And after you're that... Muted. You're mute. You're mute. You're mute. If I said... I mode, said Complete what I said. Don't leave out okay, what please, I said. Please, please, I said please, he is please, not please. the baruz. Rasulullah is not a baruz of a prophet, any other prophet, any human being. Like the promised Messiah was the baruz of Rasulullah. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's very clear. But, but, because but, but, but just, as Isa, right? so just as Isa was a baruz, could say, of, 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 of Musa. Because he came in his ummah as, a, as you know, under him, under his sharia. So you are you can saying... Say, so no, yeah. no, 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 you are saying... Although he was yeah, independent, yeah. of course. No, no, please, 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 please mute yourself. So you are saying... You are saying that Prophet Muhammad was the buruz of someone, right? What are you, brother? I, like, are you are you not understanding what I'm saying? I am saying. Every time what you think. I said categorically what I said with Quranic verses. What categorically? categorically? Do you know the okay. meaning of categorically? Yes, very well. I explained to you yes, what I mean. Yes. So Don't misquote me. I know you're frustrated. Okay. Okay. Guys, the question is simple. Okay. Yes, the question is very simple. Brother Imtiaz. Prophet One Muhammad was the bruise of another human, human being, being or he was, or he not, was the not the bruise? This is the question. I answered it. The, the Holy Prophet but, but, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was the Mathil of Musa, not the bruise, not a bruise in the sense that the, the promised Messiah in Islam was the bruise of Rasulullah. If you say bruise means similarity, because he, as, as I was mentioning to Brother Hashim, uh, 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 the, the, the thing is concept. These, these, the thing is concept. It's not to do with the, you know, linguistics. This means this, this is... They, they were stuck in these, you know, they, this means this, this means that. Yes, according to us, yes, yes. The Holy Prophet said, Alhamdulillah. whoever rejects the Messiah, the Jews. Now, obviously, now, obviously, 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 Yehud, Arkafar, and Ahmad has excommunicated all of us, right? No, 
I said, so those who rejected, Yahudi. those who rejected the Messiah were the Jews. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, "Anaalu bin Naal," just as a shoe resembles yeah, the shoe. Yeah, you re you rejected your Messiah. Sorry. You resemble the Jews. Can I request something? You are a Mathil. You are Mathil of Jews from South. We believe this. The sound is not right. The sound is. Hello. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, it's echoing. Ahmed, when you speak, it's echoing. Ahmed speaks. Only he speak and then turn his mic off so that others can speak. That's how the sound comes clearly. Because when you are speaking on top of Ahmed. The sound is echoey, so we don't want to hear echoes, please. Okay. One by one, one by one, okay. please. So Ahmed was Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, Khatamul Ambiya for Ummati, Buruzi, and Zilli Nubuwat. Now, listen before you answer. You are saying that after Muhammad, the door has to be open. This is not my question. My question is after Mirza Sahib. Is this door open after Mirza Sahib or not? Okay, I'm going to answer it. Yes. The beauty, yes. Of, the beauty is the is uh, whatever answer I've given. If it's not sufficient for you, no problem. But I'm going to answer it in the words of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is from Tohfa Gaurriya. You know, I think you should go and read that book, especially where he does he, when he explains how Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is is you know the concept of baruz in terms of Allah, where he says wa ma ramaita idh ramaita wa lakin Allah harma. It was not it was not Allah it was not Rasulullah throwing it, but it was Allah who was throwing it. Yadullahi fauka aydim. It was the hand of Allah upon the hands of in, at the time of Sulah Hudaybiyah. Can you explain what that concept is in, 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 in accordance with Islam? How, how did he become Allah? How did he become the hands of Allah? How, how, how do you understand this concept? When Allah says, Kul ya ibadi, Kul ya ibadi asrafu ala anfusihim, la taqnatu min rahmatillah. Huh, brother ha Hashim, explain this. You've been asking me questions for the past two hours. I've, I've been answering it. I want you to answer. I haven't been asking you for questions. No, no, brother. Uh, sorry, brother Imtiaz. Sorry, 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 sorry. Please, sorry. please mute yourself now. Please mute yourself now. Can you answer my question? What I said? Three verses. Three now verses. It's my turn. Now please it's answer. My turn. Please mute yourself. This is right. Wahid Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, Khatamul Ambiya of the Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati Nubuwat. What is what? What is your answer? Did did I, did I not give you the answer? No, no. I gave you the answer. What was the answer? Was he, I said, or was he not? I said he was Khatamul Khulafa and he's Khatamul Ambiya in the sense uh, under Baruzi and 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 uh, the, the the words I used Baruzi and what was it? Um Ummati. Zilli. 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 Baruzi. Ummati. That Rasulullah informed us about. This is my complete answer. So Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, according to you, according to Hadith, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the Khatamul Ambiya. Mute you, Mike, Ahmed. Yeah, repeat yourself, repeat yourself Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. So, Ahmed, according to your answer, you can correct me if I misunderstood it. You said that the way you understand from the Hadith, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is the Khatamul Ambiya, last prophet of the Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati Nabuat. Yes or no? So just as you believe Isa alayhi salam is going to be Khatamul Anbiya when he comes back, look, huh, you can do this whatever you want, but the principle not. principle remains the same. This is why this is why the principle remains why the same. Why don't believe that Isa was Khatamul Anbiya? What, what are you saying? saying? But Isa's died. Isa's died. You, you, why did why you say that? Ahmed, okay. wait, 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 wait. Take your words back. Take your words back. You put an allegation of us that we believe that Isa is the Khatamul Ambiya. Take it back. Apologize to us. I swear by Allah that you guys believe Isa alayhi salam to be Khatamul Ambiya because you believe he because he's from the Ummah of Bani Israel, Rasulun Ila Bani Israel, who's going to come at the end of times. He's going to complete, you know, Liyudhira Waladini Kulle. All of those things which were for our Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for his honor, you gave it to that man. And you are I not am, accepting am, am, that a single person, let me complete, I'm asking my yes, question. Yes, yes, not yes, a yes. single person was worthy enough from this ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that God could speak hi, to hi. him. <laughs> that God could speak to him. Hi, hi, nahi. <laughs> that God okay, could speak okay. to him. Okay. 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 No, one second, one second. No, no. I asked you, I've answered my questions. I asked you, Allah says, فَلَمْ تَقْتُلُوهُمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ قَتَلَهُمْ وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَا In chapter 8, verse 18, Surah Anfal, Allah says, فَلَمْ تَقْتُلُوهُمْ You did not kill them. 
ولكن الله قتلهم الله had killed them okay وما رميت إذا رميت القرآن is red herring أستغفر الله أستغفر الله you should never say this it's the same concept it's the same concept because we're saying it was not because you say I mentioned the Quran a Am I? Face liar. I never said the Quran is red herring. I said the point you made is a red herring. Am I? Am I? Am I reading Gita here? I'm reading. I'm. I'm reading. I don't think you understand here. English. Forget Gita. Gita. Yeah. Everyone stop. stop, stop. But that's your point, though, isn't it? Okay. 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 Now I understand it. So let me complete three verses. Three verses. I will go quiet. I will go quiet and then you answer, brother Danan. Okay. Okay. So second verse is in the Ladina you buy your own. Stop. One second. Stop. One second. The mic is a real. Ahmed's mic is mic is. Yeah, Ahmed, get a phone. Wait, wait, wait. Because the laptop's not working. One second. Can Ahmed? One percent. Phone is. Yeah, use a cable. Yeah, phone, right? Listen, listen. The problem is when it's when someone else speaks, it goes on echo. Mute, mute yourself. Mute yourself, Ahmed. The problem is Ahmed. He talks. He responds, and then we respond, and in that process, the voices get lost, guys. Okay, so I I, I warned you earlier. It's very frustrating for the the people watching. So please don't speak over each other. Ahmed, once you finish talking, mute your mic, give others a chance, so that we can have a conversation. Okay. Okay. So so please don't forget to forget to. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. One minute. One each. minute each. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One minute or two minutes, brother Mtiaz. Minute, don't want two minutes? minutes? You don't like two minutes anymore. Now it's going to become for 30 seconds. We got to, guys, we need to end the stream. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. I, 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 love, I love you. Jazakallah. 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 You, I, know, I know I like this. Uh, you know, you, you bring this in just to soften me. The courage will still, still be there till the end of judgment. Remember this. I love this courage. <laughs> yes. We love Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Okay. So, okay, so I asked you, I've answered your questions in terms of Baruz and all of these concepts and no, stuff. No, 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 no. Okay, you, according to you, I haven't answered. According to you, I haven't answered. Okay, let me complete, let me complete. Uh, as Brother Dan said, you, can you mute yourself, please? Mute yourself. Can you mute yourself, Brother Imtiaz? My mind is going to echo. It's going to echo. It's going to echo. It's echo when you speak. Is mic is not the problem. Is mic is mic is not the problem. What's the problem then? Oh, my mic. Okay. So I need to mute. Okay, Bismillah. Okay, I understand now. Okay, I said, I said, in my understanding, I've answered the question about Baruz. I have challenged you to open those two references that you mentioned from Al-Fazl. We're going to read all a complete picture of what's mentioned there. So people are not misguided as to what you were saying. Like, the, you know, like, يُحْرِفُونَ الْكَلِمَ أَمَّ وَادِعِهِ They change the words from here to there, okay? And the the, the reference you, you mentioned of Mirza Bashir Uddin Mahmoud Ahmad, what he said, from top to bottom, we will read. I have in front of me. I challenge you right now on the stream. Don't run away from me. First thing, write it down. Second thing is, you asked me a question about Baruz. And I, 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 I mentioned to Brother Hashim, I said, Brother Hashim, these are linguistics. The concept is from the Quran and Hadith and the scholars. The concept in the, is in the Quran. It's unfortunate that we have, we have thrown Quran behind us. Quran should come first. And the Quran says in Surah Al-Anfal, verse 18, walakin Allah Oh, oh Rasulullah, it was, it was not you who threw the pebbles. It was Allah who threw the pebbles. For first verse. The second verse is, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ يُبَايِعُونَكَ إِنَّمَا يُبَايِعُونَ اللَّهِ يَدُ اللَّهِ فَوْقَ أَيْدِيهِمْ At the time of Hudaybi, Allah says, it was the hand, not the hand of Rasulullah. It was the hand, don't text your mates to help you. I see there's texting going on. يَدُ اللَّهِ فَوْقَ أَيْدِيهِم. It was the hand of, of, of Allah upon the hand of the believers. Then it says, Oh, my servants who have committed excesses against their own souls, despair not of the mercy of Allah. In Allah, Allah is surely, you know, he, he forgives all sins. These three verses of the Quran, Rasulullah is saying, Ya ibadi, my people, my servants, whereas they are the servants of Allah. So now, I know what you're going to say about this verse, and I'm, I'm going to bring Shah Waliullah Muhaddis Zailvi to un un answer you, who's your Shaykh, inshallah. Don't, don't worry about that. These three verses, I'm going to go mute now. Explain what this concept is. In, 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 in the understanding of Salafiyyah, and in the understanding of Ahl Hadith, what is this? And because the thing is, the concept is important. Not the word this, that means this, Matil, this, this, this. This is, this is red herring, Brother Hashim. That this wording, this linguistics is red herring. 
What is not red herring is the concept from the Quran, the ahadith, the, the, you know, the scholars, how they understood it. The Barelvis have this concept, the Sufis, many, I've got a list of scholars that I'm, I'm going to mention now. I've kept them for, for the end to see what Brother Imtiaz, you know, says. So what, what did Brother Imtiaz do from the very beginning? Okay. He mentioned our references to paint a, okay. to paint a wrong yourself, picture. Okay. Yeah, answer, answer. Mute your mic, please. Okay, wait, before we go to Imtiaz, right? Okay, guys. Can we conclude this topic and move on? Okay, because Ahmad has repeatedly given the same answer. He's not giving slim, uh, He's not giving clear answer. I'm not clear. To to to, to this point, I am not clear on his answer. Okay, he's throwing verses and other things here and there, names, Shabariullah and other scholars. He said this. He said that. Allah said this is the Quran. Irrelevant stuff. We want to come down to the actual concept of Nabuwa, Zindi and Boruzi Nabuwa, a concept which was introduced by Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani for the first time in the history of humanity. For the first time. Exactly, yeah. This and time, and Adnan, Adnan Bhai, what, what else is important is the fact that he's saying the terminology is not important, but the concept is important. He brings in the ayats where the concept is not there. Zindi and Boruzi concept is not there. So this is a complete red herring. He brings in and he wants us to say this is metaphorical, literal. That's a different thing. Bring in bring something. Is a little bring, explain, bring, it, me, explain me, it. Ahmad, Ahmad, you're echoing because when you speak. Is there any Nabi, any Rasul, okay, who was a Zilli or Buruzi of somebody else? Show me the concept in the entire history of Islam okay. or okay. before the okay. Prophet and and in his time as well, when he ever said this, these are the terminologies that the uh, that the Qadianis, the Ahmadis brought in. And and the Hindus bring in this, like I said, I dealt with them. They bring in terms like avatars, like uh, manifestations, like resemblances, all these things they bring in. So it's not it's not just from the Sufis, I think. It's, it's from no. the Hindus as well. Mirza yeah. Quran is using terms like Zilli, Boruzi, Otar, Mushtari, Marik, all of these Islamically alien term. Otar is not an Islamic term. Otar is a Hindu concept which Mirza brought into so-called Islamic literature of his. Okay, okay. So Mirza is the first person in human history to bring these terms up. And now, amazingly, his missionaries like Ahmed and others, they want us to define them. Can you believe it? They want us, when we question them, when we question them on these concepts, they want us to explain the meaning. How how could we how could you be more absurd? Over to you, Tiazbay. I don't want to take your time. Over to you, please. Go ahead. Ashi Mike, Mike, Ashi Mike, can you please put on the screen the reference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to bring in the reference. You have to answer my questions. Three verses. Explain them. Explain them. Oh, no, 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 no. Explain them. Quran is not irrelevant. Quran is not irrelevant. Quran is not irrelevant. Quran is not irrelevant. Okay, Ashima, please put on screen so people can see what I'm saying. Okay. So while I'm bringing that up, let's give Ahmed the last opportunity to explain himself because there's another person waiting and we have got less time now then okay Ahmad, you can take your turn it is on the screen as well so please take your last turn so inshallah after that you can take good rest. no no do you want to make do you want to make, because it's because okay. it's can i explain okay, okay. Sorry, can, just wait. Your, right. your right right is it my turn let me just right? mute Ahmed. yeah okay. so empty as well because it's your slide just explain what is on the screen okay. so we understand okay. exactly okay. So, uh, here share full here, reference, uh, full page, full page, please, full page. You can read the full page in your turn, no problem. It's the same, same layout. Okay, go ahead. Now, the question I was asking that is Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is he the bruise of any human being? And now Ahmad is saying, bring the whole page. I invite him, bring. Oh, the whole book, no problem. It won't impact what I'm going to say now. Okay. It is Ruhani Khazain, volume 17, Tofa Golarviya, page number 256. Volume 17, page 256. I read in Urdu and English, inshallah. 
مدنی مدنی زندگی چونکہ چونکہ تکمیل ہدایت کے لیے آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم نے دو بروزوں میں ظہور فرمایا تھا ایک بروز موسوی اور دوسرے بروز عیسوی اور اسی غرض کے لیے ان دونوں ہدایتوں تورات اور انجیل کا قرآن شریف جامع نازل ہوا سو وٹ ایور میننگ احمد وانس ٹو گیو وی گیو ہم دا فل اپرچونٹی آور پوائنٹ واز آور نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہی از ناٹ دا بروز آف اینی ہیومن بینگ ان اینی سینس آف دا ورلڈ ان اینی سینس آف دا ورلڈ وی آر یوزنگ دا ورلڈ بروز ہیئر اوکے سو اٹ سیز ان دا ان دا انگلش اٹ سیز دیٹ دیر فار ان آرڈر فار دا کمپلیشن ہاشم بھائی آئی وانٹ ٹو ٹرانسلیٹ دیٹ ون نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ہی اپیئرڈ ان ٹو بروز ون بروز آف موسا بروز موسوی اینڈ ون بروز آف عیسا سو وی ہیو پرووائڈیڈ کلیئر کٹ ریفرنس دیٹ مرزا غلام احمد ان والیم سیونٹین پیج ٹو ففٹی سکس آف روحانی خزائن ہی ہیز نیمڈ اینڈ ٹائٹل آور نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ایز دا بروز آف موسا اینڈ عیسا مائی کوشچن از ناؤ کلیئرلی ہیئر مرزا غلام احمد کادیانی از کلیمنگ دیٹ محمد رسول اللہ was a Buruz of Musa and Isa, correct? Okay. In that same light, Mirza claimed to be a Buruz of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, correct? Yes or no? Maybe Ahmad can answer this question in his time, okay? So now clearly, Buruzi Nabuwat is a term introduced or coined by Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is trying to claim something the Prophet never taught, never claimed, never declared that he was a Buruz of Isa and Musa. We're talking about Prophet Muhammad, that he was a Buruz of Isa and Musa. Rasulullah never said this, okay? We don't have the term Buruz used in Hadith anywhere where he actually said this. It is Mirza who is claiming this. Mirza, and then he claimed the same thing for himself, that I am a Buruz of Muhammad. So now, if, if Buruz and Zil is still continuing, that means another guy down the road, any Tom, Joe, or George, or Terry, or Murphy can come along and say, I am a Buruz of Mirza of Alam Ahmed. Okay, maybe Akadiani, maybe tomorrow Ahmed, who is listening to us right now, if he... Uh, ends up having some dreams and then he wakes up one morning and says I am the Buruz of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani just, just as he was a Buruz of Muhammad Rasulullah and just as Muhammad Rasulullah was a Buruz of Musa and Isa I am a Buruz of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani what's stopping him? He already said earlier that we're not clear we don't know we don't know whether Buruz and Zil Zilli Nabuat Buruzi and Zilli Nabuat has stopped so I just wanted to add this Ahmad um, can Okay, the, uh, can, I, can I respond here? Yeah? So, so this is probably the third or the fourth reference, and I challenged you before. Let me recap for the people listening. I challenge you, Al Fazl reference, the other reference. You didn't want to share it. Even this reference, this is the issue with you people. You're showing four lines. Let me read the other. Ad, ad, Give me time to read the other thing with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So just before this, okay? He says, "Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ki makki zindagi hazar Isa se mushabit rakti hai." اور مدنی زندگی حضرت موسا سے مشاور رکھتی ہے دس از وی کال تفسیری لینگویج اینڈ اسکالرز آف دا پاسٹ ہیو ریٹن سو اف یو سی دس از کفر سی ایٹ امتیاز آئی ڈے یو ٹو سی دس از کفر سی ایٹ ناؤ سی ایٹ سی ایٹ آئی چیلنج یو ٹو سی دس دس کانسیپٹ ہیز بین مینشن فرسٹ ٹائم از کفر آئی لو یو نہ نہیں سی ایٹ نا کیوں نہیں کہہ رہے اب کیونکہ پتہ ہے کہ اپ کے علماء نے یہ لکھا ہے پتا ہے آپ کے علماء نے یہ لکھی ہیں چیزیں ابھی میں ابھی شام ولی اللہ محدث ذیل بھی لاؤں گا اور سب دوسرے لاؤں گا چونکہ تکمیل ہدایت کے لیے آپ نے دو بروزوں میں ظہور فرمایا ایک بروز موسوی اور دوسرے بروز عیسوی اور اسی طرح کے لیے ان دونوں ہدایتوں تو ریت اور انجیل کا قرآن شریف جامع نازل ہوا 
what what did, what what does he say that the quran was was the completion of what, what musa alayhi salam brought and what isa alayhi salam brought it that was the the jame right that was the completion of 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 those teachings do you disagree with this is is it not the completion of those two teachings <laughs> is not is not the completion of those two teachings okay you you uh, adan skip to that turn. Complete. Okay. No, 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 no. I will speak. Complete your turn. I'm not saying. We're not saying anything. Yes. Complete yes. Your yes. Because the issue is you made you you raised so many points. You like made like ten thousand points. Yeah. One and I've I've answered them. One I've answered them. One I, I, one I, yeah. yeah. You, you guys answer. He has answered them. What point did you raise? I'm at complete. Repeat your point, brother Nan. One point you made. What was your point? Do you remember? Do you even remember it? Yes. Was Nabi Muhammad the bruise of any prophet? That was the point. Yeah, good, good. And uh, what did the what did the answer I gave? Not in the sense. Not give any answer. Wallahi, I gave this answer. I'm about to repeat. I said Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is not in the bruise in the sense the promised Messiah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is bruised. This is you just say where your understanding is incorrect. This is not your interpretation. Yeah, you you said do whatever interpretation. Likuli and yastali ha. You said do whatever interpretation of bruise. I can't let you leave Mirza Sahil. You said yeah. I'm I'm doing I'm doing I'm doing from Sahil's interpretation. Hair hair bruise hair bruise hair bruise means mathil hair bruise means mathil. Please, please okay. mute yourself. Please, 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 mute yourself. Look again. Uh, don't speak over each other. Again, let me clarify. What Imtiaz Bai has done by presenting that last quote is to show you that according to Mirza Walam Ahmad Qadiani, Muhammad Rasulullah was a bruise of Isa and Musa without explaining, without explaining the terminology. He used the same term for himself. Okay, we're not just making this up. We're not making this up. We have. We're not a bunch of bunch of heads and heads and heads and heads and pin dog. Pin dog. Ahmad, 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 Ahmad. So, so please mute, mute. We're just presenting Mirza's own writings to highlight, okay, his problems. Mirza said Muhammad Rasulullah is a bruise of Isa and Musa. Then he goes on to say that he's a bruise of Muhammad. We asked you earlier that is Buruzi Nabuat or Dilli Nabuat uh, finished with Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani? You said, I don't know. You said, I don't know. That means the door, the door is still open. Okay. So if the Buruz of Isa and Musa came into Muhammad and then the Buruz of Muhammad came into Mirza and then you're not clear whether this bruise will end or the buat in that bruzi sense will continue what does khatamun nabiyin mean what does la nabiya ba'di mean what does it all mean that means the buat prophet will continue until the day of judgment this is why this is why the ulama of islam declare the qadianis to be disbelievers this is the reason why because of these beliefs because of these ideas because of mirza walam ahmad qadiani claiming these absurd things now can you answer the question that without putting a spin or making the buruz of isa and musa different to the buruz of muhammad and then the buruz of mirza walam ahmad qadiani different if you are making a distinction on these three different buruzes then you have to qualify them if you don't qualify them with the distinctions then don't make a distinction go ahead Jazakallah. Uh, the qualification is mentioned. The qualification. No, no, no. We, we're doing very good. The qualification of Buruz is mentioned in his book. I mentioned right at the beginning. Ek Galti Ka Izala. 26 pages only. Go and read it, and inshallah, I might see you in person and we can sit and discuss it. No problem. A Galti Ka Izala, a misconception removed. He categorically differentiates his sort of prophethood that he's mentioning. And, and Brother Hashim, Hashim raised that question that. He's come out of nowhere and, 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 and has mentioned it. Yes, there's not been anyone before the promised Messiah, alayhi salatu wasalam, who came in this understanding of prophethood before him because they were all independent prophets. Allah did not give prophethood to Isa, alayhi salam, because he was the follower of Musa. He was directly given prophethood. 
The Promised Messiah Islam, God only spoke to him. And now I'm, 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 I'm explaining what Prophet is. God only spoke to him because he was a complete subservient and from the Ummah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our understanding, you can say, oh, it's, it's, it's correct. They can just be with them in, on the Day of Judgment. They can't be them, but they can be with them on the Day of Judgment. That, that's your understanding of it. Okay, so 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 uh, you 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 said you have to you you, you have, what was the word you use? You have to classify. I didn't use the word. You have to. I didn't use the word. So I've given you an entire book with the Prophet Sallallahu Now I don't have the time to go over those references. I gave it at, right at the beginning. How does he classify? He doesn't present his buruzi yet or his buruz same as the buruz of 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 uh, the the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Musa Islam. That example that is given here. Because in other books he explains from the verse. If that is not tamthil, what is it? What do you understand this to be? What, what is it? What, what does it's, it mean? It's not what, what, is, what is this concept? What is this concept in, in your understanding? Can you answer me? Okay, please. Okay. It means we have sent you as a Rasul just like we sent a Rasul before you. This is exactly what Allah means. Okay, this is how we understand it. This is how the scholars of Tafsir explained it. There is no bruise there. There is no bruise there. Okay, so don't try to make it bruisey. That's it. That's the response. Okay, as I said, tam, so he, is, is, uh, there's no tamthil. Holy Prophet Sallam is likeness to Musa. Is he likeness to Musa? Holy Prophet yeah. Sallam. Yeah. Sorry, I think it's uh, brother in class. Let, let brother in class. Okay, we're gonna go to brother in class because your time is up anyway. So, yeah. likeness. In class, by you want to present something? Likeness, uh, likeness yes. is in humanity. Likeness is in being a rasul. This which one? Is, which is one? The likeness. Sharia. So, uh, note down the question, uh, brother Ahmed, which you need to respond. Only one question in your turn. Only one question. Okay. Is the door of Buruzi Prophet opened after Mirza Sahib? Is the door of Buruzi Zilli Ummati Prophet opened after Mirza Sahib? That's only one question I'm asking you. That's it. Okay, now Hashim Bhai, uh, can you please uh, put uh, uh, this one? I send you now. Yes, please now. Okay. Okay, Ahmed, answer the question, please. Very straight, direct question. Please yeah. answer. Direct. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Say so that that he, is 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 he is, is the is, is the door of uh, Baruzi prophethood open? Is that the question? After, after Mirza Sahib. After Mirza Sahib, I answered you the question that the Rasulullah told us about one. He has come. We have so accepted. The door him. is door is closed. remove the reference for now. Let him respond first. I I I, I didn't say closed. I didn't close the door. I said Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam informed us about a prophet that's going to come after Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the understanding of Muna Malay, in, you know, from, 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 from the followers. Then he, us, then he told us, then he told us Khilafah. This is our understanding. Then he told us Khilafah. Ahmed, did you understand the question? Now you want discussion. Okay. My question was because you are not my question, Abdul Ahmed. My question. I'm not going to give you your answer. I'm not going to give you the answer that you think I should give. You know, that's the issue. Okay. Mute yourself, Ahmed. Ahmed. Okay, go. Imtiaz, just repeat the question once, and this will be the last time. I'm I'm really tired yeah. of this now. Ahmed, I, I I I totally accept your right to answer the way you want to answer, but at least answer the question. The question is: Is door of Zilli Buruzi Ummati prophethood opened after Mirza Sahib? This question needs answer. Yes, it is open, or no, it's not open. I'm quiet now. Yeah, unmute yourself and I'll answer Ahmed. Sorry, yes. Ahmed, Ahmed. Yes, yes. I've just I've just unmuted myself. So for the I don't know for the hundredth time or something, I think I, I have answered this question that according to our understanding, let me complete. Prophet told the prophet is going to come, we accepted him. Okay. Second thing he told us Khilafa, according to our understanding, the Khilafa is continuing within within Ahmadiyat. Now, what's gonna come after? Look, for the Messiah to come as a prophet, the door has to be open, right? We can't close that door. The verses of the Quran are open, okay? But Rasulullah did not inform us about that. Let me complete. It's not completed. Because in Munamalai Guru, 
in Munamal Igro is Khatamul Khulafa. So revelation will continue. This is what it means. Nubuwa illa al mubashirat. You know, you know, you know the uh, hadith as well. That within Nabuwa ulama ummati ka anbiya ibani Israel. Okay. The, 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 the ulama of my ummah ka anbiya bani Oh, they're just like the Bani Israel ulama. They don't receive revelation. Allah doesn't speak to them, but they're like the, 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 the prophets of the past. You, if you close every type of door, then that means this ummah is, this, uh, there, there's no comparison of this ummah with the previous ummah. Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijal linnas. You are the best ummah. Now, so the, in, in this understanding, Allah the Almighty would, would continue to speak to people. He will. How we, much do, you, we do not, look, the Holy Prophet وسلم, has not specified for us someone else as an Ummati Nabi. You said Isa ibn Maryam, he's going to come back. We say he has died. Another person in his tashbi will come back. Okay. This is our answer and, and, and we give. Okay. You're gone. Okay. 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 Now, now, Ahmed, uh, there, there is no more because we don't want to bore the audience as well. Yeah. Now I'm going to make my last turn on this point. And before that, I want to mention something very important for the listeners because we need to educate the listeners as well. So according to Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and Jamaat Ahmadiyya, Hakiki Nubuwat, the Nubuwat which Muslims know, the Nubuwat which is in the Quran, that has come to an end with Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is one point. Second point is that after that, they initiated another kind of prophethood. Who initiated? Only Jamaat Ahmadiyya. They initiated a new kind of, it's called Zilli, Buruzi and Ummati Nabuwat. Okay. And once they initiate this one, number three, number three, once Mirza has gone through this door of Zilli and Buruzi and Ummati Nabuwat, then they have closed this door for anybody else. According to Jamaat Ahmadiyya, no prophet can come as a Zilli, Buruzi or Ummati. Now we are going to present the reference. No more talk on this one from Ahmad. We have given him ample time. time. So, so uh, uh, Hashim, uh, Hashim, 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 please bring us in. There's okay, been so many you, references. Can I, I want to no, leave no, now no. as well. Can you give me two minutes and I, I, I want to leave. Just two, last two minutes. I'll make my statement and leave. With, with let, respect. Let, I don't know. Let, 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 my, let, Hashim, Hashim, please put on the screen now, inshallah. Present the no, no, it's okay. We'll, we'll give him two minutes. I'm keeping the okay. timer, but this oh, will no, be no. the last one, yeah, Ahmed. Okay. Yes, 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 brother Hashim. Thank you. Present Sorry, the you're saying you saying something, Adnan? Are you no, saying I'm something, pre Adnan? Present the quote first. Let him speak. No problem. Let him speak. Okay. Okay. So he wants to. He wants to do it after I have. I. I have gone. No, no. One you suggestion. Said you want to speak. Yeah, it's okay. I will speak. I'll speak. One. One. One suggestion I want to give, brother Intiaz and brother Adnan. If you want this to be genuine and 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 sincere, and you want to help the Ahmadis, one thing you mentioned. You differentiate between Ahmadis and scholars. There's no differentiation. We had 5,000 young khuddam, we call them. Young, we, were, we had a gathering today. I've left and came here. All of them, all of them came and said, by, by the grace of God, God, Alhamdulillah, you've raised our confidence and iman in the Prophet. So do, there's no differentiation of their Ahmadis and Qadianis. We refer to us, all of us with respect, and we, we respect you as well. And you have been very nice. Keep like this. I think you should, you should wear this hat next time as well. It, it helps you. You know, calm down as well. It's looking nice on you. Okay, so my last statement, please. Yeah, give, give me time on it, brother Imtiaz. If I'd go a bit over time, please. You know, I I would ask you for some time. Yeah. How much please. time? So, please tell me. That, how much time, how much time, you, time want? you want? Three minutes. Was okay. No problem. No go, problem. Ahead. go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. So we're wrap, 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 wrapping this up now. We have explained that the promised Messiah, Wasalam, according to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu prophecies, right? He spoke about that a Messiah would come at the end of times. We said Isa alayhi salam, uh, you, uh, we said Isa alayhi salam has passed away. You said he's going to come back next, next, uh, you know, a sec, sec, second coming, which you have to prove. Now, what, whenever, whatever, uh, uh, you know, whenever he's going to come back, according to your understanding, he's going to come back as an ummati, right? And he's going to be a prophet. You can't take away his prophet from him. So whatever allegation you put to us is the same allegation we're going to put to you. You say old and new. There's no question of old and new. Sulaiman said, La Nabi Abadi. He never said, you know, new or old. He says, La Nabi Abadi. If it's, if it's absolute finality, it's absolute finality. Isa will not come. And there are people who believe in this concept. They believe according to, uh, there are many Quranists who, who, who believe that Isa has passed away. They said nobody will come. Quran is enough for us you know, to, live, to, to live our lives. Now, there are many scholars who have spoken about this concept. And it was quite uh, not right that I, I didn't mention them. And just one reference I want to you know, men mention before going 
uh, which is very, very Im Im important. Uh, and I think this this will explain a lot of things because they're saying this concept is something that the Prophet Messiah has, you know, brought himself. He's he, he's concocted it out of nowhere. Now, they, you know, among the Shias, among the, you know, among the Brailvis, Ahl Hadith also. So one of the references that I want to give here is. یہ مقام مستقل طور پر حضر خاتم النبوت اور فاتح الولایت محمد مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے لیے مخصوص ہے اور آپ کی پیروی کی برکت سے اس مقام کا نمونہ بعض بزرگوں کو بھی دیا عطا کیا گیا تھا اور اسطلاح میں ان کو خاتمین اور فاتحین کا لاکھ رکب دیا جاتا ہے رائٹ دا پیج ڈاؤن پیج نمبر ایٹی ٹو بک اس سرات مستقیم سید احمد شہید شاہ اسماعیل شہید اوکی دس اس ہز بک سرات مستقیم وی کنٹینیو ہی سیز کیونکہ یہ تینوں مقام مستقلی طور پر انبیاء علیہ السلام کے لیے مانے گئے ہیں مستقلی طور پر I can't translate, I don't have time, people can, you know اور ان کے ماسوا ان لوگوں کے کمالات کے زل اور ان مقامات کے نمونے کے سوا اور کسی چیز تک رسائی نہیں Right, which, so, so, so again, مستقلی and according to مستقلی طور 30 seconds, 30 seconds Okay, oh, come on now <laughs> Brother gave me 3 minutes 30 seconds, 30 seconds Let me finish, please You know, like have some, have some patience, please Okay, Shawaliullah Muhaddas Delvi says one form of the real spiritual re-advent in the times of the progeny or the followers are included within the same status of a principal person in the same way as the image of Holy Prophet وسلم, will appear in the advent of the Mahdi. Okay, this is from Al Khairul Kathir, page number 72. Please take notes, answer these. Otherwise, these all ulama are, you know, they are Muqtadiya or they are whatever, you know, they, are, they have concocted this. This is Shah Waliullah Muhaddis Delvi. Brother Adnan, you, you, you made a lot of videos about him. Please answer this. Don't skip it. Okay. Then again, he says the reality is that the promised Messiah is to have the light and image of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu in him. Many people think that the promised Messiah will be an ordinary person from the Ummah. This is not true. He will be the true embodiment of the name of Holy Prophet Sallallahu and his true copy how can he be compared with an ordinary right, Muslim? Al Khairul Kathir, page 236. Why I kept these, why I kept these, I'm finishing. Why I kept these to the end is, is to show that the criteria that you had all built up for the past two and a half hours, it collapses there and then boom. Why? Mashallah Quran guys, mentions why? it. Quran mentions it. Okay, thank you. The bro. scholars mention Okay, thank you. Thank you. He's floating okay. about Ahmed, Okay, I, I want to thank you. I want to thank you last year and I want to leave. Hey, 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 I want to thank you guys. I want to be face, and face, and face to face inshallah for my three minutes. Okay? Let's mute yourself. Let me allow me just yes, to respond in three minutes. The mic. The mic. Okay. Yeah, he's okay. muted. He's muted. Okay. okay. So, my dear beloved audience and viewers, you need to understand one thing that when we discuss with the Ahmadiyya clerics and uh, as uh, in the words of uh, Brother Ahmad, the scholars of Ahmadiyya, one thing I want to advise all of you, always keep a track of what discussion is happening, what the topic is, what question is being asked and answered. Because they want to just cloud the whole environment by throwing irrelevant things into the discussion. Why? To confuse the people. So inshallah, I will wrap it up in these three minutes, inshallah. So point number one, we made a claim that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad has blasphemed our Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam by calling him a buruz of Musa and Isa alayhi salam. So we have, alhamdulillah, provided the reference. And if somebody wants to check again, it is Volume 17, page 256 of Ruhani Khazain. We gave the conclusive, clear-cut reference. We did not give any interpretation from our own side because our whole point was whatever meaning you give to the Buruz, that's not our subject. The subject is calling our Salam a Buruz itself is a blasphemy. That was our point. We have proven that number, alhamdulillah. Then the second point was that... Uh, we, Alhamdulillah, we, as please, I request all of you to watch the discussion with Ahmed again and again. Multiple times we gave, asked him a simple question that was Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, Khatamul Ambiya, not Khulafa, Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi and Ummati Prophet. So whatever answer he gave, you have already heard that. Now let me make a statement. And I want Brother Ahmed to sit on his official channel and say that I was misquoting or not quoting them properly. 
اکارڈنگ ٹو جماعت احمدیہ مرزا غلام احمد از بلیو ٹو بی دی خاتم الانبیاء لاسٹ پروفٹ آف ذلی بروزی اینڈ امتی نبوت نو مور پروفٹ کین کم اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ونس ہی ول سٹ آن ناؤ ایز ہی سیٹ دیٹ ہی کیپٹ سم ریفرنسز فار دا اینڈ گیس ورٹ مائی حبیب مائی بلوڈ وین یو سٹ وین یو ول سٹ آن یور لائف اسٹریم دا ٹرمپ دا ٹرمپ کارٹ از اسٹل دیئر we let we let you dig, dig your grave your grave more we let you dig your grave more deeper inshallah if you have the courage sit on your channel and respond what i said i'll i repeat my challenge to all of the ahmadiyya clerics 5000 of them mirza gulam ahmad is believed to be the khatamul anbiya of zilli buruzi and ummati prophethood no more prophet of any type shari غیر شریعت زندگی بروزی نو بڑی کین کام this is their belief and next point was he was saying that what about Isa ibn Maryam Un- unfortunately uh, Ahmadiyya have very serious problem in their, in their comprehension okay I, I, I kept saying this point if you want to implement any of the ahadith of Isa ibn Maryam on Mirza Ghulam Ahmad First, you need to prove he was Isa ibn Maryam. That is the discussion. Okay. First, you prove this one that he was Isa ibn Maryam. You have finished already. No more terms for you. Okay. First, you need to prove when you sit on your channel, prove to us. And I want to give a simple example for the common people to understand this point. For example, as we all know, in Islam, there are rights of father. Okay. We all know that. Okay. If somebody comes to me, he says to me, Don't you know the Quranic ayat and ahadith about the right of the father? So you have to obey to me. Are you my father? Okay, this is the point. Okay, so first you need to prove that Ghulam Ahmad, born in India, Amritsar, to son of Chirag Bibi, he was his Ibn Maryam. And you are discussing the death of Isa al Islam, blah, blah, blah. All, all of that is an element topic. You need to prove him Isa Ibn Maryam. And last point is, inshallah, and we end with this one, that uh, unfortunately, uh, the problem uh, with Jamaat Ahmadiyya is they don't even listen to their khulafa. Okay, Ahmad, listen very carefully. Mirza Tahir Sahib have categorically denied in his only 50 second video that no more profit can come. No more profit can come. Write it down. And when you sit on your channel, throw a challenge at me. At least listen to your khulafa. So the, the conclusion is, Alhamdulillah, we have established our case because people need to understand the deception of Ahmadiyya. Prophethood is continued. This ayah of the Quran is the fail, fail mudare. My brothers and sisters, all of that is just to confuse you. I have made a categorical denial from the Ahmadiyya. They do not believe in the coming of any prophet whatsoever. In the last, let me tell you one thing, because they don't read Mirza Sahib. Mirza Sahib said that his time, us pakizgi or taharat ka akhri zamana hai. After the time of Mirza Sahib, There will be no more time of righteousness and purity. And now we are living, and, and, and then he defined as well. As well that his time, time, time is... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. No problem. It's our stream. It's our stream. Okay. 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 So uh, now, can, I, uh, can, I, can I say a few things and I will go? I want to thank no, you guys. No, no, no. no, can't no. Thank, I can't thank you? No, no. You don't need, you don't to. need to. Are you angry? Yes, wait, yes, wait. No, no, because I want, want to again confuse the people. I will not. I will not comment about this. Okay, I will not talk about this. Okay, we are men. We are men of our words. Okay, I'm not going okay, to. I'm okay, not going to talk about it. Okay. Jazakallah. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for the for the stream, giving us thank the opportunity. You, you. But yes, yes. you have to come to our stream. What is what is what is what is what? But is B U T T. But you only you know, you want to thank, want to thank me. me. Yes, I'm thanking you, but I'm inviting That's you to our stream as well. I'm inviting you. You 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 said uh, throw me a challenge. We are. Cha- I'm throwing you a challenge online from everyone. Please come to our stream. Like brother Adnan came, we gave we showed him respect. He accepted. Brother said, Brother said, Adnan, you gave me respect. You gave me time. Brother Adnan, you accepted it, please. So then you yeah, went yeah, on the stream yeah, and you said, yeah, you know, this and that. So please, if you were, the issue is, the issue is, 
The issue is you the come, point I point would point not, point. we would not, let me complete, let me complete. And then you can speak out, be quiet. You see, you see, we, you see, we will not. We again want again to open, open the discussion. No, I will not. I will not. Let, it has, let, it has, no. It has, no. listen. You've been saying we are, we runners with this. We've been coming to every stream of yours. I did not say this. You said, everybody said, but you have to, listen, this is a challenge to you. And we send it through emails and everything as well. But then you, you see our streams, you watch them, but you don't want to come. Why? Come. Okay. You know, to be honest, when he said, I want to thank you. I, yeah, yeah. When he said, I want to thank you, I expected thank you. And he did not keep his word just on thank you. He extended more. You're not a man of your word, Ahmed. I'm really disappointed. If you wanted to challenge him, you could have sent another email, you know? Yeah. So stick to your stick to your word, Ahmed. Be respectful. Okay. Yeah. We didn't we didn't expect you to go on and on. Because this is exactly why Imtiaz Bhai didn't want to give you a second chance. You can do as many face palms as you want, but you were not a man of your word. We'll have, to let, you him go we'll have to let him go. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Ahmed. Okay, Ahmed. You give them a finger, they they take the whole arm. That's a problem. Yes, and I think uh, Imtiaz Bhai and Adnan knows. I, I don't I think Adnan because he's in uh, in the Haramain, he's, he's very quiet, mashallah, today. Alhamdulillah, no, may Allah I, bless you. I wanted, I wanted him to finish on a positive note before he left, uh, so that people know that there is no... Oh, he can still hear you, don't worry. Adnan, he can still yeah. hear you. Yeah, right. yeah. You can let him back in very quickly and we can finish it positively with him. Uh, I just want everyone to know that there is no personal vendetta between us. Uh, we, we all believe in things we believe in. Okay, Ahmed insists to believe in what he wants to believe in. We insist to believe in what we want to believe in. We are simply sharing concepts and ideas here so that people can see the reality themselves. They can decide. Okay, and so there is no personal vendetta, hatred between us. The only the only issue between us is basically we uh, don't agree massively. We don't agree. Okay. So end on a positive note, Ahmed. You have to go. No problem. No problem. But, but end, end on a end on a. We will continue, we'll continue with this. So ten okay, seconds. Seconds. So. Okay, Jazakallah. Thank you so much for um, for giving us the opportunity, and we want to give you the opportunity as well. Not a challenge, but in in a, you know a, a humble invitation, a very humble invitation. Please continue this. If you want to bring us back to Hidayah, as you guys claim, please come to our stream as well. We will show you the same mannerisms, you know, same respect, even more, you know. Uh, so it's open from us, brother uh, Adnan. Remember, pray for us. We pray for you, and may Allah Almighty guide us what, to what the right path is. This should be the prayer, without any, uh, you know, ambiguity or without any biases. Jazakumullah, brother Hashim. I apologize, brother Hashim, if if I upset you today. You are very no, nice. No, you, just, you, you, just, you always been very, very. Uh, look, I, I have to admit, brother Hashim, you've been very nice, brother Tiaz. Everyone, Jazakallah, may Allah bless you guys. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum. Ahmed, before you leave, I want to respond to uh, your invitation that you asked us. Okay. So, next Saturday, I am not here because we have to travel somewhere. The week after, when you come on this channel, okay, come, no, listen, my boy, careful, okay. On in the public, Adnan by myself, yourself, if you want to bring somebody else as well. We will discuss the uh, all the terms and conditions that if we are going on your channel, okay, what will be the terms and conditions? And if we both mutually agree on respectful, fair terms and conditions, inshallah, I assure you, Adnan Bai and myself, inshallah, will come. But the but first in our next team, in our next team, inshallah, come with a prepared mind to discuss the terms and conditions publicly, so people can see. If we are asking something unjust or unfair, they can see. And if, and you, if you are, are not, not agreeing, agreeing to our just demand, they can see that as well. Inshallah. Okay, next week I'll come. But if you want to say now, you can say now. Pub public is watching. You can say it. Oh, what you fine. want. We'll 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 keep it next, next, next time. Okay. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Okay. Wa alaikum assalam. Ala man al huda. Right. Did you want to, you wanted to share some... Something on the screen, Imtiaz Bhai? Yeah, yeah, please, yeah. I would just want to share for the people that I, I try to read them many times. Okay. So basically, uh, this reference is, uh, the book is called, it was a, it was a risala, a magazine. It's called Tashheezul Azhan. And the editor of this particular magazine was no other than Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmood Sahib. He was the second caliph. He was Muslim Maud. He was the editor of this particular magazine 
and nothing was published in this one without his approval and permission. That's a disclaimer. Now listen what is said here. It says that I read it in Urdu first. Hat isi tarah hat me nabuvate zilia me ta adud kisi tarah bi jaiz nahi. It means that there is no way that there can be more than one khatam of the zilli nabuwa. There is no way. Kisi tarah bi jaiz nahi. There is no way. Then he says, balke zaruri hai ke ek hi ho. It is must. It is must that the khatam of zilli nabuwa has to be only one. A hazrat ki ummat mein jo shaks bhi nabi ho, wo zaroor hai ke khatam mein nabuwat e zilliya ho. A hazrat, whoever will be the prophet, in, the, in this ummah, he must be the khatam, the last of the nabuwate zilliya, this shadow or reflective prophethood. And then he says, or khatam e nabuwate zilliya zaroor hai ke ek hi ho. And it is must that the khatam, the last of the nabuwat of, of reflective, reflective nabuwa has to be one. Look, look how emphatically he's saying again and again. And then he says, ha. If somebody is not a complete reflection, there can be many such people. But uh, then, then he says, Listen everybody carefully. But he says, Listen everybody carefully. Listen everybody carefully. Listen everybody carefully. Listen everybody carefully. Listen that there can never be more than one prophet in the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Then he says that Nabi Allah, uh, Nabi Allah, aap uh, is ummat mein sirf ek Nabi Allah aane ki khabar di hai, jo Masih e Maud hai. In this ummah, there was only one prophet to come and there was promised Messiah. And then he says, aur iske siwa kat an kisi ka naam Nabi Allah ya Rasool Allah nahi rakha gaya. Other than the promised Messiah according to them, no one else is called or named as a Nabi or a Rasul. And then he says, Balke na nabiya ke, Balke la nabiya baadi a zikr farma ke auro ki nafi kar di. Look, they're accepting this hadith that there's no prophet after me. This hadith has denied prophethood for anybody else. Or, that, that, then he says that, or khol ke bian farma diya. And it was said in clear terms, openly. What was said? Listen everybody carefully. This is, listen in English, he says that it has been said openly that after promised Messiah, there can never, there can never be a prophet or Rasul after the promised Messiah. In, in, in the beginning, they clearly closed the door of Zilli Nabuwa. And they clearly, categorically said that the one prophet who will be the Zilli, he will be the Khatam of the Zilli Nabuwa. And this was exactly what I was trying to say to Ahmad. And I am happy to, you know, uh, to admit that he, maybe he was not aware of all of these things. No problem. I will not say in his upset that he was lying. I will give him the margin, but rest of the people can see. Again, if you want to note the reference, this is Tashizul Azhan, number three, page number 31. Okay, if anybody wants reference, and the, by the way, this is exactly the scan of the original. It is not photo, uh, uh, written by anybody else. This is a scan of the original book. Now, I want people to tell us that how else we can prove to the audience that in Jamaat Ahmadiyya, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the Khatamul Ambiya of all kind of prophet because there was only one door open according to them. There was Zilli, Buruzi or Ummati and even this door, it clearly says here, is closed after Mirza Sahib. So there is no room here. I don't, I don't know why uh, Ahmad does not know these very clear cut references. But uh, in Taz Bhai, uh, thank you so much for this. This is absolutely amazing. And I'm sure uh, the audience have been watching carefully uh, all this conversation tonight. So basically, the, the summary is that the Qadiani Jamaat, they believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was the last of the Zilli and Ummati 
and Guruji Nabi, basically. Okay, even though some Kadianis are not clear on this, but uh, what you quote in there is authoritative enough. Uh, but also, there is another quote I want to draw your attention to, and confusion in the Qadiani Jamaat may be coming from that very quote, where Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmood, uh, Muslim Mahmood, said that they can be other prophets after Mirza Ghulam al Qadiani. Anyone can be a prophet. Is that correct? Okay. Now, actually, uh, here's the thing. Let me, let, let me tell people something very interesting. As, as people know, that after Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and after the first Caliph Hakim Nuruddin, a dispute started in the Jamaat itself. And they split into two groups, Lahori and Qadiani group. Now I'm using the word Qadiani because this is how they distinguish themselves. Okay. Now the Lahori and the Qadiani group, they have disagreement on primarily on three things. One of those things is, was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad a prophet or not? Now after this, I'm going to say something very interesting. And I have, by the way, the whole article is with me. So I'm saying something with full you can say responsibility, okay? So, uh, Muhammad Ali Lahori, he presented his argument from the books of Mirza Sahib that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was not a prophet. He produced evidence from his book. In response to that, Qadiani Jamaat said to him, basically, I'm paraphrasing now, okay? The gist of the whole article. They said that the books of Mirza Sahib, they are full of contradictions. He was saying one thing at one point. He is giving you something and he's giving us something as well. So we cannot decide anything through his books. Look at this one. They are very proud of the 23 volume of Ruhani Khazain. Guess what? Those 23 volumes cannot even resolve one dispute. And that is, was he a prophet or not? Wallahi, I have the full article. Please, uh, Ahmad, you listening, Ahmad, okay? When you go on your channel, ask me to give you the article as well. So those 23 volume, they could not, that, then they said, let's agree on just on Tazkira. Basically, they removed all the 23 volume and they decided to make only Tazkira, which is only now one book, okay, to as a criterion. And guess what? Bring Tazkira to us as well. Even that cannot solve your problem. So uh, Adnan, by the, the answer to your question is, how can we bring something, Jamaat itself, cannot decide, cannot resolve any issue, not any issue, one issue, which is most important, was he a prophet or not? And last point is this. Everybody listen very carefully. Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmood, the second caliph, Muslim Maud, okay, the most important person after Mirza Sahib. He, he admitted, he admitted that in 1901, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad changed his belief regarding prophethood. Uh, uh, are you listening? He said that my father, promised Messiah, he changed his belief about the prophethood in 1901. And then he said, all the references before 1901 are mansukh. Subhanallah. This is, this, is, this is the level of riddle. So he cancelled all the ilham, all the revelations, all the yes. inspiration before yes. 1901. This is unbelievable. So, basically, oh, yeah. basically, you know, Ashim basically he admitted, he admitted that up till 1901, Ghulam Ahmad did not know if he was a prophet. Just imagine, Allah is sending him revelation for how many years? For 21 years, from 1880 to 1901. Allah is sending him wahi for 21 years. And in this wahi of 21 years, he misunderstood that if he was a prophet or not. Okay, I need so to what? make a qu quick announcement. So, inshallah, Atnan Rashi's channel is now 99.9 thousand. We need maybe 50 more users to subscribe to his channel to make it 100,000 today, inshallah. So, inshallah. please go and subscribe to Adnan Rashi's channel right now, those who have not. And let's celebrate with Adnan Saab in Medina Al Munawwara. <laughs> inshallah, may Allah give barakah to Adnan Rashi's channel, to the wonderful work that is doing in terms of both Islamic history and, you know, these topics which uh, very few people know, like uh, Imtiaz Bhai, mashallah. And yes, please do subscribe to Brother Imtiaz's channel as well, which is called Dialogue with Imtiaz. Uh, yes. It's on the screen here. 
So yeah, inshallah, I'm going to refresh my sc screen. Until then, you guys will be here. <laughs> Carry on, Advan Saf. Yes, absolutely. Jazakallah khairan. I happen to be in Medina, alhamdulillah, al Medina, al Munawwara. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's an honor to be right next to the resting place of the Messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa and to be able to serve in little, imperfect, uh, fragile capacity the very important cause of Qatam al Nubuwa, which is an essential part of Islam. And, uh, you know, one of the, the great scholars of the past, uh, Allama Ihsan Ilai Zahir, he wrote his book Al Qadiyaniya, uh, uh, a very powerful refutation of the Ahmadi religion, sitting right next to the Rada of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, he would sit as a student in the 1960s next to the Rada of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and he had the he had dreams of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam multiple times, you know, congratulating him on the, on the work. And he wrote this book, al Qadiyaniya, a refutation of Qadiyani religion. Uh, and that was one of the books that I read very, very early in my uh, student years. And it inspired me daily. May Allah reward him. And he is uh, he's buried in Jannat al-Baqi as well. Allah gave him a very special place to be buried. Rahmatullahi alayhi. So, uh, it's an honor, and I, I really congratulate everyone on this stream, Brother Brother Hashim, Brother Jazz. Jazakumullah khair, and thank you so much for uh, being so helpful. And we'll continue in this spirit. As I said earlier, that we are with, with Brother Jazz, we're behind him, we support his work, and we want everyone watching to subscribe to his channel. There's a lot more content coming on his channel, specifically on the Ahmadi religion so that we can continue to have this dialogue. We have no hatred for the Ahmadis. We have nothing but compassion and love for our lost brothers and sisters. Wallahi, we consider you as lost brothers and sisters. Okay, we want to guide you. We want to reach out to you. Our purpose is not to spread hate or any uh, ill feeling towards you. So I just wanted to congratulate everyone being part of the stream. We had a lot more points and I, I, I don't want my channel to be advertised, please. So We, we want you to reach 100,000 today, inshallah. Come on, guys, inshallah. you can do it. Inshallah. inshallah. And you know, you know, brothers, inshallah, whilst brother Adnan uh, is, was mentioning uh, about, you know, the, the importance of this cause, my brother, here is, you know, how I uh, think and how I feel about this subject. There's no doubt about that. There are many different angles of Da'watul Islam or defending Islam, but my firm belief is that this one particular branch of defending Islam, that is defending the finality of Nabi Muhammad this is a very special branch of defending the deen of Al-Islam and Alhamdulillah, we are, we, we are nothing, it is Allah's favor it is Allah's favor that Allah has, alhamdulillah, given this banner, this alam of defending in this time to Dawa Wise panel, Adnan Bai, and we are just the soldiers. Alhamdulillah, Adnan Bai is leading from the front. We are all just, inshallah, small soldiers in this battle of arguments and this intellectual battle. Because I literally, uh, I'm saying this in the literal sense of the word that Ahmadiyya community, especially those living in the Western countries, they have no knowledge of what Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was writing, what he was preaching. They have been given a very uh, oversimplified version that he was the Mahdi. Rest of the Ummah is waiting for the Mahdi and he was the Mahdi and because Mahdi and Messiah are the same. So this, you know, very sugar-coated version. They don't know. I give you one example. Dear brothers and sisters, please listen this very carefully. Inshallah, I have the reference as well. You know, we have the ayah in the Quran, Muhammadur Rasulullahi wallazina mahu ashuddahi alal kufar waru hamau bainahum. Okay? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said that in this revelation, the world Muhammad is referring to me. Can you believe this? Inna a'atayna kal kawsar. 
every child in Muslim family knows that this is the ayah about who? About Nabi Muhammad. Okay, when his son passed away, Allah gave him the gift of this surah. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said, This ayah is about me. Inna aatayna kal kawsar. Not only this one, every Muslim knows there is one station, it's called Maqam Mahmud. Maqam Mahmud is the highest station which will be given to from the entire human race. There is one person, Sayyid Waladi Adam, our Nabi Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the master of all human race, the leader of human race. He is the only human being who will be given the status of Maqam Mahmud. Guess what? Mirza Sahib said that Maqam Mahmud is for me. Okay. Allah says in the Quran, Wama yantriku anil hawa in huwa illa wahyu yuha. That this Prophet does not speak of his own desire. He only speaks what we revealed. Mirza said, This ayah is about me. Can you can believe you, this? Can and you I, give, give references in the Azbai. Give references. Okay, inshallah. I, I, I bring now. I, Hashim Bai, inshallah, I, I send you now. Please, inshallah, put so people can see we are not just making it up, inshallah. Inshallah. Those who haven't subscribed to Adnan Rashid's channel, please do so now so we can reach 100,000 tonight, inshallah. Right, did you send it to my WhatsApp? Did you? Yeah, I'm going to send now, inshallah, brother. I'm just send now, inshallah. Just tell me which one from the ones you sent. Inshallah, I send now. Enough, inshallah. Oh, it's coming, inshallah, in two minutes. Okay. Maybe in one minute, inshallah. Yeah, the right. reference is in terms of I just said because we want the Ahmadi community to know that. Exactly. We're just not making this up. These references are there. When Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani claimed, uh, uh, you know, equality or even the status of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu for himself. You know, when we read the dua after Adhan, that, oh Allah, grant us the uh, shifa, the intercession of Rasulullah on the Day of Judgment and give him the highest muqam, muqam al mahmuda okay? This muqam, the highest status, which is uh, purely for the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Mirza claimed it for himself. So, you know, in this stream, in the beginning, when we said that Mirza was trying to put himself on par with Muhammad Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, we're not just making this up. He was claiming the honor and the privileges of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam for himself. This was not an ordinary attempt on Islam or the integrity of the Prophet. This was a very bold, uh, disbelieving move on the part of Mirza to claim all these things for himself that were specific with the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So maybe you can put up the quotes and let people yes. see them. Which, which, page, which page do you want? It, it, the whole thing is about this, brother. The whole thing go is ahead. about this. Okay, go ahead then. Go on the next page, please, brother. Next page. Okay. Yes. So this is the first reference, Ruhani Khazain, volume 18, page 207. This is exactly the same book, by the way, Ahmad was saying that, read this book, read, this. Wallah, he said, read this book. This is the book, he said. Okay, Ghalti ka azala, the correction of a mistake. Look at this one. Phir isi kitab mein, is mukalma ke kareeb, ye wahi Allah hai. Muhammadur Rasulullahi wal lazina ma'u ashuddaa'u ala al-ashiddaa'u ala al-kuffari. Ruhamau bainahum. Is wahi ilahi me, mira na Muhammad rakhagay or Rasul bi. Then in English he says, Then in this same book, Murahine Ahmadiyya, close to this dialogue, there is a revelation that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those with him are tough upon the disbelievers and merciful to each other. Then he says, In this revelation, I have been named as Muhammad and messenger. And this is Ruhani Khazain. Volume 18, page 207. Hashim, by next one. So he's claiming to be Muhammad Rasulullah. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. But then, then there is a problem. Very quickly, before we move on to the next floor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. He's claiming for himself, Ashidda al Kufari. Okay. Uh, tough upon the disbelievers. The British Empire were the worst of disbelievers who ruled anywhere in the world. Okay. And he was so soft. So loving, so compassionate towards them. I've been sharing tweets upon tweets on my Twitter where I show how Mirza was basically uh, trying to win over uh, colonial favors. Okay, he even reminded the colonial officers that my father 
sent help to the colonial government during the war of independence of 1857 and he supported the colonial government with horses and men. So what kind of sternness is this? What kind of toughness is this? Okay, and he's claiming in this verse to be Muhammad and Rasul. Okay, we can move on very quickly, inshallah. Adnan bhai, Adnan bhai, Adnan bhai, can I ask the Ahmadiyya community that when they read this verse, verse in the Quran, from this verse, when they go to word Muhammad, if they say that they believe that this Muhammad is referring to Muhammad ibn Abdullah, then they are already saying Mirza was a liar. And if they say that they I believe see. that Muhammad in this verse means Ghulam Ahmad, then they are changing the Quran. So they are no, there is no third option. If you accept what Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said in this, uh, in this revelation, it means that you have denied the Quran. And if you reject what he said here, it means that you have denied the Mirza Sahib. So please take your choice. Do you want to reject Ghulam Ahmad or do you want to reject the Quran? The choice is yours. Hashim, my next one. So this is, I said before, Ruha, uh, this one is Tazkira, old edition of his Ilahamat. It is 1965 edition, page number 345. This is revelation coming to Mirda Sai, by the way. Okay, Tazkira is a collection of his revelation. It says, it is expected that your Lord will raise you to a praised station. Another reference, Ruhani Khazain, volume number 22, page 105. He says, Arada Allahu an Allah has intended that he will raise you, O Mirza, Mirza, to praise station. My dear brothers and sisters, I already told you, and Hashim Bhai, uh, on, on the next page, we have the Hadith as well, by the on the next page. This is the Hadith, everybody can read, Bukhari, Hadith number 478 and 47, sorry, 4718 and 4719. It is categorically telling you that this praised worthy station is for Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. And look at the audacity of Mirza Sahib. Look at what he is doing in there. He is claiming that one station which was exclusive for Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Now again, again, dear Ahmadiyya, you have two choices. If you believe that Mirza's revelation was true, then you have to admit that this station is going to be given to Ghulam Ahmad and not to Nabi Muhammad sallallahu And if you say he was lying, Alhamdulillah, that's what you should be saying anyways. Okay, the, the, you can, you can, you have, you have no third option. Okay, you have only two options. Either stand with Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam or stand with Mirza Sahib. And guess what? On Yomul Qiyama, do you want to be under the banner of Ghulam Ahmad? or under the banner of Muhammad ibn Abdullah al-Hashimi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The choice is yours. Next one. Inna a'atayna kal kawthar. Again, Ruhani Khazain, volume 22, page 105. Mirza is claiming, and you can go and read, that this revelation, this ilham came upon him. Indeed, we have granted you al kawthar even, even a child knows, a little child knows, that this revelation, this special title of Haud al Kausar, again, please understand the point. He is claiming all of those things which are exclusively for Prophet Muhammad. Is there not a single Ahmadi whose heart is still alive and he can say that, guess what? I deny Mirza Ghulam Ahmad and I believe that this title belong to only one human being in the entire day. that was Nabi this Muhammad. Is, this, is, this is very, very serious talk. Let me explain very quickly. When Mirza is claiming for his himself here, Inna Ahbaina Kal Kawthar. You know the Mufassirin of the Quran, what they explain here? Al Kawthar is a pond uh, on the day of judgment where the Prophet will do Shafa. He will do intercession for his people, for his ummah. So Mirza is now taking that honor away from the Prophet He's claiming al kawthar for himself. Okay. So uh, here he's clearly claiming 
all the honors and dignities put upon the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He claims Muqamah uh, Mahbuda. He claims al Qawtar for himself. He claims uh, Muhammad uh, Rasulullah. Muhammad Rasulullah for himself. So clearly this man was, was going. And, and the Ahmadi Jamaat, you have seen tonight the missionaries. Okay, may Allah guide them. They came and they had a problem with this. They did not accept this. One of them said that Mirza is not even a drop in an ocean in comparison to, to the Prophet ﷺ. And if that's the case, if you're really sincere, then you have to question your faith. You have to question your religion. When Mirza is claiming almost all special uh, honors bestowed upon the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad ﷺ, for himself. This is not a joke. This is a very serious matter, guys. Brothers and sisters, take heed. Take heed and change change and don't care about any social pressure pay pressure family pressure uncle pressure auntie pressure dad pressure mom pressure there is nothing more important than the truth the haq if the haq is with us mainstream islam then this is the truth okay i am you know wallahi i am i am very very sincere in saying this you know i was doing umrah and this is not I'm not saying this publicly so that, you know, I don't care about what people think, okay? But when I saw the crowds of Muslims, wallahi, one thought came to me, to my mind, that, you know, the Ahmadi community has separated itself from all of this, from this crowd, from this Ummah, from this beloved Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, wallahi, we would love to have you back. We would embrace you. We would accept you. We would hug you with open arms and open hearts. Please come back. Please come back. It, nothing would please us more than the Ahmadi community coming back home, coming back to Allah and His Messenger, the final Prophet of Allah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Anyone else who claimed to be a Prophet after him in any capacity is a liar, is a liar, is not truthful. Okay, there is no Prophet coming after him. Prophets came before him, they did the jobs and they are gone. Okay, and there is no new prophet coming after him from anywhere in the world. Okay, so when we see crowds in Mecca and Medina and we don't see Ahmadi community there, or maybe you are there and you're hidden, okay, we want you to openly enjoy these blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not separate yourself from the blessings of Allah and this Ummah. Please come back home. This is our heartfelt you know, sincere request from all of you. This is why we're doing the work we're doing. We have no other purpose in this. We have. We don't want to mock you. We don't want to hurt your feelings. We don't want to degrade you or belittle you. Wallahi, that's not the intention. Why Allah, nothing pleases me, Brother Indiaz, Brother Mansoor, Hashim, and other Muslims out there more than people coming back to mainstream Islam, Islam itself, okay, leaving Kufr behind, whether you inherited it from your parents, from your village, from your city, from your town, or whatever may be the reason for you to inherit it, come back. Barakallah Peek, Brother Adnan, may Allah give them hidayah, may Allah unite the hearts. I think there is one more thing on this one, if you can show the initial as well, because he had four things, so inshallah we can show, yeah. So this is the Mawayanti Guanil Hava in Huwa Illa Rahyu Yuha. And you can see Ruhani Khazain, uh, volume 17, page uh, 426. He has claimed this title for himself. This is the exclusive title for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we are, by the way, by the way, let me make a disclaimer. Brothers and sisters, I cannot think of a single title. A single title which is exclusive to Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Mirza has not claimed that. I only showed you four. There are about dozens of them already with me. And you will be you will be shocked that what this man was doing. And now I'm going to show you something very, very interesting now. Listen to this point very, very carefully. All of these, what I'm showing you right now. These are after Mirza Ghulam Ahmad started you know, to be, uh, you know, he's the Messiah, the second coming, the prophet, this and that. When he started his career, his alleged career, how humble he used to be, 
Hashim Bhai, I send you something just now. Please bring on the screen so people can see the contrast. The, 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 the contrast that how he appeared and now when, what he became eventually. And you will be shocked that how cunning this man was. Subhanallah. He used to say this and then he started to claim all of that. And while Hashem is being the reference, I listen to this point, brother, very, very carefully. Look at this one. They say that he was the servant. He was Fanafir Rasul. What kind of servant he was? He was snatching everything from the master. My brother, sisters, think about this. What kind of servant are supposed to be obedient to the master? And he is snatching. He is snatching the honor and the title of his master. Was he a traitor? Or was he a servant? Please, you, you, you have your own mind. Use your mind. Yes, this is this is what the Sataman Nabuwa movement is about. You know, this whole uh, exercise we are doing. We don't know about other people, what they're doing around the world, but we are talking about our streams and our uh, efforts uh, with regards to this particular movement. I'm talking about our team, okay? This is all this Sataman Nabuwa, uh, you know, endeavor is about that Mirza is trying to steal the glory of Muhammad Rasulullah himself. And we're trying to save the Prophet Sallallahu glory. Not that we are worthy, not that we are deserving, but we are doing our best in the capacity to keep the glory, the honor, the Izza of Rasulullah intact. Here we have someone who's trying to steal from the Prophet. He's trying to claim. Imagine if Rasulullah started to claim the titles of Ibrahim, Musa, Isa, alayhim as salam for himself. Imagine if he started to claim their glory. Rather, he gave them the glory they deserved. He, he preached about them. He taught about them. He told us how great those prophets were. Okay. Imagine if he was trying to steal their glory. Adnan bhai, Adnan bhai, yeah. Adnan, look at this one. Afzalul Bashar, Ba'd al Anbiya. Abu yes. Bakr al-Siddiq, Raziyallahu ta'ala anhu. Listen this point, brothers. If you have heart, if you have mind, please give us your heart and mind. Listen this point. The best human being after the prophets. This is our belief. This is our beloved Sayyiduna Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, Raziyallahu ta'ala anhu. Did he ever claim these things about himself? This is called the servant. He was the truth. If, if you want to call it anyway, Fanafir Rasul, he was Fanafir Rasul. He was a Sahibul Ghar. Subhanallah, Sahibul Ghar. He was the Sahabi about whom it was said that if anybody has done any favor to me, I have paid it back. But the favors of Abu Bakr, I cannot pay back. Allah will pay him back. Subhanallah. This is called our beloved Abu Bakr Siddiq. And he did he ever claim, I am this, I am this. This is called servant. This Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, Wallahi. He was the worst human being ever came in the history who claimed to be servant and then he attacked the master on the owner of the master. Is he a servant? Now it's look at like this one. Backstabbing, yeah. Yeah, not this one, brother. Uh, not this one. The one I just sent you now. Let me check. Yeah, this yeah, the, yeah, this one, this one. Now, basically, I read from my side that the, the, the reference. It is Al-Hakam. Al-Hakam, 17th of August. 1888, the early days of his career, the early because he made his first claim, proper claim from 1891 about the messiahship. Now it is 1888. Look what he said. He says, he says in this one, Mere liye ye kafi fakhar hai ke main in logon, yani sahaba ka maza aur khake paak hoon aur jo juzi fazilat khuda taala ne inne bakshi hai. Kine bakshi hai sahaba ko? Inne bakshi hai, qiyamat tak koi shaks nahi pa sakta. My brothers and sisters in humanity, Ahmadiyya, are you listening what Mirza is saying? Listen again. He is saying that the honor, the dignity, and the virtue, what Allah gave to the companion, nobody can ever get those virtues. And he said that for me, for Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, it is sufficient for me that I am the one who prays the companion and I am the dust of their feet. I am the pahu. I am the dust of the feet. And then he said, Kab dubara. Listen, I'm going to give you undercutting defeat. 
کب دوبارہ محمد دنیا میں پیدا ہوں اور پھر کسی کو ایسی خدمت کا موقع ملے جو جناب شیخین کو ملا ہی سینگ دیٹ دا آنر وچ ابو بکر صدیق اینڈ عمر الفاروق دا آنر دے ہیو نو بڈی کین ہیو دیٹ آنر ناؤ وائی بیکاز نبی محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کین ناٹ کم ان دس دنیا اگین اینڈ گیس وٹ دا ہول ٹاپک واز مرزا واز کلیونگ دیٹ ہی ہیز کم ان دس دنیا اگین how to deal with this deceptive person i let you decide adnan bhai please comment on this one yes here is something very very interesting uh, he has said that he is the khake pa khake pa in persian it actually means the dust on the feet of the sahaba khake pa sahaba okay so he is basically in humility he is saying that he is the dust on of the sahaba if and he did claim to be a prophet later on how can a prophet be the dust on the feet of the companions of another prophet this is beyond me this is beyond me okay so clearly he uh, yeah ahmadis can come back and say that oh he was not a prophet until this time so he's expressing his humility but still okay This is not the humility we find with him later on, as what Imtiaz highlighted earlier. The later on, we started to see claims of being Muhammad Rasulullah, claims of being the person who possessed Al-Qawtar, claims of being on Muqam al-Mahkuda, the highest status possible, which was given to Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu So from being Khaqibai, or the dust of the feet of the Sahaba, he started to claim later on all these huge, massive, the, the biggest status ever given to any human being in human history by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to our knowledge. Okay, so this is very, very concerning and very, very serious. This is not a joke. This is not a joke. That's why we're trying to bring these to the attention of the Ahmadi community. Most of the Ahmadis, unfortunately, do not read Urdu. They don't read Urdu, they don't know Urdu, and if they do, they don't read his books. If they read his books, they would realize that his books are absolutely riddled with absurdities and confusions and contradictions. Okay. Just, and to, Allah, Allah, just to share Allah, with you, Adnan Bhai, um, as, you, as you mentioned, yes. continue on this theme. This is from the Tazkirat. Yes. Lama khalaqtu aflak. So he is now making Mirza. That if it wasn't for him, he would not have created creation, created the sky, the heavens, whatever that aflak is implying here. So that is this maqam, his position, you know, he is yeah. putting this as a revelation. But as you mentioned, confusion and contradiction, just follow the arrow here. This is what his revelation says. Ya Nabi Allah, kuntu la a'rifuka. The arrow, I O oh, Prophet of God, I do not used to know you. Kuntu la arifuka. I do not recognize you. God is saying, Mirza's God is saying that he did not know him as a prophet. La arifuka. Can you imagine God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not knowing this? I mean, you think this is just an odd statement? Just, just go to the next page and follow the arrow again. Inni ma'ar rasuli ujib. I'm with the Prophet. I reply, I respond, I refute. I make mistakes. I err and I also am right. Who is saying this? The God of Mirza. The revelation sent by Mirza's God is saying, I'm with the Prophet answering, I make mistakes and I get it right. وَأُصِيب is a phrase that human beings used. Like, I'm a human being. I err. I'm right. I make mistake. You know, when people make ishtihad. Now, here, you have the God of Mirza telling us that he himself make mistakes. He himself gets something right. And this is the confusion, brother Adnan, you, you're talking about. Mirza, in the same breath, he's now not only confused about himself, He's in fact confused about God. God is saying he makes mistakes. God is saying he didn't even know, he didn't recognize about Mirza and so on. Subhanallah, Amma Yasifun. This is what they you know, describe and ascribe to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Absolutely. Un un unbelievable, unbelievable.
Uh, look, scholars have written books on Mirza's, uh, you know, absurdities when it comes to Allah alone. About Allah alone, the language of Mirza and his ideas were so disturbing that scholars had to compile like long articles and lists of absurdities of his statements. This is unbelievable. So I am very, very, you know, I find it absolutely phenomenal to see that how people still believe in him. This is because of ignorance or family pressure or peer pressure, social pressure. I don't see any other reason for it. If people were to realize what these books or his books contain, and they were to realize full extent, the, the full extent of his, uh, uh, you know, absurdities, like Izhar by Dr. Izhar, uh, you know, he read extensively. He did research. He was serious. He was sincere about finding the truth and having studied, having researched the books of Mirza, he realized that this stuff is just, this, this, this is a joke. This cannot be from a prophet of Allah. Okay, and he left Ahmadiyya and he is now, alhamdulillah, mainstream Muslim. So what can we say? On that note, I think we should... Uh, Adnan Bhai, uh, inshallah, uh, if I can just display one thing, because this is very important, inshallah, and it will give the Ahmadiyya some, you know, food for thought. So, Ashim Bhai, can you please display the last thing? Now the other one, the, the, the last one I sent, after this one. The same same one, but the last page of this, isn't it? Or... Yeah. No, no, no. no. I, I just sent the last, uh, uh, let, me, let me send it again, inshallah. I, I send it again. So, there should be no confusion. Hashim Bhai, I just send you now again. Okay. Because this one is going to, I would say that his claim of messiahship is going to finish now. It was already finished. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if, if, even if there was any doubt in somebody's mind, okay, let's nail the last, you know, in, in, in the coffin. <laughs> last nail, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for the Ahmadi community, we were doing this for them. Okay, we do not preach to the converted, okay, uh, we we're preaching, we're reaching out to the Ahmadi community, our lost brothers and sisters in humanity, may Allah guide them, that's why we're doing this. And there's why, is it this, this one here? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Anta minni bi manzilati awladi, anta minni wa ana mink. You are to me in your status, in your position, like my children. You are from me, and I am from you. God is saying, you are from me, but that's not the point. I am from you. Look at how Mirza is making his God even I lesser see. in a status than him. Yes. In a way, or they are mutually, they are mutually, in, the, in fact, this is where they both are equal in the sense, isn't it? God Mansoor is from Mirza, Mirza yes. is from Mansoor. God. Yeah. No, look, at something, by look at something very interesting. The whole purpose of Isa ibn Maryam to come back was because people started to make him the son of God, right? And he is coming back to clarify the misconception of the people that he is not son of God. And guess what? This Messiah is affirming the misconception. Anta minni man dilata awladi. Allah is saying to Mirza that you oh. are like my children. Subhanallah. Oh. Allah says in the Quran that when somebody says that Rahman has awlad, the walad, it is as though as the heavens are about to rip open and you know the earth is about to shuck open. The point is this, brother and sister, what was the purpose of Messiah? One of the primary purpose was to clarify to the Christians, especially the Christians, that Allah has no son. And this Messiah is saying, no, 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 I am the son of Allah. I am his children. Is he clarifying or, or, or is he confusing them? And, and, and amazingly, one of the kufr statements of Christians, the Quran categorically denies and refuses. What? Exactly the same word Mirza uses here. That you are like to me, like my children, O oh, Ladi. The Quran came to dismantle this concept of O oh, Lad of Allah, O oh, Walad of Allah, 
the Mirza of Qadian, he wants to bring it back to humanity to claim that he is like the children of Allah. This statement itself is Kufar Akbar. It takes you directly out of Islam. Exactly. And this statement. And no matter, oh. no matter, no matter what meaning, no matter what cunning Ahmadiyya cleric, no matter what meaning they want to do, it is clear Kufar. You cannot give it any meanings whatsoever. Absolutely. It is a clear Kufar in every words. Absolutely. If they ask by even the Christians don't claim that Isa is a physical son of Allah. Christians don't claim that. Christians don't claim that. They give different meanings to the term. They give different metaphorical, spiritual meanings to the term. And Allah says, Allah doesn't care about the meaning and the interpretations and the explanations. Allah simply hates the fact that they attribute a son to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in any form or shape. And Mirza, for whatever reason, calls himself like the children of Allah. He is to Allah like Allah has children. This is what he said. This alone should rock your you know, belief in Mirza if you still believe in it. Seriously, you know, we're not just sitting here uh, because, you know, uh, we, we we have something against Mirza and you guys. No, it's not. It's not. It's just, to, just to put a yeah. point in there, because they might often say, you know what, the word is not saying you are to me like, you are to me as my children. They will often come and say, oh, this is bimanzilati. It's like in a position of. But what they don't realize in, in the Tazkirat itself, Mirza is quoting his revelation, Anta minni bimanzilati buruzi, bimanzilati tawhidi wa tafridi. Bimanzilati ruhi, bimanzilati arshi, bimanzilati sami, bimanzilati no, awla. Let, so, let me let, let me give you classic. He said hmm. that Allah says to Mirza Sahib, You are from my water. Stop for Allah. Yeah. I am yeah. saying, I'm not saying in my bedroom, I am sitting live right now. He said, Mirza, Mirza has one revelation in which Allah allegedly said to Mirza, You are from my water. Okay. He no, created no, from no. the Ma'un Qadim, the, the you know ancient water. So coming back to this this awladi, you know, people might you know think like, oh, we're misquoting. No, if you think about it, he talks about that Mirza is like in a position, in a status of his Tawhidi, his Tafridi, his uniqueness, his oneness. Now, is this uniqueness and oneness something you know majazi or is it hakiki? It's real. Is his Buruzi, I don't know what his, they want to mean by Buruzi. His ruh, is his ruh majazi or haqiqi? Is his arsh majazi and haqiqi? What about his hearing? Majazi or haqiqi? All of this, like, what about Harun and Musa? Because he says, okay, you are anta minni bimanzalati, um, like Harun, bimanzalati Musa, bimanzalati al-mahbubin, bimanzalati la ya'almuha al-khalq. All of them have a status in haqiqi meaning. It's not some, just imaginary. Some, Brother Mansur, some statements made in majaz are also kufr. Even if you meant majaz, not haqiqa, by these statements, okay, they are kufr. Can we say majazi in majazi terms that Allah is an idol? Can we say that? No, you can't. In, you can't. So, so coming back to this, just. To, to, to really put, put um, a, a nail on the coffin on this argument. So when says God says, you are to me be minzalati, say for example, sami'i. Now, they would say actually God doesn't have children. So all this concept, this phrase, it means, oh, you are to me in the position of my hearing that doesn't exist. You are to me in the position of my arsh that doesn't exist. You are to me in the position of my spirit that doesn't exist. You are to me in the position of my uniqueness and my uh, uh, oneness that doesn't exist. You would say it doesn't make sense. All of and these you know, exist. Yeah, so you that know, means you know. the phrase awladi is also a real term. That it, it you have to contextually understand the the awlad or the son or you know walad must be true because when God says all of these things, you are like that. That means <clears> he has also haqiqi children. It's not metaphorical anymore. When, when he, 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 okay, we got uh, nice. We, 
Do we have some more Ahmed is waiting in the back chat. Do you want to bring them in? If they uh, are possible, you want, need do you, to, want to you know, ask them that obviously we thought maybe we are done with them. So we need to first, you know, decide that are we going to discuss with them these references, for example, uh, that you are like to me as, you know, my children, etc. Or are we going to discuss the topic? So this is the main question because they will try to go everywhere. So maybe we need to decide that what exactly we want to discuss with them. We are discussing the topic. I mean, this is just to 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 really give you a broader understanding of Mirza's. So maybe you can ask them the same two questions that you asked. Yeah, yeah. You know these That's two. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Stick to that, and inshallah, they'll be on topic. Inshallah. So let me let me bring in uh, Osama. Are you there, Osama? You need to unmute yourself. Assalamu alaikum. Can you hear me? Yeah. Wa alaikum. Just to confirm, you you are Ahmadi, right? Yes, I am Ahmadi. Yes, okay, yeah. go ahead. Yeah. Jazakallah for taking me. I was waiting for quite some time. Ask your mic, timer. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, so, have you been uh, you've been waiting? So I'm assuming you. No, you, not you, hearing the all of the thing on and off. I heard. Okay, so uh, brother Imtiaz has got uh, two key questions. Uh, yeah, I would... Well, I've seen the topic. The topic is regarding Zill and Bruce. No, and, the uh, topic is on the screen. It's it's scrolling. Yeah, that's what we understand. Right. The second coming, the Zill of Holy Prophet so Before before we go forward, uh, I would like to know how do you interpret the term Zill and Bruce? This this has been answered by all of the people. Well, we want your answer. It's the same thing, Shadow. Zill and, and Bruce. He was so the Zil is, Zil is shadow. He, what is Guru's? He was a Tabi of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Everything he has attained, he has attained through Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. How do you interpret the term Guru's? The Guru's is shadow, as I said. What Reflection. is Zil even? Reflection. As I said, they, the idea is the same. Okay. Is it, is it my, let me let me make it let me make it maybe simple for uh, all of us to understand. Okay, brother uh, Usman, sorry Usama, sorry Usama, brother Usama. Let me rephrase the question to make it clear for all of us. Do you believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmed had all the qualities of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam without exception? He, he, whoever he's attained, he attained through Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That is, that is my point. That is our view. That's okay. That's okay. But the question is, Usama, and please. the other the, thing, Usama, the question is this, the question is this. Do you believe that as you said that he attained as a result of obedience? That's fine. But my question is this, as a result of his obedience, did he achieve all the qualities of Nabi Muhammad? Sallallahu Sallam, and he became at par, at par with Nabi Muhammad Sallam. Do you believe this? No, the rank of Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is above all of all, all of all of the human beings. He's the best one to live ever. Okay, so when as we we already gave the brother reference, inshallah, if you love, we can give you again, no problem. Basically, and the other thing, the one sec, the other thing that you mentioned on the bruise thing, and you said if anyone claims. This aqidah of Buruz, the Holy Prophet can be a Buruz. He has committed blasphemy. So I will give you one reference of Ghulam Farid of Chachala Sharif. He he says in his in his isharat e Faridi, he has said, I will quote him. He said, Hadrat Hazur Hadrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hain. Pehli baar aap Mahdi tak Adam Alaihi Wasallam me Buruz kiya. The first time we have done Buruz in Mahdi. Or pehle kutub Hadrat Adam Alaihi Wasallam hue hain. The first kutub Hadrat Adam. Dusre Hadrat Shays. So the Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has done Buruz according to one of the Sufis, his name as I, as I mentioned, he has done Buruz. He even, he even says, Yaha taki a hadrat sallallahu alayhi apne jans jasade untri se taluk pada karke jalwa garhue or daira nabuwa to khatam kiya iske baad hadrat au bakare Buruz for Maya, iske baad hadrat umare Buruz for Maya. फिर हजरत उस्मान ने बुरूस फरमाया इसके बाद हजरत अली में बुरूस फरमाया इसके बाद दूसरे मशाइख इजाम में नौबत बनौबत बुरूस किया और करते रहेंगे 
اوکے have a habit of picking and choosing from statements around the world from different times and places okay because you see your tatty prophethood of mirza you have to support it somehow you have to bring stuff from somewhere you, if, and if you don't have it you have to make up concepts but let me clarify so that we don't waste much time on this yeah if let's say a sufi claims to be rasulullah let's say we have statements uh, in the books of some sufia for example for example statements like chishti rasulullah the statements are there chishti rasulullah okay and there are other statements uh, of similar nature this statement we don't want to know what they meant by it the statement is in itself is kufr okay whoever said it we don't care whether it's my dad my grandfather or my uncle my chacha my mama my puppy my tai tai whoever it is okay sorry guys using for these pakistani punjabi terms because we're dealing with pakistanis here mostly the ahmadis the qadianis are pakistani and punjabis okay whoever says anything like that is outside of the fold of islam the zahir of the statement is kufr we don't care about the majaz and the actual hidden meaning of it if someone says allah is an idol kufr akbar if someone says uh, adnan rasulullah for example a'udhu billah thumma a'udhu billah or imtiaz rasulullah is kufr akbar it takes you out of islam we don't care what you mean by it we don't care what what your intentions are okay if something is kufr akbar by its own uh, admission or the term itself or the statement itself uh, gives an apparent meaning of kufr then it is kufr okay so we go for the zahir in sharia we are told to judge by the zahir not the batin but in only allah knows what's inside is only known to allah human beings cannot know we have laws to follow i hope that clarifies so any sufi don't bring any sufis or any any shias or anything like that for for us to follow okay if you if you have nothing from the quran the, the fact that you have to bring statements like this from people like this okay or you have to bring fabricated hadith from uh, attributed to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam shows us that you have nothing from the quran and the sunnah Sh- show me bruzi prophethood in the quran and the sunnah show me bruzi bruzi prophethood from the quran or the statements of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you won't you have nothing that's why you have to go to chachar sharif and Ka- gama sharif and majar sharif the same all. thing show me the word of tawhid and the word of aqidah from the quran allahu akbar <laughs> allahu akbar tawheed. seriously osama come on if you, yeah, yeah, if you yeah, yeah. Allah go Allah that way. i will show you i will show you I will show you, you say the way the uh, word is Tawheed is mentioned. I will like show you, brother. Your scholar said right now, one of the Yasir Qadhi said, even this Aqidah which Salafis have bro, brought, brother, if brother, Umar ibn al-Khattab brother, has to give that test, he will pay that test. Don't go, Osama, don't go on a horse. Osama, don't go on a horse. Wait, you ask me a question. Tawheed, yes. you ask me for, this is how jahil you are. Sorry, to, I don't mean to insult you, but I'm st- making a statement of fact. Where does the word Tawheed comes from? Where does it come from? No, it no, no. It comes from no. No, okay. no, I'm not going that route. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm, I'm going to take you on the route and see if the route is correct. No, wow. you said the word bruise okay. is not wait, mentioned the, the word, like that. Wait, I'm wait, saying the wait, word tohi. Like there are many, wait, many wait. ideas that you take from Sharia. Osama, and Osama, 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 they are not Osama, Osama, Osama listen, Osama. listen to what Adnan is saying and then Osama, you can respond. I am, no need to talk over each other. Osama, Osama, you are so long, so let me Osama, speak as well. Me he was speaking for so long. Just listen to his question and then you can respond. Okay, I'll mute myself. Yeah, please mute yourself. So I'm clarifying. Ashim, it's good to go time by time, I believe. 
Yeah, I think this is. Let's just take one question. If they don't answer, we'll take the next person because I think we are. I think I, I think Adnan, why Adnan, why first of all, uh, mm. people have already seen that what you're trying to you know make him understand, but maybe yeah. he's give, going on a very strange route that shows Tohid, etc. No, no, I think this Adnan, is important. No, no. He, he brought you're, in Tohid. Let Adnan respond to it. The, yeah, these guys, you know, these uh, a lot of the the Qadianis, I'm not saying all. Uh, I'm saying these who are trained to uh, manipulate things they will go around the world picking and choosing any 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 false any dodgy statement from anyone to prove mirza to be true okay they have answer nothing the to question. answer wait Please. answer the question is Allah says in the Let's quran pull, pull, pull. Allahu. are you listening Okay, I, I know the Allah surah. Says, that's the answer. Allah that's fine. Ahad. I don't need more explanation on okay. that. Okay, what you can, what you can Osama, you asked me. You asked me where is Tawheed in the Quran? Okay, I'm no, gonna I said where is the word Tawheed? Oh, I'm gonna give you the word. Okay. I'm gonna give you the word. The word okay. Tawheed. You know the Arabic language or basics of it. Every Arab Arabic word has a masdar, has a source. Okay, the source of the word is in the Quran. Okay, and we know exactly what it means. Okay, and no, we know how. The, I'm saying what the exact word let, let, let him finish. I think we Usama, just let, let him finish, the and then he can respond. We know exactly what Tawheed means because it's been described to us. We know what okay, it means. I got your point, Adnan Bay. Let's move yeah. on to the actual topic, which is of, of the stream. Let's go. Yeah. Okay. Have, now, you, can you, I can I speak now, Hashim Bay? Yeah. Go yes. on in. Okay. You, so, Badr Usama, uh, as you said, and I really appreciate what you said. That we should like stick on the topic so let's stick on the topic so brother my question to you is can a zilli buruzi ummati prophet come after mirza ghulam ahmed i'm done i've asked you have you have you the statement i've provided you do you consider that statement to be a kufriya according to you can you just answer the question? The, no, I, I'm asking you. I'm asking you, Mithya. No, Sama, you can't answer a question with a question. Just Sama, answer the question. question Otherwise, I'll bring somebody else in. You're going to waste time. Topic. This is not a topic as well. We have answered. It is a topic, of course. So, it's a topic. so, so, so many times, a prophet. Okay, he's wasting time. I'll bring in somebody else. Maybe he might be able yeah. to answer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Go ahead. So, okay. did you listen to the question that uh, Mtiaz by us, which uh, Osama yes. was unable to answer? You wanted to go on yes, to something yes. else. I, I just want to say two points, quick points before that. Brother yeah, Mtiaz, I was, I was, um, uh, I got all the references which you presented today. Yes. My apologies, brother, from the depth of my heart, but you have misquoted our references. Oh. Misquoted. Okay. Like okay. always, like we if always do. Time, I will explain to that. Okay. Secondly, secondly. Okay, secondly. no, no. Before you go on, before you go on, before you go on. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so tell us what exactly was the thing which I misquoted. I will, I will. But let me just make my my second point. Yeah. No, you know. Hold on, hold on. We are not going to do a misquote or quote. If you want to do do it on your stream or something. Right now, we have got a topic. We are dealing with that. So Imtiaz Bhai has got two questions for you. You will have to answer one them. Just one question. Okay, Hashim. one question. Answer it to the point or I'll have to remove you like Osama. Go ahead. Okay. So what's the question? Okay. Was Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli, Buruzi and Ummati Nabuwad? I.e. No more profit to come as Zilli Buruzi after Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Do you agree with the statement or you disagree with the statement? Okay. <clears throat> That's, I will answer your question. No problem. Yeah, I got the answer. Just one, because I said I'm going to make two, two points. Just quick point, brother. No, no, you're <clears throat> going to answer the question, yeah? Yes, please. Um, uh, yeah, brother, uh, brother, please, for the sake of brevity... We, so every time, every time I've given you guys answer, you go on your tangent. If you're Dr. not going to answer the question, okay. Dr. Sab, how about, for example, Dr. Sab, you waited for four way. hours. Just answer the question, man. Come on. Dr. Sab, maybe let's do it this way. We'll give you uh, two minutes <clears throat> to make your point, but let's first deal with the question. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Now, with regard to if anyone can come after Hazrat Mirza Sab or not, 
Um, no, 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 no. Yeah. This is not a question. But the question is very precise. Yeah. Is Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya last prophet for Zilli, Buruzi, and Umbati Nubuwat? That's the okay. specific term. I, I'm using every word carefully. Okay. Now, first of all, brother, when you say last prophet, you have to explain to us what do you mean by last prophet because your understanding is different than ours. Okay. Okay. So you can't ask me a question. Okay. And I can't answer you, brother. I give you the answer. I give you the answer. I give you the answer. So when I'm saying, when I'm saying Khatamul Ambiya, I'm using in the sense of last prophet. That's, that's, I need explanation, brother. When you say last, do you mean with regard to timing last? Like time, like will it be the last prophet? Will human being will see on the earth? What do you mean by last? You reminded me of Jordan Peterson's, you know, when he says that, what do you mean by faith? What do you mean by this? I have to, I, I brother. Okay. Look, okay. Let me, let me explain. Yeah, when, you, when, you don't, when you don't want to answer, what you do is you try to sound clever and you start, yeah. uh, you know, making Dr. these. Adhan, I, I give you. I'm just Adhan, asking by, what you mean by okay, Dr. Dr. I give you. I give last. you. Okay. I give yeah. you. So. First, first, I will make the statement, then I will explain every single term. So, I, my statement is, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli, Buruzi, and Ummati Nabuwat. This is my question. Do you agree or disagree? Now, what, what I mean by Khatamul Ambiya in this question? Last prophet of this category of Zilli, Buruzi. And what you mean by Zilli? I let you decide what is Zilli. What is Buruzi? I gave you the category. Okay. So okay. please, if you have anything else ambiguous, I can explain that as well. I will explain you in the in, according to writing of uh, Mirza Sahib. Mirza Sahib in A Galti Ka Zala, page 209, Rwani Jil uh, volume 18. He says, Agar Kui Shaks, Usi Khatman Nabiin me Asa Gumho. Basically saying, if someone becomes so, we, we would, he's used the term, then as if he, he, and he has, as, as a reflection, he has become like the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, then that person, to wo mohre todne ke, to wo bagayar mohre todne ke nabi ke laega, kyunke wo Muhammad hai, go zili tor par. Then explain it. He said that person will become Muhammad, but only as a zil. Then he said, pas babajud us shaks ke dawa e nabuwat ke, jis ka naam zili tor par Muhammad or Ahmad rakha gaya. Important point. Important point, brother. Write it down. फिर भी सैयद ना मोहम्मद खातब नबीयीन ही रहा। When we talk about Zil brother, when we talk about mirror, Zil mirror is not separate from original. They are one. We can't count this as a separate person. So your question is wrong. When we say Zil, Zil is not separate from separate from original. Mirror image is not separate from asal. So you forgot to translate the wrong. Now I'll let him speak first. So inshallah okay. you can take his time. No problem. So okay. Are you done, Dr. Sir? So yeah, yeah. He said. Okay, now let's. No, 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 no. Let's go point by point. Now let me respond. Not yet. It's not finished yet, brother. Ashim, my please time it. Yeah, he's got 20 seconds more. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that I've been timing. He asked me a question. I'm just answering. We are all timed. You know that. Oh, we, is that included in my two minutes? That That's what you're saying. Because I will be time as well, no problem. Points, brother. Just yeah? you got 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Just answer the question. 20 please. minutes. 20 seconds. Sorry, 20, 20 seconds. Yeah. Okay. okay. He said, <clears throat> Kyunke, he gave the reason. Ye Muhammad Sani, Usi Muhammad Sallam ke Tasvira Usi ka naam. I said, this Muhammad Sani the Zil. He is actually the reflection and picture of the same Prophet Muhammad Sallam. When is Zil? When is same person? You can't separate them. That's the whole concept. After Khatman Nabiyin, that's the concept which has changed. After Khatman Nabiyin, there cannot be any prophet other than reflection of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
Hazrat Isa alayhi salam cannot back, come back because he's an independent prophet. So going back to your question, no, okay. there is he your time is up. Lost because he's not separate. Okay, so no, 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 yeah. he needs to Ashi answer Ashi because that's the last point. Answer, please. Can you finish your answer at the point? Me. The last, said, yeah, the last point you I made. Said, I said the question is wrong. We cannot say he's a loss according to time because he's Zil. And Zil is not separate from original. Okay. okay. You finished now? Good. Go ahead. Adnan, but you wanted to say something quickly before it just answers? Okay. Go ahead, Imtiaz. Okay. Dr. Saib. Sorry, uh, guys. Yeah. So, sorry, Imtiaz. But continue, please. No, no worries. No worries. He said continue. Okay. So, uh, Dr. Saib, my question was that is Mirza Hulam Ahmad Khatamul Ambiya for the Zilli reflective? Reflective because, Dr. Saib, the point you made is you said that reflective profits can come. So, basically, you answered my question by saying this that Mirza Saib is not Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli and Buruzi Nabur. Did I understand you properly or I misunderstood you? You you misunderstood me because it because you guys, first of all, you guys have not even understood the concept of Ziliyad and Bruziyad given we by can your, go to own, concept, but your own, your own with... scholars, brother. Your own scholars. He's he's just asking you to clarify. That's not the, he's, Saab, he look, hasn't finished Dr. his time yet. Dr. Saab, let me let me look. look there, there are two possible scenarios. I, 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 I utter both of them. Okay. Scenario one. Mirza Sahib was Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli, Buruzi and Ummati Prophet. So no more Zilli reflective Prophet can come after him. That is called scenario one. Scenario two. No. Mirza was not Khatamul Ambiya for Zilli, Buruzi, Ummati Prophet. So many or whatever number of Zilli, Buruzi, Ummati, Prophet can still come after <clears throat> Mirza Saib. Which one you are agreeing? One Scenario one or scenario two? Okay. Now, brother, we as a Muslim, I will, I will give you my answer. I've given you the answer according to what a province of Islam has said. What is Ziliyat? What is the, you know, the whole concept? With regard to your question, Question, I'm saying your question is wrong. You cannot separate Zil from original. When you, if you can't separate Zil from original, then the question of loss doesn't arise. Your question is wrong. I know you're trying to be clear, uh, you know, very okay. clever, Wait. but Wait. one second, I haven't finished, brother. But if your question is wrong, it's against the concept of Ziliyad from your ulama. And I'm talking about not just not just one person, Ghulam Free Chachala. I'm talking about Ghulam Abdul Qadir Jilani. I'm talking about Peel Gorra Sharif. I'm talking about Shah Waliullah. I'm talking about Ilyas Qadri. I'm talking about Brailvi Mujaddad Ahmad Raza. Ahmad Raza Brailvi. All of them, they are with us, with this brother. You are minority. Uh, on no, what? But, but on what? what? Wait, wait, yeah, on yeah, yeah, yeah. Doctor Sai. Doctor Sai. They are. Oh, hold on. I am happy. I am happy. Adan bhai, you want to speak? Adan bhai? Yeah, Adan I bhai. want... He just... You know what the Qadiani missionaries do, yeah? They throw names, left, right and center, mix them up, make a khichdi, make a milkshake, and they say, this milkshake belongs to us. This milkshake, every ingredient, banana, strawberry, uh, all the beautiful spelling flowers and taste and honey belongs to us. Okay? He just mentioned names and he said all of them are with, with us. Every single one of them made takfir of you. They think you are kuffar. They are you are disbelievers. Every single one of them you mentioned, okay, including Golara Sharif, peer of Golara. He debated your Dajjal prophet. What the hell are you talking about? Have some shame before you come on the screen and lie like this. None of them is with you. None of them is with you. None of them. None of them would tolerate. I'm a very respectful person, brother. Please. Wait, wait, brother, brother, Doctor Saab, let me finish. None of would, none of them, each and every single one of them you mentioned, however extreme they may be in the Sufism and other things, right? None of them would tolerate a prophet after Muhammad Rasulullah. Okay, so don't say these things because you you look stupid saying these things. Okay, answer this question: 
is there another prophet zilli and buruzi after mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani <clears throat> because mirza himself used this terminology okay no one used this terminology before him in the entire history of islam like he did using his terms we are asking you a conceptual question a very simple question will there be another prophet of zilli and buruzi capacity <clears throat> after mirza simple question yes or no yep yeah, i will answer brother ram you misunderstood what i was saying i said these people are with us as far as zilliyat concept of zilliyat is con concerned you misunderstood me okay first thing just one second please, please. just one thing very we, we don't accept very, that we don't accept, accept we don't accept so, what you're saying dr saib dr saib from the names you quoted who agree with you tell me for example for example elias qadri sahib okay how many zilli prophets he believe brother we talking about zil hey okay. no no but zilli we would say zilli prophet i will give you i will i will give you no 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 sir no 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 you, you, no 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 sir you have put an allegation you, you have yes. put an allegation <clears throat> we may disagree with elias qadri sahib but we have to defend because he is not here right now you said the elias qadri sahib they agree with you my question to you is how many zilli prophets elias qadri sahib believe after nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam give us just two names i'm going to read his his uh, uh, you know the writing now you don't need to just give me the name you just give me the name that elias qadri sahib believe in no, the no, zilli no, no. prophet okay, listen 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 you guys have completely misunderstood what Dr. i was saying Saib, no 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 Dr. Said, we, we yes, no, no, yes, no, no. are not going forward no 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 we are not they going forward either they you must. apologize either you apologize that you are just take, calling the names and you have no substance or on public platform it is very responsible position to speak about something especially I like I said before, we can disagree with Elias Sahib, we disagree with you as well, but we must not misattribute something. You said on the public platform that on the Zilli concept, Elias Qadri Sahib believes and agrees with you basically. I want you to give me the name of one Zilli prophet which Elias Qadri Sahib believes. Okay, <clears throat> two things. First of all, not just one thing. No, just no, one no. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one thing. Yes. Did I name say name of the Zilli prophet? No, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Name no. of the Zilli prophet as Elias. No other topic, sir. Brother, Either you, you, you take your words back. No problem. You are you are human being. No problem. If you apologize on the public platform, take your word back. I'm happy with that. Or no moving forward. No moving forward. Give us one Zilli prophet which Elias Qadri believes in, or you apologize right now. Okay. Elias Qadri believes Ahmad Raza Brailvi his mujaddad, and I'm reading Ahmad Raza Brailvi's okay. writing. Okay, Ahmad Raza Brailvi. Now you call second name. Give us one person whom Ahmad Raza Brailvi Sahib believe as a Zilli prophet. Yeah, yeah. He because because because, because no 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 stop no stop no waffling no waffling. Yeah, no waffling. We are asking you a particular. Yeah, no, no, let me stop. clarify. Wait, wait, wait. He, he, he no, no, no. is Ram Abdul Qadir Jilani. Abdul Qadir Jilani as Zilli prophet. Dr. Sahib, it is it is not about reading. It is about the question you need to answer. You don't need to read ten pages. My question yes. is: You mentioned the name of Elias Qadri Sahib. Yes. You mentioned the name of uh, yes, uh, Ahmad yes. Raza yes. Khan Sahib. They no are problem. respected people in their communities. Okay, we cannot yes. let you use. No, no, wait, Dr. Sahib, wait, wait. We cannot let you use our platform. to misattribute those things to their community leaders okay my question to you is you have to tell us the name of those zilli prophets which elias qadri believes which aham khan sahib believes and if you cannot produce please apologize on the public platform there is no other discussion with you okay this is First this is all, because this is because you claimed that they are with you are you on, going to let me on, speak brother or no wait wait because because you claim you claimed you claim that they are with you on this concept of zil what is your that's ahmed yani that's it that's all what, i said yes and yes, i can prove that i can I'm prove that i'm clarifying Simple. what is the qadiani and ahmadi concept of zil zil to you means prophethood 
It's a type of propaganda. No, wait, no, no, wait. no, no. That's a lie. Wait. That's a lie. Wait. What you do you mean it's a lie? Adnan Bhai, Adnan Bhai, no other topic. Adnan Bhai, Adnan Bhai, please. Adnan Bhai, Adnan Bhai, Dr. Saab, Dr. Saab, wait, look. We are not going to discuss Dr. Saab any topic with you until and unless. You have two options. Option one, produce the name of those Zilli Prophet, which, which, uh, which Ahmad Raza Sahib, and is as God is I believe. Mm -hmm. Produce those names. Option one. Option two, very simple. You should say, I'm a human being. I made a mistake. And we will let you go. Okay. Brother, how can you even ask me for something which I haven't even claimed? I said they are with us as far as concept of Zill is concerned. Did I say they claim Zill prophet? Concept why, of why Zill. Wait, me, wait, wait, wait. No problem. Okay. Let me deal with you. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I know your tactics, mm -hmm. okay? You said that as far as the concept of Zil is concerned, they yes. agree with you. Wait, of wait, course. wait, 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 wait. And mm -hmm. your concept of Zil is linked with Zilli Nabuat. Okay. You cannot separate your concept of Zil with the Zilli Nabuat. That's the whole discussion. Dr. Saib, you I, I would not let you be off the hook. I have given you simple opportunity. You are a human being. Just simply say, Dr. Yahya is a human being. He made a mistake. He misattributed something very big to, to two leaders of the community. We will forgive you. No problem. Or produce the names of those Zilli prophets. Because the, what's happening is you guys <coughs> just come and drop the name. Drop the name. Drop the name. We will not let you go today. You but either I produce the name. No, you, I, know the, anything. I need the names of Zilli prophets, which, which uh, Ahmad Daza believe and Elias Kalsai believe. They are respected people. Be respectful to them as well. Okay. My turn. Now let me speak, please. please. Now, now you have two minutes. Start now. You need to give us the name. Okay. okay. Brother, when I when I said, Adnan understood me, I said, they are with us with Zilliyat. The concept of Zilliyat. Okay. And I got references for that. When what do you mean by Zilliyat? Wait, 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 brother, wait. Brother, one second. It's two minutes now. What you do can, you mean? Explain, 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 explain what do you mean by Zilliyat? What is Zilliyat in Qadiyaniyat? I will, brother. Yes. I will, brother. I will. Yes. Uh, so, when is my, my two minutes starts now then? Yes. The reason I said it, I noted it down because in this very program, you guys have claimed that these things have come from Hinduism. Mirza Sahib is the first person who has used these terms. Completely wrong. Oh. Wrong. We claim, wrong. Please, we claim the term Otar, not Zil. Not Zil. Minutes, brother, brother, brother don't lie on us. Brother, my two minutes. Minutes. Brother, my two minutes. Otar, the term Otar comes from Hinduism, not Zil. We know what Zil means. We, Zil means we use the term manifestation it's and Otar from the Hindu. So please don't, don't misquote us. us to our faces. <clears throat> Yeah. But we'll give you two minutes. Don't worry about your two minutes. But look, yeah. when you Yours start making Zilli. when you start making false allegations against us, yeah, against the leaders of other communities, we need to speak up. Okay? Guys, Zilliyat, as far as the Qadianis, yeah. the Ahmadis are concerned, as far as they're concerned, Zilliyat is a point. Where are my two minutes? Profit, wait, wait, wait. Where Let me explain we'll give you two minutes. Don't worry. Don't worry. Zilliyat in Qadianism is directly linked to prophethood. Mirza yes. Ghulam Qadiani yes. claimed to be a Dilli prophet, Dilli Nabi, repeatedly. If this guy doesn't have the courage and the guts to accept that, it's his problem. All the Ahmadis and Qadianis out there, they know this. Okay? And we will pull out the book. He's going to waste our time. We're going to spend so, the next half an hour. Dr. Yahya, what, what is your understanding of the term Zilli? Mine. No, no, I'm talking about Dr. Yahya. No, yeah, doctor, yeah. Yeah, I'm you telling you, question, he can you deny it. It's, it's a simple deny. question. Look, the whole yeah. thing is, the whole thing is changed. I'm not by, I'm not by, I can buy, give him a two minutes, let him speak. Yeah, yeah we'll give him time. Don't worry. I'll, I'll give you time. I've told you. So yeah. all I need is, before you continue with the two minutes, it's, is because I've asked the same question to the other Ahmadis who came here. And it's only fair I ask you as well. In your understanding of the terms that you use several times, the term Zilli and Buruzi, what is your understanding of those terms in the context my, you use them? My term is exactly the same as Hazrat Mirza Saab. He said that means Fina fi Rasul. Fina what? Fina fi Rasul. Fina fi Rasul. Say it in English. Like when you when you uh, you you uh, you follow your master so much that your your um, uh, soul 
becomes his, his soul. Basically, he's misquoting you know, his own prophet. He's mis misquoting his own prophet. Is Zil no, and Buru the same thing? Wait, wait. No, 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 Zil, no, let him answer the way he wants. That's fine. That's his, but, that's his but, reference. Okay, Zil and we will Buru, use, we, If it's wrong, we'll use it against him. Simple as that. said himself that yeah. Buru's and Fana Fir Rasul are two different things. Imtiaz Bhai put up a quote two, three hours ago that Mirza said Buru's and Fana Fir Rasul are two different things. And Buru's is this has the same meaning as Otar, which is a Hindu term. Okay. Otar means reincarnation as we understand it. Okay. So now stop playing games. Don't waste our time, Dr. Yahya. We are not okay. stupid. We have read your books. So please. So do you, do you agree with that, Dr. Yahya? The term yeah. Fana and, and uh, Rilli are two different terms meaning two different things to, to based on your based on your own references and one based on your own sources i can i can hardly hear the non is speaking at the same time as you brother okay once again you once again do you agree with what brother atnan said that the term yeah. fana and and zilli mean two different things based on your own sources do you agree but with no. that statement no because <laughs> that's what i'm saying brother imtiaz Misquoted this reference of Al Fazal. I will read it to you. Where he no, finished? No, 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 no. The topic is no. The topic is <laughs> Ahmad Raza Khan. I give you the answer. I give you the answer, brother. Ahmad Raza Khan. No reference. Where he misquoted. Wait, wait, that's up, that's up. Don't be clever. Wait, Ahmad. You said Ahmad Raza Khan. Ahmad Raza Khan and Ilyas Kadri. They have the same concept of zilli. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Zil. Allow me. That's Zil. don't drop me. That's don't drop me. <laughs> you said that Ahmad Raza Khan Sahib and Alias Kadri Sahib have the same concept of Zilli as you. So, uh, first of all, we established that you lied on Alias Kadri. You lied on Ahmad it. Raza. Why? Because they do it. not believe. Wait, wait. It is my turn. That's why are you interrupting okay, me? Okay, fine. You can note you can note my point. Okay. It's my two minutes now. If you think that you are truthful in your attribution to Ahmad Raza and Yas Kadri, in your turn, you need to tell us that which Zilli prophets they believe in. Number one. Number two. Now you said that their concept is same. Okay. In your turn, you have to tell us your concept, and then you tell us their concept so we can see if it's same or not. Go ahead. Okay. Is it my two minutes? Yeah, yeah two points, two, two minutes. Okay, please. Uh, don't disturb in the middle, okay? Now, I said, I and I, I stand by my statement, as far as concept of Zil is concerned, these names which I've taken, they are with us. For example, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani, about him, Allah Hazrat, Mujaddad of Brailvi sect says, Beshak, Martaba Elahe Rafiya Hazur Purnur. He is talking about Sayyid Abdul Qadir Jilani. Hazur Purnur, Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho, Zil Martaba E Nabuat Hai. And this is from Irfan E Shariyat, page 90, and from Al Madina Karachi. So he did say that. So I was right. Then, going back to again, Sheikh Abdul Qadir Jilani from Tafrihul Khawatir. He said, "By I swear to God that my body, mera vajud, mere nana Sayyid al ka vajud hai. My body is the body of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, not the body of Abdul Qadir. Isn't this Ziliyat? This is the same concept, even more than that. We, when we say Ziliyat, brothers, we say Finafir Rasul." Here he is talking about body. Now, another person, Fatawa Afrikiya. This is Allah Hazrat again. He said, Hazrat Purnur Sayyid Nagosi Azam Razila Talan Ho, Hazur Ekdas Wa Anwar Sayyid Alam Salasalam Ke Varase Kamal. He said, Sayyid Abdul Qadir, he is Varase Kamal of Holy Prophet Salasalam. Wa Naibe Tham. He is his reflection of Holy Prophet. This is our concept. Same. 
उनमें मुतजली है Okay, okay, okay. So, Adnama, you want to say something? Yeah, very quickly. I want to say all of these quotes he presented actually do not present their view of Zil, what they actually believe in, the Qadianis, and what they understand from Zil. None of these quotes prove their point. So they are spinning the words of these people of the past who have written these books and these statements. They take them piecemeal. and they are trying to use these statements to support their concept of zil over to you mtaz bhai you can explain what the concept of zil is to him okay. so that he, so, so so he knows that how he's manipulating our sources okay uh, okay i will just quickly say one thing and then inshallah we move on the discussion so alhamdulillah we have established that dr sahib i don't know deliberately or unconsciously he lied on ahmad raza and elias qadri i am saying i am saying on this live stream they do not believe in any zilli prophet they do not believe in that. any zilli prophet okay if they do if they do that's why you interrupting me have some respect of sir please okay no they do no not believe in any zilli prophet and if you think they do believe i give you a simple invitation in your turn name that person whom ahmad raza or elias qadri believe as a zilli prophet because your zilli A concept is linked with profit too. Don't forget this key point here. Okay, so that is done with your what you just said. Okay, now point number two. Now, uh, Hashim, why can you please put a screen uh, the concept of zil so we can teach people, inshallah, what what is the bruise or zil thing, inshallah. Hashim, why it is with you now, inshallah. If you can put the last thing on the screen. Is is that your two minutes, brother? Yes, it is my two minutes. I I I only spoke thirty seconds. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. is it the last page you send me yeah yes brother yes now we'll see that what was the concept of this buruz which we are discussing yeah. here yes there you go okay yeah. now the reference is that sir please note the reference i can see it i can i can't see it it's too small i can make it bigger can you can you zoom in please i can't actually Just read it. That's fine. Just read it. You okay, can take Aksar, a. Okay, Rasul. I give you the address. You can check. Okay, Rasul. No problem. No problem. Okay, Aina Kamalate Islam, Ruhani Khazain, Volume Five, Page Two Fifty Five and Two Fifty Six. I read in Urdu. ये एक इरफानी भेद है कि बाज गुजिश्ता कामिलों का इन बाज पर जो ज़मीन पर ज़िंदा मौजूद हों अक्स पढ़ के और इत्तहादे ख़यालात होकर ऐसा ताल्लुक हो जाता है कि वो इनके जहूर को अपना जहूर समझ लेते हैं और इनके इरादात जैसे आसमान पर उनके दिल में पैदा होते हैं वैसे ही बिजनल्ला ताला इसके दिल में पैदा होते हैं जो जमीन पर पैदा जो जमीन जो जमीन पर है पैदा होते हैं और ऐसी रूह डॉक्टर साहब से केयरफुली और ऐसी रूह जिसकी हकीकत को इस आदमी से जो जमीन पर है मुतहद किया जाता है रूह को so there's a roo in the skies it is made one roo ko muttahid kiya jata hai us aadmi se jo zameen pe hai ye aisa malka rakhti hai ke jab chahe what the roo the roo jab chahe pure taur pe apne iradat isme dalti rahe aur in iradat ko khuda taala iske dil mein rakh deta hai in very simple term in english and that's up you have every right to refute what i'm saying he is saying that a kamil a saint person who has passed away and his ruh is in the skies now this ruh gets attached with someone who is on the earth okay and then this ruh because the ruh belongs to the person who is on the earth and it is attached with the one who is uh, sorry the ruh belongs to the one who is in the sky and it becomes one with the one who's on the earth okay and now this ru is basically putting things in his heart etc etc this is not mean or sub this is called the concept of buruz okay check the reference okay book is with you 
and you only need to respond yourself to what we are discussing. Point number one, if you think that you were truthful in your attribution, you need to tell us the zilli and buruzi prophet which Ilyas Qadri and Ahmad Raza believe in. And secondly, you need to respond to this is the concept of buruz. Go ahead. Okay. My, my two minutes starts now. Yes. yes. Now, everyone is watching. Yes. You said that I have to prove it to you that Zilli, that all of any of these people have given that they use the same Zilli profit concept. So what that mean? Everyone is watching, brother. What that mean is that when I didn't even say Zilli profit, I said Zilli concept, concept about Zil. So you have, in other word, accepted my claim that as far as Zilliyat is concerned, these five six people, which name I, I have mentioned, them. And Jamaat Ahmadiyya Muslim, Alhamdulillah, are on one page. You are minority. See? All right. And we talk about that Zilli Prophet, Zilliyat. Secondly, the quote you said from uh, uh, Aina Kamalat Islam. This is a quotation from Peer uh, Mayor Elisha. Tahkikul Haq fi Kalimatul Haq. Page number 127. Exactly the same concept. Okay. He said, or as a he, Imtiaz Darmian Tajali K. K. Salik Kavajud. Salik means devotee. Salik Kavajud by Nehi Mazare Hakikate Mohammedia Hoker. La ilaha illallah Chishti Rasulullah K. Trenam Yatahe. He says, in concept, this, this. Bruce and Ziliyat he is talking about. He said when a devotee, he, uh, he when, when he devotes himself, then a stage come when he, that devotee and the person he is devoting towards and he is using the concept of Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said the time come when both of them, they become same. They're both the same. This is the concept okay. of Liyat, which we were telling you for the last four hours that our concept brother is same and your saints. Now, you got your only no, no, time no, is one, up. Right? It's time one is second. Up. Last thing. You have to either give, give fatwa kufr on these people or you have to <laughs> apologize to us that you are saying wrong thing that this concept is from Hindus. No, 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 okay. no, no. You done? This is Islamic concept brother. You done? Okay. Can I? Can I? Okay. Yeah. Now, please. Again, you lied on all the Sufia and the Sufis and people you mentioned. Okay. Firstly, we don't agree with a lot of things some of the Sufis have stated and other people have stated. A lot of the stuff. I've already made it very clear earlier. If you were listening, I made it very clear with Osama when he was online, and I made it very clear that all these statements. We consider anything that goes against Quran and Sunnah, the Zahir meaning of the Quran and Sunnah, we don't accept it, we can throw it on the wall. Okay, we're not throwing individuals under the bus. We're saying, any, even if my dad comes today and says something against the Quran and the Sunnah and tries to make it Islam, I'm going to say to him, I'm going to say to him, sorry, you're my dad, I love you, but I'm not going to accept it from you. Okay, you, you may be saying something which is kufr. Okay, now, when you say that these people agree with you, you are lying again. Their concept of Wahdatul Wujud or being one with another person or with Allah and all these concepts you may be trying to use, which Mirza tried to use to his advantage. You know, this is amazing. This is actually proving a point that Mirza Saab and his followers, they are using some of these highly problematic, controversial, even Kufr statements to qualify the Kufr as Islam. I repeat. Mirza Saab and his missionaries, they tried to use these kufr statements made by people in the past. Okay. Uh, they tried to use these statements to their advantage to claim prophethood. None of these people you mentioned, none of these people you mentioned, okay, with due respect, believed in a prophet after Muhammad. Whether Dili, Buruzi, Ummati, name it. They never claimed another prophet after Muhammad. Even those who wrote Kishti Rasulullah, 
didn't actually say Chishti was Rasulullah. They didn't say Chishti was Nabi Allah. Okay. However, they said it, whatever they meant, we're not going to go into that. It's their action. They will have to stand up to Allah and respond to these things. Okay. But none of them claimed another prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This is the point. You did. You guys did. You made a prophet after Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You called him a Zilli Nabi, a Buruzi Nabi, an Ummati Nabi. So don't lie on people. Don't say they believe in the same concept of Zil as you do. Because you connect Zil with prophethood of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. How more do you want me to be simple? How, 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 how can I put it more simply? Okay, so try not to play these games. Over to you, Imtiaz, by very quickly so that we can go back to Dr. Sir. Can I respond, brother? Yeah, yeah, you can, but Imtiaz, by let him finish. Very... Yeah. Brother, let him, you said... Imtiaz, by... let him Imtiaz, by go, and then you Asha, can come back. Let me respond brother, to what you said. Might forget. Then there will be too many points, and you're going to give me two minutes. Because no, no, there are like five points. points. Imtiaz, by you can go Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Take okay. one okay. minute or so. Okay, I'll be very quick. Adran Sahib, Jazakallah, you proved my point. Jazakallah, you said you don't agree with Sufi. You said these, these are kalma kufr. You said all these statements, they are kufriya statements. Alhamdulillah, I, you proved my point. All of these people you call kuf, kafir, tibandi, prelvi, they all are with us. You, Ahle, these are minority, Alhamdulillah. Okay, you saying that they were talking kufr. Okay, so they are kafir. Everyone, where is Muslim Ummat and Muslim then? They are Bandi Kafir, Brailvi Kafir, Shia Kafir, everyone Kafir, P. Gora Sharif Kafir. Who are you then, brother? Why should we? I, I will tell you. you. Again, I will he's tell you. lying to my face. You, he's lying you, to you my face. face. Has, he has got a bad One point. When did I say Deobandi, Brailvi, and all these people have to When did I say that? Last thing. Yeah, last thing. You said none of them claim to be a prophet after Muhammad. Brother, when as far as Zilliyat prophethood is concerned, I told you, first of all, I told you, I was talking about when I passed the statement, concept of Zilliyat for us and these people are same. You are, you have misunderstood it. You haven't even read your own books, brother. So Zilli, I didn't ever claim that there is a concept Zilliyat and Nabuwat concept is same. Did I claim Thank that? You no. Know. Thank you. Your time is up. When you, when you say we haven't read our books, we have read our books. I said all these things before you came on, on, on the stream. Okay. When I was speaking to Osama, I made it very clear. So you don't know what you're talking about. I read these statements decades ago from some of the books of uh, these controversial nature. Okay. So again, 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 I will tell you. Don't worry. I will tell you. That's why I'm going to come to you. One second. When you try to make it an ummah wide phenomenon, you are a liar. You are a plain liar. From Morocco to Bangladesh, you're making everyone say Chishti Rasulullah. You're making everyone say Fulan Rasulullah, Zil this, Zil that. None of these people. You are a very tiny uh, phenomenon in the Indian subcontinent who borrowed heavily from some of the most uh, controversial statements of the Sufis and they, you made up a prophet. You know, they didn't go as far as you did, okay? They didn't go as far as you did. You took it to the next level. Your Mirza started to claim prophethood for himself using some of these controversial statements. That's what you're making. Actually, you're making a case stronger for us. We're saying some of the people in the past made these statements, okay? Some of them blatantly kufr statements. Mirza adopted them. Alhamdulillah. Okay? Went, went against the entire Ummah. Went against the entire Ummah and claimed prophethood. Over to you, Tiaz, but I don't want to take your time. So, so you're saying, so, brother, that all of them are covered? Wait, wait, wait. wait I will wait. respond you. Don't worry, Dafsab. I will respond to you. I'm in, coming. Tiaz, but over okay. to you. Okay. So, inshallah, brothers, uh, now, Dafsab, because you spoke two terms, okay? I will take four minutes because it's only fair, okay? You spoke two terms. So now, uh, inshallah, I can brother, keep record brother, of my Brother, one second. Well. I only spoke when uh, Brother uh, Imtiaz, uh, Adnan spoke, and then I spoke two minutes, and then you spoke, and I spoke two That's minutes. Okay. So you, collectively, you had. No, I, have, I, have had points points. Respond, I have points to respond, I have responded. And then you now. give me four minutes to respond. No problem. Even though, even Darsa, look at this one. Even though it's our stream, but look how fair we are with you. I time myself as well. I time myself as well, right? Thank okay. you very much. 
yeah now that's up uh, because obviously we are talking to you but educating the people as well so uh, dear audience don't be carried away with the word jazakallah khair you prove my point etc these are all called missionary tactics okay don't be carried away by this one so focus on the point okay next point is uh, alhamdulillah not a single muslim prominent person be it ahmad raza be it ilyas qadri be it whatever the new name no one has claimed prophethood for any human being after nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam just dropping the names would not help you your job is to produce the name of the prophet which they have believed to be the prophet as dilli otherwise all of that is red herring okay next point alhamdulillah alhamdulillah now people have seen that mirza gulam ahmad was plagiarizing from the sufi saints he has nothing to do with quran and ahadith alhamdulillah because if dr saab dr saab i love you you know dr saab every time you say every time you say why not you quote the quran quran is the hakam and adal alhamdulillah today quran is going to be the hakam and adal between us you and the sufia okay sufia on the one side qadiani on the other side and abu yar on the other side between all of us quran will be the hakam and adal in your turn quote quran quote quran for the aqeedah of buruz and i have already given you the definition i have five more ready with me okay buruz mean a, a righteous person who has passed away his ruh is connected with somebody on the earth and in this way the buruz is created i have five more references ready i gave you one already in your turn dr sahib no sufia no nothing quran quran and sunna okay now next point you said that who, who is kafir dr sahib dr sahib look at this one look at the beauty when mirza sahib claimed to be the prophet obviously alhamdulillah the entire umma unanimously rejected him so according to your understanding we are kuffar number 1 number 2 then the lahoris and ahmadis they got split according to lahoris ahmadis are kuf, uh, kuffar according to qadiani ahmadis lahoris are kuffar because they don't believe in your prophet guess what that is why the result of the messiah is entire ummah has become kafir we became kafir according to you because of rejecting mirza sahib okay lahori became kafir because of not believing mirza as a prophet and qadiani became kafir because lahori considered them as a they because they believe in a prophet who was not the prophet so basically the net result is dr sahib look at me the net result is we do not have a single muslim left on the planet as a result of nabuwat of mirza sahib this is the nabuwat okay now in your turn you will say imtiaz you said 10 things no i'm only asking you one thing there's a dispute between the sufia between the qadianis and between us we are going to make quran as the hakam and adal that's the only one point you have to discuss give us from the quran the aqeedah of buruz no other point go ahead okay. or or be ready, or be ready to accept that you have don't have the quran on your side you're now hanging on to sufia and some of the controversial statements okay jazakallah now brother uh, you know you can say why well, can say your tactics they know that that people are seeing people are watching what's happening now now you said tell us which muslim prominent person has given has given has gone the same concept as of prophethood as us brother this is not the point i make i said as far as concept of zilliyat is concerned they are with us and you guys have in front of everyone you have categorically said those people have these are kufriya qaid okay then they said are you are you deaf doctor saab doctor saab are you deaf? doctor saab we cleared we clarified your concept of zilliyat is connected to prophethood are you not listening are you not listening to us I am. Which, I am listening. Which one of the Sufia? That is my tumi. Which one of the Sufia? Which one of the Sufia did that? Which one of the Sufia did that? Let public decide. 
as extreme as they may be. Let public decide, as, brother. Yeah. Let public decide. Why, why are you okay, worried? Please. That's the go ahead. Please. Okay. That's then, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you said that Mirza Sahib copied plagiarism, you said, Sufiya, and he did not follow Hadith and Quran. Subhanallah. In one sentence, now you declare all these people, which I mentioned, Abdul Qadir Jilani, Ahmad Raza Brailvi, Shah Waliullah, they all, according to you, did not follow the Holy Quran and Hadith. Otherwise, why did you say that? So if these people didn't follow the Quran and Hadith, according to you, then I don't know who has followed the God. All, all Muslim, oh, one second, brother. One second, brother. 40 seconds Brailvi, left. 40 seconds. is out. Deobandi is out. Everyone is out. Then you said that mentioned the from, from the Holy Quran. Rahil Sahib mentioned you from the Holy Quran. Allah Ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, Then Allah says in the Holy Quran, What is the, what is Allah talking about there? This is the same concept, brother. If you guys can't understand, then it is Ahli Hadith's problem. It's not Bravi's problem anymore. <laughs> It's not the Abandi problem. It's not Shia's problem. It's not Sufi's problem. Left. It's Ahle Hadith's problem. You have to go back, do some research, uh, or then come back and say, these people are kafir, you are the only Muslim. Then if everyone is kafir, you are the only one Muslim. What are you doing here? Majority is kafir. Okay? So you okay. have to go I'm back. Finished. Stop. Finished. Okay, I would like to clarify. We are all Muslim brothers. Ahle Hadith, the Abandi, Barelvis, we are all one on one point. Yes. And is that the Qadianis are not Muslims. Okay? Yes. You, as much as you like to divide us and you're trying to pitch us against each other, that's not going to happen. We're not going to allow that. You we, said that. We, we, <laughs> we, if, if, we, if we have love and sympathy for the Ahmadi Awam, whom we consider to be disbelievers, may Allah guide them. What about our own Muslim brothers? What about our own Muslim brothers? We have nothing but love and compassion for all of them. So try not to divide us. We have respect and honor for all our scholars of the past. We don't consider them to be prophets. They are not masoom. Yeah. They made mistakes. They made, many of them made mistakes. Okay. And Mirza cannot use their mistakes to claim prophethood. That's the point we're making. Over to you, Mithas Bhai. Okay. Dr. Saheb, uh, first of all, I want people to pay attention. As Adnan Bhai said, you know, Deobandi, this, Brelvi, this, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Saheb, are you listening? No Deobandi, no Brelvi. No one believes in any Zilli prophet after Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Dr. Saab, are you listening? Have some manhood and apologize. Please do not make bohtan on all of these people. Okay, they are the community leaders for their people. So please be respectful to them. And I would say, please apologize to them and move on. Okay, next one. You said, now listen, Dr. Saab. Alhamdulillah, people will be watching today that who is quoting Quran. Ya ayyuhallazina amanu, atiyullaha, wa atiyur rasul, wa ulil amri minkum, fa in tanazatum fi shayin, farudduhu ilallahi wa rasul. Okay, so if there's a dispute now, in this situation, Dr. Saab, listen carefully, it's a ilmi nukta, maybe you can understand this. There's a dispute between Qadianis, Sufis and the panel of Dhamma wise right now. We have a dispute. And Allah's book is telling us when you have a dispute, refer it back to Allah, which means Allah's book and his messenger, which is Sunnah. Okay. Dr. Sab, now the Hakam and Adal will be Quran and Sunnah. Okay. Now you try to give the impression by quoting to our Dr. Sab. Dr. Sab, what are you doing here? Wama Ramaita is Ramaita. Walakin Allah Rama. Translate this one. And then tell us that which world you're driving the burus. Okay, second point. Please, in your turn, translate both of these ayat and draw the aqidah of burus. Dr. Sahib, aqidah of burus is that a saint, a righteous person has passed away. His soul gets connected with somebody on earth. This is the aqidah of burus. Please, from these two ayat, Draw this Aqidah of Buruz and please make Quran and Sunnah. Listen to Allah's command. Allah is teaching all of us that go back to Allah's book 
and the authentic hadith or sunna dr sahib please don't waste people's time okay these two ayat no problem use use these two ayat but listen the aqeedah a, a person a righteous person has passed away and now his soul is going to be connected with somebody on earth you need to prove this one from these two ayat go ahead okay jazakallah now your time starts now yeah that's fine now uh, br brother everybody watching you again said that these people have made, made, made mistake i shouldn't be referring to their bandis brailvis so and so the only reason i i i mentioned that because in this very program you people have lied to public that this is hindu concept you lied to public as mirza sahib is the first one who oh, used the word i made it clear brother, man it's my please minutes. don't do this is my two minutes do brother is my two minutes otar, the term otar is hindu please. not zil not please. zil stop it's lying my two minutes look it's my two minutes let people decide I, I, yes, why are you ahead. worried brother adnan brother why are you worried let people Dr. decide Sahib, please go do, ahead do, okay. do you see any signs of worry on me everyone can see everyone can see why I'm why angry. I'm if you are not worried why are you interrupting me brother just give me I'll that tell. answer Look, i'll tell okay you're lying on us i said otar is the hindu term not zil hello 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 can you please wake up otar otar is the hindu oh. term used by mirza to claim that buruz and otar are the same thing mean the same thing okay that's what i said Try, stop lying on me to my face i'm sitting in front of you don't do that please okay is it clear now is it clear otar is hindu it is a hindu term not zil okay zil is an arabic word it means shadow i know what it means continue now answer okay. the question alhamdulillah brother Okay, my, my two minutes starts now because you interrupted me, brother. Yes, okay. yes, no problem. No problem. Now, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. People are watching now that same people who are sitting here saying to us that Zil and Baruzo, they're the new concept. Mirzas have brought it from somewhere. Now, look at them. They are accepting that this is Islamic concept. Nara Takbir Allahu Akbar. Okay, now. You said, no, Devandi, no, Brailvi. Brothers, I had to only bring them because you were constantly saying that this is not an Islamic concept. And look, look at the fruit. Everyone has now understood this is an Islamic concept as far as Ziliyat is concerned. Then you said, if there is a dispute, I, sh I should apologize. Okay. Listen, I will apologize. No problem. If I have ever claimed that Ziliyat, Zili Nabuwat is the concept given by other uh, saints, I haven't said that. You guys should apologize because you keep on bringing the same thing. Why are you bringing it? But I'm, I'm you know, please, I have repeated myself so many times. In next your, uh, you know, turn, apologize to the public that you bring in the same thing again, again, even though I have clarified it. You said, that from the, I mean, don't waste time. Brother, I'm trying my best to make you, look look at the advantage. I haven't wasted time. You guys wasted four hours. Within 10, 15 minutes, you have gone back to the Islamic concept of Zill and Bruce. I haven't wasted time. Whole public is watching, Alhamdulillah. Okay. And then do you said, go back to the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Look, now you guys, have disowned your own ulema. Own ulema. Now you run to the Holy Quran. Alhamdulillah. That, see this, that's the fruit. That's the fruit. So I didn't waste time, Alhamdulillah. Okay, brother. Now, you said, if you want to 20 talk... 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. Now, because you guys have wasted nearly four or five hours telling, keeping raw, wrong concept that Ziliyat is not from the Holy Quran, Bruz is not from, not, not from Islam, Bruce is not from Islam. If you want to discuss these topics from the Holy Quran, let's do another stream. We will discuss that from the Holy Quran. No problem. Okay, people have watched. You wasted everyone's time, brother. And next time, please, my humble request, brother, my humble request, before you saw stream, please read your elders' books. Why do we have to teach you these things? 
you should be reading your elders, your bandi, bravery, your Muslim mumma, isn't it? You should be reading your books and then come and don't lie to public, please. You should apologize now that you lie to public that this is a this is not Islamic concept. Time up, time up, time up. Time up. Okay. Okay, that's how you took uh, that's how you took two uh, two minutes and fifty seconds, inshallah. I'll, I'll just let you finish. I will finish as well. No, no. Let, let, let me let me take the 50 seconds and you can take two minutes. Uh, in please, right. please, yeah, please. Do, Dr. Saib is clearly now apologizing to all the Muslims for attributing a zilliyat, concept of zilliyat of Qadianism to uh, the Sufia. So he tried to play this game where he tried to attribute zilli nabuat because Qadianis, as far as they are concerned, to them zilliyat means nabuat. It's connected to nabuat. There is nothing else to it in Qadianism. This is how Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani used the term Zilli Nabi. He called himself Zilli Nabi. So when you try to play this game where you attributed the same concept to Sufia, you are plainly lying. And thank you for apologizing. Thank you for your humility. Uh, may Allah guide you. Thank you. Over to you, Intaz Bhai. May Allah give you that humility, brother. You have to apologize. <laughs> okay. That's how we shall speak now. Okay. Uh, okay, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Inshallah, my time starts now. So, first of all, uh, brothers, you know, because Darsab hear me saying the word apologize, Darsab wanted to use this word in his turn, which he used it, but he does not even know himself why he used this word that I need to apologize. What I need to apologize for? Because, Alhamdulillah, we already asked you since beginning that no Muslim scholar, be it Ahmad Raza, be it Elias Qadri, they don't believe, they don't preach, their followers don't believe in any Zilli and Buruzi prophethood. Okay. And Alhamdulillah, you accepted it. We appreciate that. We appreciate this is a good spirit. Okay. Now, next point is, Tarsa, why are you just playing, you know, these missionary tactics, you know, you disown your ulama, blah, blah, blah. Dr. Saib, look at me. Tarsa, Tarsa. Look at me. You always say, you always say that Quran, Quran. And today I am calling you to Quran. You're running to the Sufia. Okay. When we go to the ulama, you run to the Quran. When we go to the Quran, you run to ulama. Is it like an escape, you know, like for you? You just a cop out. Dr. Quran has taught us that now there is a dispute between Qadianis who are disbelievers according to us. And the Sufia and the rest of the Muslim scholars, there's a dispute amongst us on the concept of Buruz. I quoted you the Quranic command. Allah is saying, if there's a dispute, refer it back to Allah and his messenger. Okay. And this is better for all of us. Now, initially, you quoted two ayat, and then, but once I clarified for the audience that Mirza Sahib meant by Buruz, that a dead person, his soul, his soul gets connected with someone on the earth. This is called Buruz. And both of those ayat, Wallahi, it's a bohtan un azim, it's a tahrif fil Quran. Dr. Sab, please don't do this, okay? None of the ayat of the Quran teaches this aqidah that a dead person's soul gets connected with somebody on earth. If you have any ayah, you are more than welcome to quote that. And last point, Dr. Sab, in your turn, I'm not asking you again for 10 things. I'm only asking you for two points. Quote us the Quranic ayah, which is establishing the Aqidah of Buruz as I defined according to Mirza Sahib. And number two, Dr. Sahib, according to you, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is a prophet. Okay. And we say he's a liar. He's not a prophet. Are we Muslims? Please tell us. Okay. Zakala, brother. Now, my two minutes starts now? Yes, inshallah, yes, yes. Okay. <clears throat> you know, you said that I accepted, I apologize. People have seen what I have, what I have said. And people have also seen that you guys have again and again saying something about me, which I didn't say, and you haven't even apologized. Okay, you should be apologizing to the public. I have never said that. I have repeated, I don't know how many times. I have never said that, that these people have the concept of Zilli Nabuwat as us. I said Zilliyat, which you people said is from Hinduism. Oh, it's not Islamic concept. Okay. So now, Alhamdulillah, 
you said that I'm running from the Quran, brother. And you also said that there's a dispute amongst the awliya about Zil. And you said there's not a Quranic concept. So, Alhamdulillah, once again, you agreed that all these big scholars, and I have also reference from uh, Tazir al-Nas, Tazir al-Nas, page 39. He said, Jo kuch hai, zo zil aur akse muhammadi hai. So another Diobandi scholar, okay? No, no Quranic concept, isn't it? They don't know the Holy Quran, only Adnan knows and Imtiaz knows, isn't it? So, <laughs> now brother, all of these people, according to you, they don't know the Holy Quran, they have disowned Holy Quran, they have concepts, bread with Diobandi, everyone has got concepts, not just Aliya, not just uh, Peer Meher Ali Shah, Braille with Diobandi, I'm telling, look, two big scholars I've given you reference. They have nothing to do with Holy Quran, according to you. They have misunderstood it. Only you guys have understood it. So congratulations, brother. You are minority. Majority, as far as Zil, concept of Zil is concerned, with us, alhamdulillah. Okay? And that's what I wanted to prove. Now, Qurani then, ayat. Qurani ayat. Or sub Qurani yeah. ayat. Yeah. Do you have the Quran? It's that's my, the question. It's my two minutes, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. yeah. None, okay. none of the Sufiya have the Quran as you claim, but do you have it? Do you have it? Please present it. I stop your time now. I stop your time now. You have 25 seconds left. Please continue. Okay, I will quickly say that. As far as Holy Quran is concerned, I have given you open invitation, brother. Let's do another stream on that. Because it's already five five hours. I'm going to, I, will, I will quote one holy, uh, the verse of the Holy Quran. We will take another one hour. Let's do another stream on that. Okay. Secondly, you said this is that that less quote from the Holy Quran. These are your ulama. You said they are all Muslim, even, even though you call them kafir. These people, you tell us which verse of the Holy Quran they use to call it Aksa Muhammadi. That's zero Nas I referred to. I, I referred to Allah Hazrat, which Holy Quran words he used, or you okay. think all of okay, these. Okay, Sahab, um, we'll just. We will we'll call this and end um, in in the discussion between yourself. I'm going to bring uh, another guest in. Can I? Uh, 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 Dr. Saab, um, no, we have enough. Enough. We have enough of uh, Dr. Saab in the back and forth. Clearly, clearly, Dr. Saab wants to um, have another stream to talk about the Quranic ayah. That's fine. We're not going to force you to to talk about it. I mean, if you, if you had them ready, you could have just shared it, but no problem. So um, thank you for coming and, and waiting patiently on the, on the back and appreciate uh, as always. Okay. Thank you. We'll very see much. you next and brother, and brother uh, can you, that's up, before you yes, go, yes. That's yes. Up, before you go, can you answer the question I asked you that those people who consider Mirza Sahib a liar, not a truthful person, okay, are they Muslims? Yes. Everyone who says la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah is muslim okay, okay? so rejecting so concept. rejecting so rejecting mirza sahib has no impact right let me finish let me finish yeah. let me finish brother yeah there is a concept in the in the islam kufr dunun kufr so one person from one angle can be a muslim from other angle he can be a kafir when yeah. you reject you say yourself you reject and when yeah. you say reject somebody in arabic yeah. we call it kafir so when you reject Mirza Sahib, you are kafir of Mirza Sahib. I hope that understand my... You know, and anyone, anyone who's a kafir of Mirza Sahib, is he a kafir of Allah? No. Because he's saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. How can he be kafir of Allah? So, so, so are we... Christian, so basically, are, uh, Raksa, basically, after knowing Mirza Sahib's claim and considering him a disbeliever, okay, and a liar, we will still go to Jannah, right? I will tell you, no problem, I will give you. As far as brother, concept of Jannah is concerned, who are we to decide? It's Allah is going to decide. But if somebody, there are two stages. One person, he does a sincere research about Mirza Sahib and he came to conclusion that Mirza Sahib is not from God. But he is sincere okay. in his research. Yeah. Allah will deal with him. But a person who has, okay. one second, who yeah. has after the search, he had a imam -e hujja He did yeah. find out that this person is from God, but because of his uh, arrogance or whatever, he said, I'm not going to accept him. Like the time of Holy Prophet ﷺ, many kufar did that. So that person, Allah will deal separately. Okay, Mansoor, just a moment. Okay, Rasa, basically, basically, 
ओके आई हैव रेड मिर्जा साहिब और नॉन बॉय हैज फेयर नॉलेज ऑफ मंसूर मिर्जा साहिब वी ऑल थ्री ऑफ अस वी कंसीडर मिर्जा साहिब अ लायर ही वाज नॉट अ ट्रूथफुल पर्सन वी रिजेक्ट हिम एंड हाशिम बॉय एज वेल रिजेक्ट हिम ओके नाउ इफ इट मीन दैट प्लीज गिव अस अ क्लीन आंसर आर वी कुफार और मुस्लिम्स यस आप आप गिव मी योर क्लियर आंसर सो व्हाट इज कुफार और मुस्लिम because all of you do you believe in la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah do you yes sir then as far as because you read kalima you okay. are every kalima go is a muslim but okay. wait here, no no wait here wait here wait here wait here if somebody says if somebody says I'm that, I'm no no, no. Uh, let me let me respond to this same point if somebody says if somebody says that those who reject mirza sahib they are kufar is this person making the truthful statement or is this person lying yeah i will tell you yes there is a there is a hadith of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which says that if a person calls somebody kafir and that person is a muslim that then that kufr goes back on that person we call ourselves muslims and because a mizar sahab call himself muslim because you declare yeah, us, 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 us because us, us. i'm giving you answer i'm giving you answer yeah yeah you people started 100 years ago started you started molvi your molvi started fatwa ko for against us we didn't start it okay uh who who went through the india and collected signature of 200 molvis was it ahle hadith or jamaat and the muslim scholar please be brief brother please be brief please be brief yeah yeah so because okay. at the time at the, at the time of hazrat mirza sahab mirza sahab explained these things again and again and he said okay now wait 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 lahori jamaat wait 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 they yes. are they 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 are three points they are three primary points on which lahori jamaat and qadiani jamaat they differ with each other what are those three points you tell me you saying no no you tell me you are not a person you are a murabbi or what no, you are saying the three i might have more points Okay, you, know, you don't know. You say you you tell us you don't know. No, 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 no. I in my according to my research, there are more than three points. But you say no, no. Top three. Your, your top three. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, Doctor Sab, I'm asking you a simple question. Okay, in Lahori Jamaat and Kadiani Jamaat. Okay, there may be hundreds of difference. There are three main differences. Okay, whatever you think are the main three on which Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud. has written the kitab okay and fatawas and the writings and khutbat e mahmud alhamdulillah we have read all of that my question to you is what are the three major points of disagreement between the qadiani jamaat and lahori jamaat okay tell us now you read all those books and now you claim in the, there is a book of fatawa against lahori show me the book khutbat e mahmudi asa khutbat khutbat show me the book, show me the no, book. No, where is the fatawa There is a doctor sahib I, I, I ask you a simple question doctor sahib I ask you a simple question let me let me expose you let me expose you let me let me expose you let me expose you everyone knows and everyone and your smile is quite telling as well that one difference is qadiani jamaat considers that those who rejected mirza sahib they are kuffar and lahori jamaat this agrees with them on this point this is one of the major disagreement major one is on the ismu ahmad who is the implementation of ismu ahmad lahori jamaat and they differ and the third point is also that is mirza a nabi or is he not a nabi if you don't know i give you the, first of all it's very difficult for me even to imagine that you are not lying in this moment because you know these are three major point disagreement was mirza a prophet what about those who reject mirza sahib and who is the misdaq of ismu ahmad now lahori jamaat and qadiani jamaat this is their major disagreement lahori jamaat does not say that we are kuffar but you guys say we are kuffar why you are lying okay wait 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 before you answer before you answer before you answer dr yahya let me read something to you very quickly okay so that we can clarify for the audience where we going with this mirza qadiani in his uh, book kalimatul fasl safa 110 page 110 and 
uh, sorry, not uh, one second. I gave the wrong ref reference here. One second. This is. Uh, I give it up. I give no, no. Uh, okay. This is uh, from his book. Yeah. About the Kufr statement. Okay. Uh, this is from his book. Taskara uh, Majmuay Ilhamat, page 168. And he said, Or Mujay Basharat di hai, Mujay Shanakh Karne ke baad, Teri Dushmini. جس نے تجھے شناخت کرنے کے بعد تیری دشمنی اور تیری مخالفت اختیار کی وہ جہنمی ہے سو مرزا غلام احمد قادیانی states in his book تذکرہ مجموعہ الہامات page 168 that anyone having recognized you becomes your enemy and opposes you is from جہنم he is in جہنم the next quote is تذکرہ صفحہ 600 it states, Khuda Ta'ala ne mere par zahir kiya hai ke har ek shakhs jis ko meri daawat pounchi hai aur is ne mujhe kabool nahi kiya, woh musulman nahi hai. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani states that Allah or God has uh, made it clear to me that anyone who has received my message and does not believe in it is not a Muslim. Okay. Then I'm going to go on to say Mirza Bashir Ahmed M.A. Mirza son, he wrote, Har ek aisa shaks jo Musa ko to maanta hai magar Isa ko nahi maanta ya Isa ko maanta hai magar Muhammad ko nahi maanta aur Muhammad ko maanta hai par Masih Mahud ko nahi maanta na sirf kafir balke kafir aur Islam se kharij hai. So Mirza Bashir Ahmed, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Qadiani's son, he states in his book, uh, in this book, Kalimatul Fasl, page 110, that anyone who accepts Musa and does not accept Isa, or accepts Isa and does not accept Muhammad sallallahu alaihi and accepts Muhammad and does not accept Masih Mahud, i.e. Mirza Ghulam Qadiani, is a disbeliever. Okay, and he is outside of Islam. Three quotes, two given from Mirza, and two, uh, one given from Mirza's son. Uh, so, Dr. Yahya, why are you lying to thousands of people? Do you think we are stupid? We haven't read your books. Okay. Yes. Can I respond? Yes. yes, please. Okay. First of all, Brother Imtiaz, you haven't read the books properly. I am real. You said three main three main differences between us and Lahoris, and you haven't even mentioned Khilafat. Can you can you can you, can you can you can you address the quotes? Of no, course. No, 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 no. Of That's course. secondary. Lahori's and you are secondary. Can you address okay, okay. That's fine. Three quotes. Okay, that's fine. Then, Brother Mtiaz, you said that Lahori believe about this, this. Lahori are talking not about that. They don't reject the quotes. Wait, wait, you, okay. you are lying to thousands of people. Okay, you're, you're... I'm going to you Okay, first of all, Brother uh, Mtiaz uh, and Brother Adnan, for you and all the viewers, all these questions have were discussed in 1974 assembly okay and my answers are based on our uh, answers of our khalifa at that time now with the god to and, and, our, and our jamaat and our jamaat literature and what about, mirza? what about mirza himself i'm saying i'm saying i'm saying it i'm saying it when mirza sahab has said tazkira for example uh, first of all, Tazkara is not Mirza Sahib's book. It was compiled afterwards. Just to clarify. He didn't write it in his lifetime. It was compiled afterwards. Is it, is it not trustworthy? Is it not trustworthy, Tazkara? No, yes. no, no, no. Because he said it's Mirza Sahib's book. I'm just clarifying that point. It was compiled uh, okay. afterwards. Are these words for Mirza or not? Dr. Sahib. No, no, no. Dr. Sahib, please don't make these blunders let me educate you let me educate you okay from the writings of mirza sahib when the dispute began between the lahoris and the qadiani group okay they you know, you know what they said they said that if we go to the writings of mirza sahib we're gonna get all sort of court let's make tazkira ilhamat of mirza sahib a judge between you and us Basically, they preferred uh, who said this? This was given as a suggestion from the Qadiani. You know who gave that? Muhammad Ismail Sahib. And you know who is this person, okay? He gave the suggestion 
that let's make the, he said let's make tazkira a tangent between us imtiaz bhai is a tangent and you and you and you educating us that's not come the question on is, are these the words of mirza or not just say yes or no of course they are prepared to compile after so that's why, all why i'm saying so why that's make all this point why waste our time get, i am here to educate you so get on with it please answer please answer yes of course did mirza okay. say anyone who does not believe in me is not a muslim okay mirza sahab and mirza sahab ex- himself has explained these quotations you need some when water he says, when he says that's sorry you need some water of course we all need water you human we all need water <laughs> they are brother look for water look him they are having some water <laughs> we all need water <laughs> we all need water and yes. mirza sahib and mirza sahib said mai mai khuda ke pani se hu that's a separate topic You want yeah. to discuss that? No it's problem. A, it's a separate topic. No Please problem. address this. Did Mirza yeah. say anyone who does not believe in me and my yeah. message has reached him? Let me explain, or, brother. Yes. Let me explain. Mirza Sahib, in Hakikatul Wahi, for example, these quotation might be from Hakikatul Wahi, but you said that's correct. So I don't know which is they from. But when he says Shinaat karne ke baad, in Hakikatul Wahi, he explained when he said Shinaat karne ke baad, that means somebody who had the Itmam me Hujja. and when we say itmam me hujja we say that his that person hard has understood the concept not i have under, uh, made you understood so you're not changing you your understood. statement earlier imtiaz asked you imtiaz bhai asked you someone who has done research and you said so yourself said someone who's done research and doesn't reject him okay you didn't give this clear answer did you you were you, you playing... didn't let me speak no oh you my were, god you were not talking to each other you okay i will i i can You, you give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. I can explain. Now let me speak. Let me speak. Let me yeah? speak. Okay, that's that's the that's the first one. Then you said, "Tazkira uh, page six hundred. Mary Dawat Ponchi hai." No, Mary Dawat Ponchi hai. Hazrat Mirza Sahib explained himself that what it means is person who has got the itmam e hujja, who has understood, who has who has understood whatever the message is. and okay. his heart is content okay okay that's we talk we do now wait, listen no no wait 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 let me respond mirza bashiruddin mahmud said agar kisi ne masih e maud ka naam bhi nahi suna aur unke upar iman na lae wo bhi kafir hai go on ji and and wait, 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 no, no no wait this yeah, respond to this one yeah of course he will respond and who is mirza bashiruddin mahmud muslih maud he is also appointed by allah he is also he was the promised reformer so he said even if you haven't heard of mirza and you die disbelieving in him you're a disbeliever you're a kafir yes oh, comment on, on this one whatsapp comment on this one Inshallah, no problem <clears throat> brother for god's sake when you are referring to jamaat e amtia books read don't don't just read from your books you you are quoted aina e sadaqat page 35 aina e sadaqat page 37 explains it hazrat mirza bashiruddin mahmud ahmed sahib says when i say if somebody hasn't heard the name of mirza sahib i am saying the same thing as is he is given the example eskimos he said they live in on the north pole they have not heard the word of islam <laughs> but we don't call them muslims even though they haven't heard the name of islam is the same dr yaya sahib dr yaya sahib what you doing Have you That's got the point book? By point. No, no, you, point you to should, point. Brother, you should so, apologize. So, so, you missed it. Brother, 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 point to point. Point to point. Did did Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud did he say that अगर किसी ने मसीह माउद का नाम भी नहीं सुना और उन पे ईमान नहीं लाया तो वो भी काफ़र है? Did he say this or not? English, please. English, please. English, English. English. Wait, wait. If even even if somebody Mirza Bashir Sahib said in Aina Sadaqat, I have reference as well. Don't worry, okay? He yeah. said. Bring the reference. Said, Bring the reference. Listen, listen, yes, listen. Listen. Bring the reference. Let brother. people. Yeah, people are listening. It already. Not stop. Don't be okay. excited. Let okay. Me, let me go on. I will share it to okay. you. I will share it to you. I will share it with Doctor you. Doctor Saib, Doctor Saib, listen. What hmm. I'm saying. Okay. We are asking you to respond. That Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud considers those people who have not even heard the name of Masih Maud as disbelievers. Is this the position of Bashir Sahib or not? Fine. Now, brother, you're going to give the answer. 
do you consider those people, those Eskimos who have never heard the name of Islam, do you consider them Muslims or non-Muslims? Okay, so wait, wait, wait. The question is, we asked you earlier that do you consider those people who do not believe in Mirza and consider, consider him a liar, are they disbelievers? You were trying to be very kind and gentle to humanity. Islamic Hujja and this and that. And of course. Was, That's wait, Islamic wait. concept. It came later on. Uh, he, was, he was saying, no, we consider them Muslim. They say, la ilaha illallah. They are Muslims. So clearly, either you are ignorant of these quotes from Mirza and his sons. I've given you pages number, you, brother. You 35, 37. Go and read it. Or, or you are a top grade Don't liar. worry. I'm going to read now. I will read now. Okay. Okay. Let me read. Bring your life, Let me read. Bring your life. Okay. Bring your life. Okay. Okay. Share it. Okay. Share it, brother. I challenge I, you. I want two yeah. options in people's minds. Either either oh Dr. Saab was unaware of these quotes or he's a top grade liar. Okay. Now over to you, Mtaz Bhai. Okay. So we have already given the uh, the reference from Aina Sadaqat, page 35. Birsa Bashiruddin Mahmood has said this clearly that those people who have not even heard the name of Masih Maud, they are disbeliever. Number one. Now. Now listen to very carefully. Kalimatul Fasl, page number 146. No, 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 who is the second? First, we gave the reference of Shiruddin Mahmood. Adnan Bai gave the reference of Mirza Sahib himself. And now, the second son of Mirza Sahib, the one who wrote Siratul Mahdi. Okay, now he says on page 146, 147. Now, listen very carefully. Now, if the Messiah is not a good thing, then سے الیک تو کوئی چیز نہیں ہے بلکہ وہی ہے اگر مسیح معود کا منکر کافر نہیں ہے تو آپ کو آپ کا منکر بھی کافر نہیں ہے ماذا اللہ کیونکہ کیونکہ کس طرح ممکن کس طرح ممکن ہے کہ پہلی بیست میں تو آپ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کا انکار کرنا کفر ہو مگر دوسری بیست میں جس میں بقول حضرت مسیح معود کے آپ کی روحانیت اقوا اکمل اور اشد ہے کفر نہ ہو now in English language, okay. Kalimatul Fasil, review of religion is the main magazine and it is no, uh, number three, okay. And Kalimatul Fasil is the book, page 146, 147. He said that it is very clear, it is very clear that if the disbelief in Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is kufr, then disbelief in Masih Maud has to be kufr as well. And he was very honest in this statement. And then he said, how come, because, we, because the, as we proved today, because the Ahmadi community, they, at least the Murabbis, they believe that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is the second coming of Nabi Muhammad Sallam. He said that how come, that if in the first coming of him, if you disbelieve in him, it was Kufr. And when he came second time, and you disbelieve in him, it's not Kufr. How come? So he made it crystal clear. And he compared two things. Dr. Saab listen very carefully. He compared the disbelief in Afsar Salam and disbelief with Mirza Saab. He compared these two things. Okay. Now you have no escape which you tried to make before. Now Adnan Bai gave you the reference of Mirza Sahib. Then I gave you the reference of Shirudin Mahmud Sahib. And now we gave you the reference of Kalimatul Now you misquoted it, brother. Okay. I read the okay, reference. Please go ahead. Go ahead. Read the reference. Okay, Go okay. ahead. Read. If I read, read the reference. He read said. You're going to have, you can have a, another two minutes on this, and I will have to let you go and get um, the next guest. Go one page above. One page above, brother. He said no, 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 no. You said I misquoted. You need to quote what I yes, quoted, and you, you need to tell people. No, no, sir. No, no, no. no. I won't let you play the game. No, 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 no. You did you said Mahat to me, Vassara, brother. Dr. Yes, Sahib, you said Islam. to me, Dr. Sahib, Mom, you, you said to me, I misquoted. Public is watching. Okay, okay, Dr. Okay, Sahib, 
Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Wait, wait, wait. Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Listen, Mama. Dr. Sahib, I quoted. I quoted clearly. Page 146, 147. You Read. said I misquoted. You need to tell people which part I misquoted or you apologize. Yeah, yeah, and I will. I will. And, and hopefully you will apologize then. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Okay. He says, Har ek shaks, jo maud ko nahi manta, I, did, aap... I did not read this. Read what I and read. This, we can't do la, la, la takrabu salah. We have to. I'm just reading few lines before, brother. Okay. Okay, wait. wait. I'm sorry. Um, this will stop because I think Doctor Saab doesn't understand what a misquote is. He's giving the example of La Takarabu Salaam Antum Sukara. Okay, he is claiming that we are hiding the part of Antum Sukara, which is immediately after La Takarabu Salaam. What Imtiaz by read is basically from page 146. And on 45, from like 47, can you go and read that part and show us where Imtiaz Bhai actually misrepresented uh, Mirza uh, uh, Muhammad Bashir uh, MA? Okay. I mean, he, no. he doesn't need to say, I mean, what he meant by misquote is you partially read the quote. That is exactly. what I think Dr. Saab meant. Yes. So yes. please yes. use your words carefully. Misquotation is not what it means okay. in what you, you just said. The quote. That's fine. No that, problem. That's what you, no yeah, problem. that's what you meant. Do you agree you partially met at the court or do you No. No. Let me let me okay let me first, okay? You Listen, need to it has by one second, one second. You know what's happening right now? Dr. Saab is stuck in a quagmire right now because we presented statements from Mirza, then his son Bashiruddin Mahmood, who categorically said, even if you haven't heard of Mirza Saab, you're a kafir, and yeah. then you a statement from Bashir Muhammad or Muhammad Bashir, Mirza Muhammad Bashir MA. Okay, he is now severely stuck in a quagmire because he tried to present a very uh what do you what, what's that slogan of the, the Qadianis? Hate for none, love for all. Yes, hate for none. You now completely dismantle that statement by using the Prophet statement, the statement of the first second caliph, uh Muslim Maud, the promised reformer, according to Qadianis, and then the one who authored Siratul Mahdi. Now Dr. Saab is stuck in a big quagmire and uh, he clearly stands exposed. So he's going to long, he's going to prolong the discussion. Dr. Saab, uh, to save our time, uh, okay, we have presented three or four statements from the most senior people in your Jamaat. Mirza himself, the prophet, so-called, is second caliph who was the promised reformer from Allah, also God appointed, and uh, Mirza's son, Muhammad Bashir. Okay. Now, all the three of them are saying, anyone who doesn't believe in Mirza is, a, is not a Muslim, is a kafir, is a disbeliever. Are you going to play more games or are you going to accept this? And you already justified it. You said, you said anyone who hasn't uh, basically having researched after Itmam Hujja, if you dis re reject uh, Mirza Saab, then you are a disbeliever. You already acknowledge it, right? Can I speak? You can speak, but can I can I get confirmation from yeah. you? You already acknowledge that anyone who having studied Mirza, having understood him after Itmam Hujja, he rejects him, he's a disbeliever, correct? Yeah. And Itmam Hujja means that his heart is content, that he has got the message. And okay. still, he's arrogant and he rejects him. And he's, 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 a, he's a disbeliever, he's a kafir. Yeah. Yes? Okay. Earlier, yeah. earlier you said, earlier you said, anyone who says kalima, we consider him to be a Muslim. Earlier yes. you said. Yes. And I also said, there is a term, kufr dunan kufr. So one person from okay. one extent can be a Muslim. Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Dr. Sahib. Don't misuse the terms. Do you know the meaning of kufr dunal kufr? Do you Tell know me. what it means? Do you Alhamdulillah. Know yes. Alhamdulillah. You, what you, what you use the, no, no, what no, no. You mean? use the term. I'm telling you. I said, Dr. explain it straight away. I said kufr dunal kufr mean one person can be a Muslim from one, one, uh, from at one angle and can be a kafir from another okay. angle. You are okay. wrong. That, that, you are wait, wait, wrong. Wait, wait, Your mom said wrong. 
digression imtiaz bhai digression so, again this is a span in the works this is a deliberate claim without references you can make any claim okay you made the claim without reference you quoting people without reference you are just saying bhai imtiaz bhai it's a deliberate what even taimiya okay um um can i just come in here if you don't mind sorry 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 this is not going any anywhere this is not going anywhere we are all talking at the same time I wanted to let uh, Dr. Saab go, um, but you keep, you know, yeah, taking him last, on more. Last one last thing. No, no. This we is what, one last thing. This, this is going to be a. I mean, I, I said two no, minutes ago, no, long time. One, one, request, one last request. Sure, by we're reaching yeah. the conclusion. We're reaching the conclusion of this conversation. One so, Dr. Saab, Dr. Saab, you said kufar duna kufar. Okay, wait. So, anyone, yeah. anyone who is upon kufar duna kufar, can he, can they be jahannami? Who is jahannami? Yeah, I'm giving you answer. Who, am, who is me to say? It's between You're, God and you. Mirza, Mirza said, Mirza okay. said, anyone, anyone who does not believe in me is not a Muslim and is a Jahannami. Do you stand by Mirza? Give me, okay. Same people, they have given me the explanations. You are just taking one quotation Saab, and, and then twisting Dr. it Saab, as usual. You, okay, now Dr. Saab, you can see. You Dr. Clearly, Saab, very I, disappointing. Very disappointing. Yeah, Dr. Saab, no, very disappointing. I'm very disappointing, brother, because you have look. You gave me one quotation. I'm just about to answer it. Now you, you can let him go. Then you went to another one. Then you went to another. That's not fair. Now you can go. Okay, Dr. Saab, Saab, thank you so much. Okay, Jazakallah, Jazakallah. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you. Take care. So I want to say something very quickly. This is the reality of these. uh kadiani missionaries okay we are we are not wasting our time here a lot of people think we we are wasting our time with them we're not wasting our time here we want everyone to see this everyone can see this that these guys have no problem with lying through their teeth dr yahya is a well educated kadiani into his own sources he knows exactly what we were quoting he himself acknowledged the quotes remember in tazway he acknowledged the quotes he knows these quotes he knows these quotes exist and still has the audacity yeah exactly he still has I, the, the whole book the whole book is to be kalimatul fasl he was lying yes. okay fine we, we've all seen it um, i'm i don't want to prolong this discussion i'm going to bring the next um, speakers and and guess who is who it is Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu alhamdulillah just had my debate with your brother Yemeni he was finished by the Quran and Sunnah so hi, I, hi. I expect brother Imtiaz and Hashim to upload it on Dawah Wise because you promoted it Muhammad Imtiaz will you post the debate on Rezi, Dawah Wise come on the topic come will you the topic. post the debate on Dawah Wise you okay. have to because you I, I'll promoted the, him I'll answer Adnan, the question but you're in Medina right now Uh, I'll answer the question. Are you in Medina? Yes, Alhamdulillah. Right, right next to the to the road of Rasulullah. Okay. Mashallah, Mashallah. Okay. May Allah bless you and accept your prayers and guide you to the truth. I mean, I mean, and I I believe what we're trying to do right now is is Inshallah, may Allah accept from us one of the inshallah. best uh, ways to 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 love and honor the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, now, uh, Razi, uh, you you just smashed uh, our brother according to you. Uh, in yeah. a debate okay we will see inshallah no problem inshallah. and you upload it to your channel yeah. right yeah. okay wait now Will you or no happened, what happened to you razi when razi. the last razi. Street, calm down <laughs> I invited you and your brothers to come and answer our direct straight questions yeah. on christian wait listen finish me let me finish christian hadith okay on references to the hadith of uh, leaving a plague infested town when mirza made up a hadith to support the government policy then uh, when i mentioned uh, other uh, uh, ibn kathir reference where mirza said kai sache kai sache bi murtad ho gaye ibn kathir 
Mirza sahab quoted Ibn Kathir. Okay, you're going and, off and, topic. Wait, Do I wait, get no, minutes to no, answer? Wait, 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 wait. You just came in and you just started okay. talking about the You debate. first went on to, off topic. You exactly. announced it last time, brother oh, uh, Mohammed okay. Imtiaz. You were what? raising slogans, Yemeni, what? Yemeni. Why Where is you? Yemeni now? Razi, 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 I love Razi. Yemeni. He's my brother. All of you, all of you and your fraternity boycotted that particular stream where you, you knew you're going to be buried alive Okay. by these lying quotes of Mirza and every single one of you just with tail between your legs you disappeared now that you now? now that you're here now that you're here we're gonna grab you we're gonna yes grab you. yes now, and okay. you'll give me time can you, so let me answer you, now don't okay. run now adnan direct no, 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 answer topic are we dis discussing just to clarify four questions okay. brother imtiaz you're okay. usually fair today you have to be fair as well okay. no no Razi Allah. Four questions Razi let Allah. me answer them now Razi Allah. Direct answers to my question. Yes, I'll answer them. I'll Direct. Answer them. Don't worry. Direct. But Direct. before we answer, Direct. before we answer, Direct. I should get one minute to play someone you can't refute. And okay. you know who that is? You, Look, you know who it is? It's Direct Adnan question. Rashid. Direct question. Direct question and direct okay. answer. Let's before I take my two minutes, okay. I want you to just did listen Mirza, to yourself. Did Mirza, no. I'm, I'm not going to go before I start. You're going to start, both of you, all, all of you. When you want to minutes. start, you start. There's no before anyone this now. Okay, I'll go all right now midnight minutes. Okay. So I'll go your two minutes. I'll go my timing, two minute timing as well. Yes. Yep, stop. Okay. Yes. And, go ahead. One second, one second. When I start. Answer, if he does not answer my question directly, if he does not answer Don't my question. Don't cut me off. I can answer how I like. Okay, okay. so my two minutes, Mitsubishi, no, when okay. the audio starts, then my two minutes start. Okay. My Please question. let me answer your four questions. Don't cut yeah. me off, brother. Okay. Razi, my okay. question. My question. My question to you is Did Mirza, first of all, acknowledge the point? Did Mirza say these words that the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Salallahu. When there's a plague in a place, you leave the town immediately. If you don't, you will be fighting Allah. I'll answer everything. Give but, me but, my but, two minutes. But, Step by step, step by step. Did Mirza make the statement? Yes or Let, no? I'll answer in my two minutes, oh, brother. Oh, Why oh, are you worried? Okay, Why are you Razi, worried? I want to go step by step to save time. Did no, Mirza... no, so I'll answer how I like, okay? Razi, yeah, wait. Did Mirza make the statement? Can I answer all four in order? Yes or no? Just yes or no, and then we can move on. Okay. Did Mirza Hazrat, make the statement? Listen, Hazrat Ahmed al Islam. Did Mirza... They no. won't work like this. You no. can't play these games with me. I've written, alhamdulillah, an article on this with all the references from the hadith. I answered the Krishna. I'll send you it. I'll send you Yes, send me your email. I answered the Krishna hadith. Do I get my two minutes, Brother Mansoor? I thought I'm going to get two minutes. You're not going to get two minutes until I get a very basic foundation established. Hazrat Ahmed al said, Mujhe maloom hai. Listen. My question. But even Medina can't save your ah, akhlaq. Razi, did Mirza make the Razi, statement that the down. Prophet Muhammad said that when there is a pl plague in a town, in a place, okay, you leave immediately or you're fighting Allah. And he said this, attributing it to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Did Mirza make the statement? Yes or no? Are you going to give me my two minutes to answer? Yes. Or are you going to cut me Yes off? or no, and then we can move on. You can explain. Yes or no. Did Mirza make this statement? What Hazrat Ahmed al said is in the Quran and a hadith. Yes. Okay. okay. No, yes. no, no, no. Yes, You're it not is answer. there. I have the references, Razi, brother. Razi, you just beat one of our brothers in a debate. You should be very charged and completely confident. <laughs> That's and why Imtiaz has to tell me to calm down answer, because I am charged. You just you just smashed one of our brothers in a debate. No, that's what you claimed. So now yes. tell me. So you Razi, have to put that debate Razi, on your channel now. Don't run. You better put that up Razi, now. He's your brother in faith, right? Allah, Razi, Razi, give me two minutes. You let, let's that see what channel. he says. Don't Imtiaz, don't intervene. Mansur Bhai, just leave it to me for one second. Uh, Razi, did Mirza make this statement? Am I misquoting him? Did he make this statement or not? Yes Has or no? Ahmed al what he said is proven from the Quran, uh, Hadith, and uh, Sahaba, and he did say this. Question. He said this. No, he's not he did, I said not he said it, Mansoor. I'm saying Razi, Razi, he said it. That I know that the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has confirmed that if the town comes. So you should go to go to the jungle. Why are you nodding your head? 
There's no diff there's no there is no there is no mention of jungle. You say wallahi, say wallahi, say wallahi. Say wallahi, it's okay. not on I'm the I'm gonna page. bring now. I'm gonna okay. bring now. Wait, I have wait, it wait. too. I have it too. I have it open. Just I will quote mentioned. it for Yeah, okay. read so, the whole the whole page. I have the al no, 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 no. right here. What said, I'm gonna read that one. It says okay. jungle in the same paragraph. Wait. I have it right okay. here. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. You just, I mean, what I have read. So done by, he has said yes. It's on okay. the same page. On the yes, same please. page, it says so, going so, to the jungles. Okay. Okay. Yes. Let's let's add jungles as well. Let's add yeah. Amazon jungle in it. No problem. Let's add Amazon. You're jungle. mocking Sahaba now because they said these words. I'm not. Do you need let's to fear add, Allah, brother. If you give me my two minutes, then you speak, please. Wait, wait. So you have. I did not say anything. How so let me get my two minutes with other brothers. You gave them two wait. minutes. I should deserve some dumb treatment. I just had a three-hour debate where your brother, you know, couldn't we, answer anything, and now you guys. We can make it very educational and pleasant if you cooperate. Can, can okay. we please now, listen to this, okay. brother? Can wait. we listen to this, brother? Please. It's relevant to my. It's question. really relevant. It answers like, everything. Can I quote? Can I quote? Yes, can I quote? Quote, please. Okay, so the. Quotation is, is like this, okay? It says that Prophet upon whom the peace and blessings of God also directed that when the plague made its appearance in any town, the people living at the infected place should immediately evacuate it and that otherwise they would be fighting with God. Okay, stop there. So what? What's stop. the reference? Can stop. you open it on the screen and stop. read it all? Stop! Stop there! Stop there! I have wait. the same reference open. Wait. It's the August I'm one. Quoting, right? I, I'm quoting the scan. Okay. Okay. No, no, put the whole page. I have okay. the same reference open. I'll open my screen. One sec. Let me share okay. screen. Okay. So you're acknowledging. You're you're acknowledging. You're confirming. On what, the steam what? page, it says jungles. Uh, uh, brother Imtiaz, what line is it? Can you tell me the line? Okay, so I have the Urdu as well. Yeah, so no, no, I am quoting. I'm so quoting from the English the one. Okay. Religions. Yes, which line is it? I have the English right here. You I tell, tell you. Me? Give me one second. Okay. Give me one second. Page, page, what? Page number is what? No, tell me the uh, like. So, so, so here, here, what, what this shows is Razi is very well aware of this quote, and of he of course we believe in it like the Sahaba. He's dying, he's dying, and not acknowledging it. He's just, he's simply um, trying to, trying to not acknowledge it. When this, Stuart this, said, this, I acknowledge it. Say, have the, have the guts, have the courage to say I yes. I said that Stuart. already. When yes, Stuart said, I acknowledged it. You're saying I didn't. Who's lying now? No, but I asked you five. When Stuart five, already said, I acknowledge it, brother. I didn't deny this quote. I love this quote. It's what I, I, Sahaba taught. It's what Quran says. I, 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 it's what the Quran says. You five times and you were not giving me a, a straight answer. You were not saying, yes, he said it. I was asking a very simple question. Did Mirza say this? And you were saying, my time, my two minutes. Can I answer? Can I answer? He, he said he didn't say anything against Quran and Sunnah. So why not just say yes? He said it, and then we the can move on. The same page says okay. "Junglo me jai going to sheds." He didn't say leave your country. Majmoi ish the harat. He quotes the hadith, brother. I look, said, look I right here. Majmoi ish the harat. Hazrat Ahmed Sam says it's forbidden to leave the country as other people will get the plague, and it's mamnu in Sharia to leave the country. He only says That's not going the to open okay. areas. Brother, you're listen. Lying. I let you speak. You're let me lying. speak. Let me speak, like, brother. Like, let me speak. Why not. do you have to cut me off, oh, Adnan? Oh. You lied against the Quran in your introduction. No. I'm not bringing okay. that up. Let okay. me answer. You, you won't gonna, let me answer because you know you're lying. Okay. In can, Medina, brother? Can, can we not stop, in Medina? Can we not talk stop, Can we not talk over each okay, other? So let's do timing then. And okay. you don't cut me off when I speak. No, 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 no. Okay, I then am, let Adnan speak. Let Adnan speak. Razi, I'm not addressing <laughs> this. Quote. I'm not addressing this specific quote. Okay, wait, what do you think? Why do you think? I, okay, let's do a thing we're going to have to. We're going to have to. Uh, that's what we wanted to be. Within 14 months, he was able to do all this. Again. He was a very deep. He was. What is, is it my. One of my. You know,
How is this relevant to our discussion? How is this relevant? Listen, just Allah listen. How is relevant? Here you say, here you say that Shah Valiullah Muhaddis was that uh, he was getting in spirit. Listen, brother, don't cut yourself up. Don't refute yourself. Irrelevant. irrelevant. I didn't How say what you said. You said, you said, listen, listen, brother. I, you said anyone I, who authenticates a hadith is in hellfire from okay. vision and is a liar. Here you said he gets brother, revelation I, from I, Allah. Like Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, is like, Shah Valula in the Jahannam? Don't is Shah Valula in Jahannam? Okay. I'm Imtiaz? gonna start timing each one. Okay, yes, so who wants to go first? I'll go first. I'll go There's first. One. Mansoor, mute him for a second. Mute him for a second. Okay. I am not going to discuss any Shah Valullah. I'm not going to discuss any Ibn Taymiyyah. Rahmatullahi alayhi ma. May Allah have uh, blessings on them. I'm not going to discuss them. I'm going to stick to my point. I have a question and Razi is dying. Obviously, why? We know why. He's not going to acknowledge and he's not going to indulge. He's going to try to throw spanners. He's going to flip and flop. He's going to waffle. He's going to run around the country, but not going to get to the point. My point is, did Mirza make that statement that when there is a plague in a town, people infected, people must leave immediately or they are fighting Allah. And he said, the Prophet Muhammad said this. Is this true? Pray, pray 349. Yes. Pray. Pray. Okay. yes, that's the one I had. That's the one I had open. Okay. Mansoor, so, <coughs> Mansoor, can you get that answer from him? Is my screen still sharing? No, we don't need to share it. Don't worry about it. We do okay. need to share because okay. you're watching so, your food. No, 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 Razi, no. I'm going to start timing you now. Your time starts now. Go ahead. Who's, okay, so who's it, but Adnan Rashid won't cut me off, right, Mansoor? No, 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 Mansoor, no, Mansoor, can you go back? Can you can you cut the st screen out? Can you cut this cut the screen out? Why? He wants to show something oh, from it, maybe. Oh, no, no, no. Yaz said. I'm 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 leading the discussion in a particular way for a reason. Cut the screen out, please. Okay, I'm gonna ask Razi. Did Mirza make the statement? Yes or no? Yes, of course he did. Brilliant, and he said the Prophet Muhammad said this. Yes. That the plague in a place in a town, and it's infected. Leave the town immediately, or you are fighting Allah. So, yeah. the, so Mirza quoted the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. So, so anyone who denies, yes, what, yes, 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 brother, of course. Yes. Okay. Now show me this hadith. Any in any collection in the whole world, whether it's Sahih, Daif, or Maudu, fabricated. Show yeah. me this hadith in any collection in the world. Don't take me left, don't take me right, don't take me to Rawalpindi or Multan. Don't worry, brother. Okay. I'll keep okay. you in okay. Medina, inshallah. Okay, okay, okay. Inshallah, I love Medina. I'm here already. So May Allah worry. guide you while okay. you're in Medina, inshallah. I, and, and, and Alhamdulillah, I thank Allah for this opportunity. Now, Alhamdulillah. Can you show me that hadith in any collection? Yes. 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 So now if you allow me to answer. Uh, okay. Okay. Wait. Don't cut me off. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Wait. Before we go. First, either you save our time and acknowledge that this hadith doesn't exist in any collection and then explain or show us the hadith. Which one is it? Okay. So do you know what isharat to nas is or no? No, no, no. I don't know anything. I'm jail. So okay. I'm asking the question. Either you acknowledge that this hadith does not exist in any No, of no, the... it does exist. So if you allow me to answer now. Okay. So okay. okay. If you're saying it does exist, yeah. please quote the reference. Okay. Will you give it... me my full two minutes to answer? Or are you going to cut no. me off? So then I can't me... answer. I'm sorry. I can't answer then. Okay. So you cannot answer. We're going to yeah. go to the next point then. No problem. Okay. I understand. So I, cannot, I... I can't answer anything if you cut me off. I can't even no. answer... No. Any of your questions then? Clearly, we're assuming, Razi. You're in we're... Medina, brother. Like, you should Razi, allow us Razi, to speak. Razi, 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 let's be fair. Let's be fair, Razi, with both sides. When you're acknowledging that Mirza Sahib has said this thing, attributing to Allah Now, the, the, the next point is, you need to share the screen and put the hadith on the screen. Give me two minutes to do explain everything so you understand. No, you okay. can explain, but first you, you need to put the hadith, then you explain. It, it was on the same screen, okay. brother. But if you cut me off every two seconds, I can't get anything out. Okay. That's the problem. Wait. When no, Adnan wait. wasn't here and you gave us time, the world saw what you did, brother Muhammad, with no, what, all due respect. 
right? With all due accept. respect to you, Razi, I am respectful to you as well, but you can I see my well. point. If, if I am as well. Razi, 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 if I say, Razi, 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 if I say, if I say that one hadith exists, the first point is I need to quote show the hadith and then I can explain that no problem. Okay, so Shah Valula said oh, this said there's a hadith you have to show me right now. I'm putting it on the screen. Okay, one okay. second. Because I know I know the games of these uh, Qadiani missionaries, so I let me handle it step by step so that everyone's clear what they're doing. So Mirza said this hadith attributing to the Prophet Sallallahu The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi said in Sahih al-Bukhari, uh, okay, um, and in many other uh, versions of this hadith, Man kadaba alayya muta'ammidan fal yatabawwa maka'adahu minan nar. Oh, kama qala alayhi salatu salam, this hadith is mutawatir. It is one of the mutawatir hadith which cannot be disputed under any circumstances. The Prophet said, anyone who lies upon me deliberately, let him take his seat in hellfire. So either Mirza <coughs> quoted the Prophet here, and you have acknowledged that Mirza said these things. Mirza definitely attributed this hadith to the Prophet. Can okay. you put my screen on the uh, share okay. my screen? Wait, wait, before we do that, either Mirza deliberately lied on the Prophet. Wasallam, never. Okay, never. So in that case, the hadith does exist. Yes, yes. You're gonna show us those yes. words. I will show those as well. Before that, read this no, hadith. As well. No, 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 not as well. We want why to because words. you said Shah Valula is a liar. You have to repent Shah for Valula that. Shah Valula is not a prophet. We don't need him in Islam. If we lose Shah Valula, we, we, there is no loss to Islam. There is no loss to Islam. If we lose all the writings of Shah Valula, Islam still remains intact. Now, that this doesn't mean that I'm disrespecting No, no, Shah but you said anyone who says a hadith is said and it's not there, he's a I liar. Done, you said that or no? I Did don't you say that, these words or no? Did you say these words? Shah Valiullah is not relevant to our point. No, but Shah you said anyone who authenticates Hadith prophet. with revelation is a liar. Did you say this or no? I can pull out the video. Brother your... Muhammad Imtiaz, is Shah Valiullah Muhaddis Delvi a liar or no? No, no we're talking about Shah Valiullah. We're going to talk about the Hadith. What's going on? I called him a liar. Brother Mansour. No, I would like you to yeah. answer. Let me answer why part. I'm bringing Shah so, Valiullah. No, no, no okay? we're not interested in that, Razi, if you don't mind. He's in the hellfire, though. If we, we're not interested in Shahi Wali Wallah like or any other, any other person. We're so not he's, he, he's not on trial. Look, look, Qadianism is on trial. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is on trial. So you, need to now, trial. so you need to now show the hadith they're requesting. I mean, do you have the hadith or not? Yes, of course I do. I've had it on the screen for so long, but of course you guys are just going to cut me off every second. No, no, the just, reason... just the hadith. bring the hadith, hadith and I'll, 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 I'll display it. Brother Mansoor, the reason I mentioned, we're not, we're not the reason, of, listen, not, listen, the reason, is, why no, listen, the of, reason, it, Brother it, Adnan, yeah. Medina should have you patient, I don't know what you're doing there if you're not even letting others speak, what's the point, you know, you, just list, you, let others speak as you, well, you, what you, I'm you, saying is, brother, have patience, what I'm saying is, Brother Mansoor, just for your background info, there is a terminology and a usul in hadith that some, even Adnan Rashid's uh, blessed son Musa, may Allah bless him and guide him, he said Ibn Hajr al Haytami is one of the greatest. Let me finish, not, brother. Let me finish. So, no, brother Mansur has no, some context. No, I have the no, hadith no, here no, too. No, no, no. And Shah going. Valula Seb as well, they authenticated no, no. a hadith via I'm visions. Adnan Rashid said they're all liars. Okay. So, he has to repent brother, for that. Okay. Now again, ask him to give the hadith or... Okay, so, let... so basically, okay. Razi, you're saying there is no the hadith. I don't want the jalebi. You know jalebi? Have uh, you had I don't jalebi? need jalebis. I don't uh, like... Adnan, Adnan Bhai and Razi, just, just to, with a, to understand what's going on here. You are saying, Razi, from what I understand now, because you are bringing other people through authenticating the hadith via kashf. That's what we're trying to do. We are asking, do you have the hadith? Yes, if you don't I have do. the hadith, you do. I do, of course I do. I've okay. been saying that for so long. Okay, so but, can you can you before I put the hadith up, can you quote the sanad all the way yes, back to the Prophet? I'll, I'll quote it, yes. Yeah, but go you ahead. have to give me two minutes to explain it. No, no, and we then, want then the I hadith. Can't answer. No, then I will answer. Well, I will you've answer been here for quite some minutes. time already. You will have your two minutes. Two minutes without cutting off. Start with the hadith, 
the Sanat first, all the way back to the Prophet. Give me my full two minutes. You have five minutes. So you will, you will you have your cut me off. You will have your two minutes, of course. Start You'll have your two minutes. But and let's hear the hadith with the Sanat. And Adnan Rashid won't cut me off. The name of the collection, the Sanad, start with those words. We will not stop you for five minutes. Wallahi, I give you my word. Start with the name of the collection where that particular hadith is found. And hadith. Wallahi, where you Mirza, won't where, stop wait, me. Wait, yeah. wait, Mirza said, where Mirza said that when a plague hits a town, okay, it's infected, leave immediately or you're fighting Allah. Yeah, yeah. What we know from the Prophet, he said, Absolutely okay. the opposite. The Prophet said absolutely the opposite. Hazrat Dehan said the wait, same as you Wait, 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 wait. The Prophet said when a town is infected with plague, do not leave the town. That's and what we see as well. Wait, wait, shh, shh, shh. And if you're outside, do not come inside. Mirza exactly. quoted Mirza quoted this hadith word. and I've, I've, This hadith Mirza attributed to the Prophet, which is exactly the opposite. Of it's what not. Uh, it's okay, not. Wait, wait, we'll explain now. So, and, okay, now it's my okay. turn to answer. Listen, no, Adnan. No. Do if, you have the hadith? Yes, uh, I have it Razi, in front of no. me, brother. No, Let me see. Razi, brother Razi. Muhammad, this is unfair. Uh, shall we give him the time to... Okay, okay. No, your time no, starts. No, 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 no. Let me handle this. Wait, I will start you don't with want the hadith. Me, I will start with the I, hadith. I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what you I'm doing. You don't know what okay. you're doing. You're making okay. everyone look bad. Brother Muhammad no, Imtiaz, I thought I, you love me. Let, what let, kind let, of love is this? I, 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 Even Razi, the enemy Razi, keep me better than Razi, this, brother. Razi, make, make our life easy. Make our life easy. Quote the name of the book yes. and read the sanad. Exactly. Okay. okay. Exactly. So, okay. So now listen, okay? Firstly, I'm going to quote the Sanad in my first minute. So please don't interrupt me, okay? In oh, my yes, first minute. Yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. Can yes. you repeat the, repeat yes, the word? Yes, in my first minute, I'll mention it, okay? okay if I don't, then cut me off in my first minute. Okay, Brother, with, please have some patience. I will, I will. Okay, so with, in my I first... I don't want to waste my time. Brother, you wasted four hours already by mocking the no, mind, throwing no, them in the hell. I mean, six in hours, Medina, I, I six hours. you did the fear of all the Sufia. If you do the fear of Sahaba now, it's not going to be a waste okay. of time. You're already okay. dismissed. Okay. In the, uh, you you can know, okay. Pull out the statement. Can I where, start? Where, where, you can pull out the statement. No, I have Musnad Ahmed plain, open, brother. Plain liar. You just said I made the fear of all the Sufis. You did. You said Europe they're liars. You said they're liars the who lie against I made, Allah. I, made, I have I the, the video, fear. brother. You called I, Shah Valula liar. I'm referring to that. I, you I called call Shah Valula liar. liar. Yes. Should I show Masur, you? Masur Should I show you? Back? I debate you on this. Challenge on debate uh, on this. Mansoor that you called Shah Valula a liar. Mansoor. Now you said he's a liar. I have the video. Now, now this guy claimed. I called Shawalullah a liar. Why are we going yeah. into a topic? We are not video. discussing this. I have the we should be, we should be quoting the hadith the with the sanad. He doesn't I have, have it. I have the sanad right he here next it. to me. So okay. can you I quote it then, please? Go yes, ahead. Quote yes, so quote. I will quote it in my first minute. Don't cut me off, okay? Can I start? Go ahead. Yeah. So... This issue of Bukhari saying do not leave the country, Hazrat Ahmed Lassam says the same thing in Majmu Ishtiharat. As for this statement, that if the town comes, go out into the jungles, this was ikhtilaf bain as sahaba. Adnan Rashid said because Hazrat Ahmed Lassam said this, he went against the Sullah. Here I have Musnad Ahmed. You just did the fear of Hazrat Amr bin al As, radiallahu anhu. So in Medina, you're doing takfir of Sahaba. Musnad Ahmad, Hadith 18682. Should I share a screen, Mansoor? No, read it. Read okay. It. So it says, Lama waka taun bisham khataba Amar ibn al-As. You did takfir of one of the greatest Sahabis. He says, Okay, wait. Inna... How did you take takfir of him? How? You did because you said Hazrat Ahmed Lassam lied and against Sahaba. We don't have a conversation. Let him speak. He's cutting me off, brother Man. So I didn't cut him off. Adnan it, Rashid claimed Hazrat Ahmed Lassam lied against Rasulullah, and it, I have Amr bin Al As saying the same thing. So Adnan Rashid did the fear of Amr bin Al As radiallahu anhu and says he contradicted the Bukhari call of Rasulullah. Amr okay. bin, bin Al As radiallahu anhu says, Inna hadha town ridsun. The town is a ritz. Then he says, 
فَتَفَرَّقُوا عَنْهُ فِي هَذِهِ الشَّعَابِ وَفِي هَذِهِ الْأَوْدِيَ That go into the jungles and the valleys. You said anyone who says this is going against the Bukhari Hadith, meaning they're kafir. You just declared a Sahabi kafir. We say there's ikhtilaf bain al-ulama, but the call of Amr, Amr, uh, Hazrat Amr bin al-As is actually mawkuf to the knowledge Nabi Sassam gave the Sahaba because Hazrat Ahmed Sassam himself says, Mujhe maloom hai. He's the mulhim and he chose Hazrat Amr bin al-As. What he said is in line with Bukhari where when the Sahaba came to the area of Thamud, Nabi Sassim said, don't go there. I fear you will be punished. I'm paraphrasing the Hadith. Then Quran says, La tulku bi aidikum ila tahluka. So your time is up, Razi. All of Musnad Ahmed is there and it's supported by the Sahaba. And we believe it's from Nabi Sassim. You did the fear of Amr bin al As. You have to repent, brother. Razi, Razi, your time is up, Razi. Medina won't save you, brother. Razi, your time is up. So before you go, Adnan Bai, just one second. So just, you know, what I heard, I did not hear a Hadith all the way going back to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said so. Okay. So you lied, Razi, in the very beginning. You lied, because when Sahabi stop, says stop, stop. Mawkuf statement, I am talking, Razi. I am talking. Don't talk over me. I didn't talk over you. Right. So you so said... Don't interfere. You Let said, Adnan answer then. You Why said, are you interfering? No, no. What I'm, what I'm understood, because remember, I allowed you to speak. The hadith. You were both going nowhere because of the way you were dealing with it. So you said you have the hadith. The hadith, what we were asking is where Prophet said this exactly. Sanadan, matnan, yes, right? I have the sanad. Wait, wait, wait. You don't know usule hadith when Sahaba don't teach me, me Razi, ahead, what, what you don't know. Nabi Sassim, you have no knowledge okay, of usule I am going hadith. to Let's have work. to mute you. You have manually. no knowledge of usule hadith. Zero knowledge. If you keep on doing this, I'm going to mute you directly because you. I'll you, mute myself really, for you. I'll mute. Yeah, that's good because you've been really charged. I don't know what Yemeni has done to you, but seriously, you are aggravated because of what Yemeni has done. I can clearly see that. Then put oh. it on Dawahwai's channel. You have um, to upload the debate today. Hey, don't worry. Channel. Don't worry. I've seen how he how he blasted you. Okay, don't worry about. You're going to put it on Dawahwai's channel. And in fact, in fact, we can talk about this because no, you have your to put God, it on your, your God, just, just like, you can put it on your channel. So, now. so hang on. Be quiet, so, be quiet. Put it on your channel. You said you have the hadith. No, will you put the, the debate hadith. on your channel or no? You said you um, will, right? Razi, mute yourself. Will you put the debate on your channel? He you blasted Mute yourself, me. Razi. Mute, mute, mute. Okay. Loved. I had to mute you. Subhanallah. Okay. So when Adnan asked you, do you have the hadith? The hadith where, what is what Mirza quoted? That this is a hadith going back to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. With this nad, you brought up someone who is talking about his position in Musnad Ahmed. We didn't ask you to bring a Sahabi's qawl or an athar. We asked you to bring a statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa because that is what Mirza is saying, that this is what Prophet said. Instead of doing that, you brought an athar of something which is not the statement of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa If you said from the very beginning, look, I don't have the hadith, Mirza Sahib doesn't have the hadith, but he has some author of Sahaba or Qawl of Sahaba, that's something different. So why did you why did you make a statement which is untrue and you made a statement saying you have it? Stop lying and waffling, Razi. I mean, you had enough of this for the whole four or five hours. Can I answer now? now? Can no, I you're like, not no, no, it's not your chance to answer. Adnan is going to speak. What I understood, I thought you are a truthful person. I am, but alhamdulillah. I am, and so um, was Hazrat Amr bin Allah's. Uh, um, so what I'm clearly seeing that when we asked you directly, is there a hadith? You didn't bring a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa Okay, Adnan Bai, over to you. This is my impression. Of Ahli Ahli Ahli. Speak now. Go ahead, Adnan Bai. Mute okay. him. So mute he him. gets two minutes than me? No, mute, mute him. Mute him, please. Uh, I didn't interrupt him when he was speaking. Yeah, he can mute himself. Okay. Okay, now. You see, this is the reason why I was conducting the discussion the way I was, because uh, you guys start having mercy and you go soft on these guys and you want them to waffle and waffle and waffle and give irrelevant information. They will not address the question directly. My question was very direct. Mirza specifically attributed those words to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. 
okay not to amr bin as not to anas bin malik not to fulan ibn fulan he specifically attributed those very specific words to the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is why in the very beginning when i was asking him did mirza say these words he was waffling he was not giving answer to my question you know why because he knows where is, where this is going this is why these qadiani missionaries are a bunch of liars and dajjals you know why okay and i have no i have no these people have no shame they will lie through these teeth to save a false dajjal prophet that's why they did not turn up to that stream where we were going to dis- discuss these questions they systematically all of them blocked the stream on that particular week you know why because they knew these questions are coming and they say have no- wallahi say okay. wallahi say okay. it make a so, oath make so, a oath right okay. now okay. So now make I'm gonna, the oath in Medina. I challenge you. See, we gonna, boycotted this stream because we couldn't answer. You said these words okay. in Medina. Make the oath. I dare so you. Let's see if, let's make see if you the oath. Let's make see if the you oath. Answer. No, first you have to make the oath. Let, let's see. You made a statement in Medina. Not, not, say, Wallahi, we boycotted not, this stream because not, of this reason. Brother, okay. you lie in Medina? Okay. Then imagine in UK what you do. Make we, the oath. We, we boycotted okay. this stream and because then, we couldn't answer. Then make the oath. Answer my questions. Let's First, see. make the okay. oath, and I will. First, make okay. the oath. Okay, now are you making excuses now to run no, away? Make the oath. Make you the want oath. to run away? No problem. Make most. the oath. Make the oath. I'm not letting you move from this okay. because you're lying. You're lying. I didn't do Mid- mubahala. I don't know why Mid- some Mid- jahil in the comments is saying I asked for mubahala. I just asked you to make the oath that we boycotted the stream because we were scared okay. of you. My my question is now, the Mirza lied on the Prophet Sallallahu No, he didn't. You lied in Medina right now that we boycotted your stream. Why did okay. you lie? Okay. You What's did the boycott- point of Umrah, brother, if you you're did- just going to lie? Well, you did boycott the stream. None of you it came will on. Allah, we did it because we couldn't answer. And there wasn't another well, you reason. The stream. It will Allah, we boycotted it. Because you knew the... I put it up. No, I, it's because uh, Murtadeen uh, were there. Uh, it's because Murtadeen were you. there. And you had Murtadeen mocking us. And you were showing a meme. Oh, That's why we didn't you come. So you lied in Medina, brother. Come on. You, you in Medina, of, you're lying. You were scared of... Outside of Medina, then what? You were scared right? of you don't even fear lying next to the grave of Rasulullah. Okay. Okay. What will you do outside? We get rid of you and bring someone else in. Well, what's and going on? Are okay. we going to talk about the subject matter or what? He are said we, gonna... we boy, he's lying, so he has to make. Why are you answer. bringing some irrelevant topic? He we want to focus it. on the topic. He mentioned it. Oh, so he oh, mentioned. The hadith, so, the hadith Adnan by. Yeah. Did I repeat the question? Right. And if he, if I don't get an answer, we move on. Uh, right. So, there are other people waiting, Razi. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to let you go. I mean, if, if you don't answer, so I yeah. answered. Do you answered. do you do you acknowledge now the reason the hadith of Rasulullah no, sallallahu alaihi wasallam? This is the hadith, and it's Hazrat Ahlasam on the same page. He explains that mujhe malum hai now with the Sahaba aqwal, such important aqwal. Nabi says, "I'm asking." Let me answer, brother. Don't cut me off. Brother Mansur, there's a hadith of Nabi Sallallahu where he asked the Sahaba that if you don't have anything, if you have to make a decision, what will you follow? They said, Quran, a hadith, or it's the hadith theme of Amr bin al-As. The Hakam and Adal decided that this was from yeah. Nabi Sassam, Marfu to Nabi Sassam. It's a hadith of Nabi Sassam. Like if you look at Sahih Sitta, there's so many statements that say, Qala Ali radiallahu anhu, prophecies of the end times. The ulama, they accept that when it's Marfu, it's possible it's from Rasulullah, even though he's not in the sun. Do you challenge me on this? Okay, okay. Brother Adnan, have... what I said, is it true or no? No, it's a lie. Say wallahi, say wallahi, it's a lie. Okay, Make the oath, make the oath. Brother, you, you don't fear Allah call. at all, man. No, no. Come, can, you can don't fear speak? Allah, brother. The Habi's call is not the call of the Prophet. Regarding ilm ghaib and fitan. Quiet. It cannot be from I'm, Rasulullah. Mute him. Masur, mute him, please. Mute him. Please mute him. A Sahabi's call is never considered the call of the Prophet وسلم, unless it has the caveat added to it. Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Make oath when, on when, sh- 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 Quiet. I know, I know it really hurts you. You are losing your money and your, your people. You're I'm losing not losing it. any money. I'm just okay. showing you that you're going against okay. your own ulama okay. who accept. You, you know your favorite alim? You, your I'm favorite. Still, mute him. Mute him, Ashim, please. Thank you. Okay. When a sahabi 
says something or when there's an incident about a Sahabi, that does not mean that Sahabi acted uh, upon the injunctions of the Prophet Sallallahu Sometimes they had their own opinions and they made it's the Hadi mistake, your favorite mistakes, uh, Qadiani favorite mistakes, it's the Hadi mistakes. Mirza made plenty of them. Okay, so attributing something to the Prophet, you have to qualify it like Mirza did by saying, Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam A Hazrat ne kaha or the Holy Prophet said, this is what Mirza said, that when there's a plague in a town and it's infested, leave it immediately or you're fighting Allah. Now this term fighting Allah, fighting Allah, but he can play these games. Where are these words? Where did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say that if you don't leave a town immediately after it's infested, you are fighting Allah? None of the statements, there is nothing from the Prophet. Let me make it easy for people. Razi Saab has to run to Amr bin As and other Musnad Ahmad and other people and then make a story up that this is Mawkuf or this is Marfu. Okay. And I'm sure he doesn't know what these th things mean. Okay. He doesn't, he hasn't even read basic Mustalal al Hadith. Okay. The terminology of Hadith and its, uh, its application, the science of Hadith. Uh, they try to seem learned. Okay. But they don't know anything. If they knew, they wouldn't be Qadiani. They wouldn't be Ahmadi, the poor souls. Okay? So now the point is, Mirza lied on the Prophet ﷺ blatantly, black and white. Mirza How much time do you need? How much time do you need? No, no, we're moving on. Wait. Mirza, no, Hashim, Mirza, can you time Mirza it or something? A statement to the Prophet knowingly to support the government policy. Now, what is the context it's of It's a lie, why, brother. He why, says why did, the Hadith of Bukhari and Majma Ishtiarat. Do yeah. not lie, brother. Fear okay. Allah. Hashim, 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 throw him out and bring someone in, please. You're Inshallah. scared. You're scared. Very You're scared. scared in Medina. Sorry, I, I don't even know what's brother, happening. Hashim, Are you guys on topic or something? Talk. Talk. You just cut off. Listen to brother, me. Listen. Wait, wait, one of you speak. Come on, guys. You... Bring someone else in. Listen brother, to Hashim, let's, let's he's scared. He lied yeah. against scholars and he wants no, me no, out. Hashim, I I want to are we on the topic or are we off topic? I'm on topic. He's running away. Questions. He's and running he, away because he said Shah okay. Valil. I can't hear Atnan. Just one sec, Rosie. Okay. Atnan, go on. Hashim, he's not answering the question. You, just, you were absent. Uh, and we, we've been talking to him for the last 15, 20 minutes now. He's not answering the question. Very simple question I asked him. He's not giving an answer. He's doing the usual waffling. Get rid of him. Bring some other Ahmadi missionary in. And let's see if they can answer the question different. No, I think Razi is the last uh, Ahmadi today. We're okay. going to bring in the Muslim snake. We'll, we'll, so. Can I speak for okay. one minute before uh, I Razi, Razi, uh, you can speak because obviously uh, I wanted Adnan Bhai, you know, to uh, discuss with you before his point. And uh, inshallah, people can see that. Can I speak for one minute quickly? No, no, you can, you can. Just allow me to say something. Razi, uh, you know, quite often you say that usul e hadith and this and that. Which book on usul e hadith you trust? Okay, so there's the many, the... there's many. I don't say any of them are Quran. There can be mistakes. No, in no, many but of you them. are. You there's are. No one Adnan book. Guys, Adnan Adnan is, Adnan Adnan why, why, why are we wasting this? Adnan, stop fighting in Diaz, brother. You're in Medina. No, no, no. Razi, you don't need to defend me. Okay, I can speak. speak. I myself. want to hear you. I want to hear you you're saying something important. Adnan, let him speak. Mute yourself. In your please. last one minute. In your last one minute, all I wanted from you is this. Please listen very carefully, okay? Yeah. Because you love quoting the big names, okay? In your one minute, allow me, allow me to speak. Today's topic of the stream was Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has two advents, okay? So in your one minute, I only ask you to name one scholar. One prominent scholar, okay? Be Mufassir, we are Mahadis, no problem. One prominent scholar who said this, that this belief, that this belief, that two coming of Muhammad Just give me that name and I don't need something else from you. Okay. So if I give you the name, right? If I give you the name today, will you do kufr fatwa on him or will you say he's truthful? If you will give me the name, you'll, you'll be grave. Pardon? If you will give me the name, inshallah, yeah. you will dig your grave deeper. <laughs> give me the name. Okay. Because I'm going to so, quote your spiritual father. That what he said on this one. 
Okay, don't worry. I know your spiritual fathers and my spiritual fathers. No problem. Father no, no more for, more give me the you. name. Don't worry. Give me the name, Rezi. Okay, Rezi, can you please just answer the question? Yes. So Rezi, can you, give me the can name. You, can you repeat your question? Can you repeat My your question? question is very simple, okay? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad said in Tofa Golarviya, we quoted all the reference in the, in the beginning of the stream, yeah. that it is obligation upon every Muslim to believe that Nabi Muhammad Sallallahu will come twice, yes. two, two advents, okay? One as Muhammadi advent yes. with, the, uh, with the grandeur and one yeah. with the Ahmadi advent which will be the Jamali Rang, okay? Yeah. And the first one will be under the Mars, second will be under the Jupiter. Yes, I've read that's it. The, wait, wait, wait. That's the complete thing he said. Two advents, first under Mars, second yeah. under Jupiter, okay? This is the complete quote. You need to give me, before you leave this team, the name of their scholar who said okay. this. Okay, so scholars you know, you have... Got, you got one minute to answer, and if you don't answer, I don't you know, have we are just going to bring in the next guest. No, just give only me the two name. minutes. Only the name and the book. That's it. Yes, give me the name yes. and the book. Give me my four minute, brother. Imtiaz, it looks like you've become Adnan today. No, no, you are just waffling, it's brother. It's a simple give question. You don't need four brother, minutes for this. You say I'm waffling. I believe I all give you, you one do minute. is waffling. Brother Gazi, I so give you one me, minute. Go let ahead. Let me explain everything, okay? Go so ahead. this concept of Hazrat Ahmed that he mentioned in Tawfai Golarviya of the Imam Mahdi and the Buruzi concept of the Prophet Muhammad coming in the end times, many scholars have mentioned it and they've worded it different. Today, the scholar I present who also accepted that the Imam Mahdi will be ox of Nabi Sallallahu and he will reflect reflect him. And I have, did not listen, ask brother, you Don't cut me brother, off. I did don't not cut ask me you off. No, no, no. And the person you are answering, Razi. Shah Wali Razi. Muhaddis Delvi. Razi. Shah Razi. 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 Brother, why Razi, you cut me off? You've become Razi. a Razi, that wasn't the question. You, you need to answer the question. Razi, I'll and, give you I'm one minute. Give me my full minute as Razi, Razi, listen. Let's look at me. Razi, look at me. I'll give you full one minute. Listen to my question and answer the question. He's you not, need to quote. By, by. One second. Uh, no, just, one, just one minute. Razi, by, why my question is. Uh, no, just one minute. I just ask you the question. Razi, okay. my question. Repeat listen the question. What is the question? Okay. There are two advents yes. for Nabi Muhammad. Yes. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. First one under the Mars. Second no alim the... said this. No alim said this. Alhamdulillah. Just like Alhamdulillah. if Ibn said a million things, no, 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 no. Now I will quote Zahabi Mirza. Says, wait, 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 Imam wait. Zahabi now says, I will quote Razi. Let him ask a question, Razi. Stop interrupting. Razi, I'm speaking. We're just delaying Razi, it. Razi, Razi, the Messiah will be Razi, like Nabi Sassan. That will have said the name of Jupiter. They didn't say Mars, Jupiter. They didn't say Mars, Jupiter. Razi, wait, 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 your I have muted you, Razi. It's just not my, going anywhere. Okay, Razi, my, my question was... Let him ask was, the question and then you answer. Okay, Razi, my question was, there are two advents for Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. First one under the Mars, second one under the Jupiter. You said that no scholar ever has said this in the history of Islam. Sorry, what's your question? So, Hashim, what's your Bhai, question? My question is, Hashim Bhai, my question is this. There are two advents of yes. Nabi Muhammad. That's why he's, he has said already that, yeah, no no one said it. No one said it. So that's he, it. Now he's, now he's lying. He's lying now. Okay. So listen, okay. Hashim Bhai, my brother, question is this. so unjust, Brother Muhammad. That's what happened to you overnight. I said what the Mars, listen, I said the Mars Jupiter thing no one said. As for the Prophet Muhammad system, the Imam Mahdi being his copy, I have many ulama who no said No copy. That. Two advents of Nabi Muhammad. We are phrasing it. If someone is his copy, that's his okay. second advent. Shah Walila Muhammad Zidhi, it's coming. You are lying, Razi. Razi. You are lying. Call this screen. Okay, no problem. Put on the screen. Put the screen, yeah. You know, honestly, this is not going anywhere. Put it on screen. It's just put it on screen, Hashim. I put it. I put it. Before he goes. Hashim, share screen. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's got... Shall I put it on the screen for you? Yes, put it on the screen. And you charge me. Imtiaz has to turn. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to put it on the screen. Imtiaz, yeah. every time, Tarjma every time Tarista. he comes, every yeah. time he comes, he lies and runs away. Is that the one? Is. Yes. Uh, one sec. Is it zooming? Well, it is zooming. Yeah. It's uh... so it's these two. You can read whichever you want first. I put the translation for you, but Imtiaz has to read the Arabic and translate today. You aren't running today, Imtiaz. Why? 
You, Why you, you. Scared? It's Why your best scared? friend. No, I want it from you. From you. I want you to Rezi, read it. See, you speak again. I'll read it. I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay? Go ahead. Okay. So there's two references. One sec. Should I make a PDF so you can zoom more? Rezi, no, it's, read it, one it's okay. You can, you can see okay. it. It's fine. Go okay. Ahead. Uh, sorry. Is it showing? Yeah. Okay. This is the person who Adnan Rashid says gets Wahi Ilham. Okay. Shah Walula Muhaddis Devi. Wait, 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 wait. Inspiration. Sorry. Inspiration. And true dreams. Inspiration and true dreams. Don't cut me off. Don't cut me off. But the Hashim, I'm sharing the reference. He's worried now. One second. Inspiration and dreams. I have the video here. Hashim. One second. Just, I think Adnan wants to say something. Adnan, go on. Hashim, mute this the jal. Mute this the jal. Okay. Throw him out, please. Throw him out. I'm requesting okay. specifically throw him out. Throw him out, please. Okay. That's what, it. What was he trying to show? He he's he's a lying the jar. He just said that I said Shawalullah receives revelation and uh, uh, you know uh, wahi and ilham. Okay, I never said that. He's a lie, he's a lying scumbag. Okay, if we don't need him anymore. Maybe if the, if there's anyone else, bring him in. Okay. Anand bhai, uh, Anand bhai, can I, can I expose his lie? Hashim bhai, I sent you something just now. Please put on the screen so people can see he was lying. Uh, we, we all know now. We all know. I really have to Adnan teach you how to do this. Adnan bhai, <laughs> Adnan bhai we, want to, we want to expose his lie because every time he comes, he lies and runs away. Okay? He's, he's, he's a blatant liar. So, Hashim so bhai, I sent something. Now why, why, why did it take... Why did it take you guys so long to realize that he is a liar? That's why I was handling him the way I was handling him in the beginning. I was telling you that you, every time he opens his mouth, it's irrelevant. It's it's completely off the point. Okay. Have you, Adnan? Have you noticed him compared to the other Ahmadis who came today? Yeah. Like there is a huge difference in yeah. the in the way they conduct themselves. Yeah, I think this guy has some mental issues. And you know, Ashim, by this was the reason. It's maybe I arrogance. Quiet. I don't know what it is. I was I was quiet the whole time, okay? And because I wanted Adnan Bhai to expose him, and he has already been exposed. He said that he has the hadith. He did not quote any hadith after that. Okay, I'm gonna bring the yeah, quote in. Absolutely. Oh, so okay. what, what what they do is look, this is the tactic. Brothers, you have to understand everyone watching and listening about these uh, Qadiani missionaries, okay? The Murabbis, the Molvis, and the missionaries. This is something you have to understand, okay? When you pose a direct, difficult question, what they will do is give us time, five minutes. They will take you around the world on tangents, okay? They will take you to Bangladesh, from Bangladesh to Japan, from Japan to Australia, from Australia all the way to Brazil, and from Brazil back to London. And then they're going to say, oh, you see, look, we have made a case. And it, it will be completely irrelevant to your point. Okay. Your point is direct, it's specific. They won't they won't address it. And then they say, we will address it, we will address it. Give us give us time. You don't give us time. You don't give us time. You always cut us off. You always this is this is the game they play. So we gave him one minute to explain. He said, I have the hadith here in front of me. Yes? That's right. He said, I have the, you know, I'm not here, Hashim. Mansoor was here earlier. He said, I have the hadith in front of me right now. I'm going to read it. I'm going to present it. And then what does he do? He goes to Mustad Ahmad. He reads the statement of uh, Amr bin As. And then he says, oh, look, this must be from the Prophet. Therefore, Mirza said. But Mirza attributed this lie to the Prophet, stating that if you don't leave a plague-infested town or plague-infected town, you would be fighting Allah. There is no such hadith. That's why he was doing what he was doing. There's no such hadith. This statement that is a lying Dajjal who is in size upon deliberately is in hell. So if there's another Ahmadi bring him bring him in and, and we will show uh, how we we are perfectly capable of dealing with people. Uh, um, so uh, is there another Ahmadi in the background? So I think Intias Bhai wants to display this. Uh, is okay. it this yeah. thing? Just to expose him. Uh, this one, Hashim Bhai, if you can make it uh, full so people can see the reference at the bottom. I can't make, make it more full than this. This is a full screen. No, no, no. A bit small. So people can see the reference at the bottom. Oh, I see. Okay. No, I can't for some reason because it's... Uh... 
Just or maybe inshallah i can read from my side i can see from yeah, here yeah. oh bring it up to the screen i mean you can read the references uh, separately yeah. yeah yeah inshallah yeah so brothers we look at this is uh, akhbar al fadl which is their major newspaper they used to educate their people date is 24th of january 1931 and this is on page number 10 and the number of this whole volume is 70 uh, 86 and 87 now now i read the reference it says that aaj tak aaj tak ke musalmanon mein se kisi ne bhi ye baat a hazrat sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki shaan ke mutalliq bayan nahi ki which baat yani you know, he says that no muslim has ever said this about nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam what there are there are, there are two bases there are two advents this reference is telling us that no muslim has ever said this and razi was trying to say shah waliullah said plan said this said he was just lying because they, their own official newspaper is telling you that no muslim has ever said this that there are two advents of nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam now you may be thinking what is the implication let me read you the implication i displayed this in the beginning as well but let me read for you this is ruhani khazain volume 7 page number 62 it says magar wo baatein jo madar e iman hain jinko qubool karne aur janne se ek shakhs musalman kehla sakta hai wo har zamana mein barabar shay hoti rehti hain mirza sahib is telling us a principle rajee se usool the usool of mirza sahib here is he says that those things upon which the belief is dependent they are continuously published in all times and all ages right now look at the premise a listen everybody carefully premise a those things on which iman is dependent they are published in all time and all ages that's premise a premise b they have accepted that no muslim has ever said about the two advents of nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what is the conclusion it is all rubbish what they are saying this this is the own principle okay this is their own principle go and verify all of that they have invented a worse lie in the history and, and by the way and by the way i i also have one reference from mirza sahib inshallah i'm going to say on uh, with full responsibility he say i'm i'm just paraphrasing that one he said that it is enough for something to be lie that nobody has said that before <coughs> listen again it is enough for something to be a lie that nobody has said something before so if you look at this one according to their own usool and principles they are lying to the people number 1 number 2 razi was always saying usool e hadith blah when i asked him the question that which book of usool e hadith you trust did he name any book did he name any book this is called deception they no, are just coming no. what he said was what he said was that oh yeah they there but we don't agree with everything in them exactly so so, <laughs> so we pick and choose all the usools exactly take, now i tell you yeah. i tell you the usool of hadith the, uh, the the ahmadi writers follow the following hadith their usool is if something can serve their purpose it doesn't matter if it is daif it is modu whatever use it Like, and if like, something is not serving their purpose even yeah, in the bukhari even in the bukhari if it they, does not serve their purpose reject it they will reject this it consistently like, like la this is for inconsistency la mahdi illa isa by the consensus of muhaddithin is daif okay muslim muhaddithin using the and adnan bhai and adnan bhai yeah, let me yeah. let me educate people what i just said mirza sahib people listen very carefully the greatest dalil evidence mirza saab has given for his messiahship that hadith about the eclipse of sun and the moon and that one is found in dwar e kutni okay and no one has authenticated that hadith he used that hadith 
नंबर वन बिकॉज इट कुड सर्व द पर्पज ऑफ मिर्जा साहेब एंड गैस वर्ड गैस वर्ड वेन ही यूज दैट हदीज ही कुड नॉट इवन फुलफुल दैट हदीज इधर then he has to change the concept of the hadith itself you know you know, you know the game they play you know the game they play in this year because to them because mirza is a prophet he is hakam and adal basically he can authenticate any daif maudu hadith from the collection of hadith so that that's the game they play when it comes to usul al hadith and authenticating hadith but the point is now the point is can mirza forge hadith out of nowhere is the question okay uh, let's say mirza for them is a prophet and they believe he's a prophet they believe that right so he can authenticate uh, anything for them but the question is can mirza bring out a hadith from nowhere just make it up just forge it and then attribute it to bukhari or attribute information to tafsir ibn kathir and it's not there it's not there this is where they die spiritually speaking this is where their death is you know why because this is what embarrasses them just like he demonstrated a few minutes ago when we asked him about the hadith clearly he knew where the question is going he knew what i'm asking and he was not giving an answer i asked him did mirza say these words once you remember how difficult it was for him to give a straight answer to that question You remember that when I was that seems to be a pattern a regular pattern of every single ahmadis i mean yes. this this must be a part of their training when they are yeah. initiated in the in this cult that do not directly answer anything just waffle that must be the first first teaching they get i mean this is throughout every single ahmadi that we are whether it's online in 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 a in a social media other platform other than uh, streams like this every single one of them subhanallah yeah, things, I things of what 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 is the what is the biggest form of intellectual attack against the christians what do you think what is the biggest source that goes against them the bible the bible the bible you see with the qadianis their kryptonite is mirza ghulam ahmad qadiani's writings yeah okay their his writings are the biggest disaster for them that's why they don't want to go there they are full of contradictions lies and uh, and confusions so that's why they don't want even the qadianis to read his books okay adnan bhai i just want to mention because inshallah the stream is to educate other people as well okay yeah. i just want to mention two points you know mirza sahib he said that give me five concessions so i can prove my messiahship so he wants from us five concession number one he said let me interpret the quran the way i want number one number two let me pick and choose the hadith i can reject the whole bukhari and i can reject everything and i will pick and choose number two and number three he wants us to allow him to use the writings of sufia saints which have no basis in the quran and number four even those ahadith which he accepted about a messiah for example you know that he will be having the two cloth uh, two uh, piece of cloth on him you know those zard chadrein okay he says that i want to even give my meanings and we all know he has two disease one was headache and the other one was about urinating he said that i will give the meaning that the two cloth of isa alaihi salam are my two disease look at look at look at the mockery of hadith and number 5 he wants us he want us they are playing a game he is a hakam and adal first you need to prove him hakam and adal after that you can give him the right so they are doing the other way around now look at this one if you give these five things to anybody number 1 interpret the quran the way you want take hadith reject hadith the way you want interpret the hadith the way you want do the tawil of the hadith the way you want take from the sufia whatever you want if you give this five concession to anyone this person can prove the messiah yeah okay oh, i don't think there's any ahmadis in the back chat so how are bringing the muslims no we are not taking any no. ahmadis so we just take the muslims now yeah. so muslims one by one inshallah believe, brother hasan has you know, been waiting for a while assalamu alaikum Well, it's good to see you, brothers. After a long time, good to see you, brother. We missed you in the park. <laughs> <laughs> you came, I think, I think, I think, I think, 
I know, inshallah, we'll, we'll have another opportunity. And, yeah, he hasn't uh, been to the park for a while. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, and, uh, you know, blessings to uh, Brother uh, Adnan in, in, in Medina. Please pray for us. We're, inshallah, going there in two two weeks' time. Um, inshallah. Very quickly, um, <clears throat> just a few, a few things. Um, uh, I was me mentioning in the private chat about the Lahori community. I think they've been missed out in all the streams that have uh, taken place. And by, by the way, congratulations with the streams. I think they've been very good, very respectful. It's it's increased the level of debate um, since the, you know uh, over the last uh, hundred years. Um, to be honest, you know but, we we invite the Ahmadis. We don't say okay only the Qadianis or the Lahoris. I think the Ahmadis includes all of them, right? So if the Lahoris want to come, they're more than welcome. Okay. Um, now I have the uh, no, I messaged Brother Mansur last uh, week. I have the Tadkira, and I think you probably would have read it. I think any anyone who reads this uh, will know automatically that this cannot be a revelation from God from from Allah. Some of the outlandish claims that are made is is you know really out of this world. Um, now the uh, thing about prophethood, uh, whether it's closed or not. Um, the very first question I had uh, in the very first stream for the Kadianis, and maybe Dr. Khan, when he comes next, uh, he can answer this. Um, I was going to ask the Ahmadis this question, that given that the door of prophethood is still open, non-law-bearing prophethood, uh, and I, I know in one of your streams you did debate whether Mirza Qalam Ahmed or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, were the last uh, prophet. So the answer from the Ahmadi was very unclear, actually. Um, they didn't say whether Ms. Ahmed was last or not. But for all in, intents and purposes, if the door is open, if Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is uh, only the greatest prophet, it means the door is still open until judgment day for other prophets to come. So my question would have been, um, today in, in this world where um, religious, religious values have been completely vanished, you know, uh, we're seeing secularism, atheism on the rise, the changes that have taken place in this world in the last 50 years is is unprecedented. It's never happened in the last thousands of years. So the time is right now for a prophet to come. Give, I'm sure there be the, the many people are claiming to, uh, to be prophets. So how would the Ahmadis uh, identify that particular prophet? Okay, And would the caliphate, the current caliph, um, obey that, that uh, particular prophet or... No, I don't think they'd want to give up uh, control uh, over their jamaat. Um, so that's a question. Maybe Brother Khan can, can answer that. Uh, how would they identify uh, the prophet? Is um, uh, Brother Khan in the back chat? Is that him, Dr. Isa? Yeah, I think he is. Is Khan. If it's the same guy, okay. I think he is. Uh, um, oh, sorry. In the... Uh, yeah. There's a couple more points. In the um, uh, Ahmadi ah, website, the Khan Islam... Uh, Al Islam website, um, they quoted the hadith where the prophet uh, prophesied about the rightly guided caliphs, uh, which would be followed by the uh, dynasties and then the uh, oppression, and then the rightly guided caliph will come back. They're assuming that the rightly guided caliph at the end is actually the current Ahmadiyya caliphate. What they've seemed to have missed out was that the Prophet Muhammad never claimed a prophet would come in, in that sequence. You know, there is no prophet mentioned in, in there. So maybe that's for, something for the Ahmadis to think about. Um, Brother Hassan, if I can just make a small comment, if you, is it okay? So, brothers, I have already sent the, to Brother Hashim and Mansoor. This is Ruhani Khazain, volume 22, page number 201. Mirza says, Akhri Mujaddid is Ummat ka masih maud hai he is saying that the last reviver of this Ummah is the promised Messiah who will come in the later days. So it's not Asan Bai, not Nabi, even a Mujaddid cannot come anymore. And in, in, uh, anyone who knows about Mirza Sahib, he started his career slowly as a Mujaddid and then he continued to evolve his claim. And this is on the screen. Everybody can check this reference. Hassan Bhai, if even a Mujaddid cannot come in this Ummah, because he said, Akhri Mujaddid is Ummat ka, Masih Maud hoga, jo akhri mein aega, the last reviver of this Ummah 
is the promised Messiah. How, how, how the Ahmadi have the you know, audacity to say, we don't know. Mirza Saif has made it very clear. Khulafa have made it very clear. Hassan Bible have given them all the clear cut references that there is no way. They say that is ummat mein ek se zyada nabi kat an nahi a sakte. Which means there can never be more than one prophet in this ummah. We have given all of these references. Now, when they are coming on the stream, they're only lying. Right. That's, that's very interesting. Um, now, uh, I've also followed the Ahmadi streams, you know, the Ahmadi answers. Um, and in the uh, one of their, I think two weeks ago, they, they had a stream about uh, uh, people who've converted to to Ahmadis. And during the last few weeks, when I've been switching, you know, between watching the various streams, I've been thinking to myself, um, what additional value did Mr. Kalam Ahmed contribute to the Ummah that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has not? Uh, that was a question that's been bugging me. Now, towards the end of that particular conversion stream, uh, I think the brother's name is Tahir Ahmed. He said that um, if, if uh, we come to Judgment Day, right, and it turns out that Mirza Ahmed was a false prophet, he said that that wouldn't really matter because they would still be following the laws of Islam, okay, so they could still get to heaven. So that sort of indirectly answered my question, right, that um, Mirza Ahmed didn't really add any, anything of value, did he? So <laughs> that was a very interesting point. Hassan, um, I, 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 I said before, the value he added, for example, before he made his claim of prophethood, we had a big number of ummah. Obviously, after he made the claim, Apparently, those who rejected him, they must become disbelievers. And then the, afterwards, in the after, after the first caliph, Lahori's, they become disbelievers as well. So basically, the outcome was pretty much Ummah ceased to exist. This was the outcome of prophethood. Yeah, yeah. And the final point, uh, I know Dr. Khan wants to come in. So, um, and maybe Dr. Khan could answer my previous question about the prophet who you know the, the world is ripe today for a prophet so how would the Ahmadis identify him assuming the door is still open uh, my final point is about uh, prophecy and conditional prophecy so uh, when a prophecy uh, does is not fulfilled I think the get out clause for the Ahmadis is that uh, the prophecy was conditional so if the condition was met then the proph prophecy won't go ahead or it was a misinterpretation a human misinterpretation it's so my question to you is um, I find it difficult to believe in a conditional prophecy because God, Allah, will know in advance exactly what we're going to do. So he would reveal the prophecy according to that. He would not wait for a condition because he knows he has advanced knowledge. So what were your thoughts on that? Is that right? Maybe you, inshallah, come and... Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Well, I'm on call tonight, so if the phone rings, I'll have to leave. That's but I'm actually, alhamdulillah, I've listened to the stream right from the beginning. And if uh, Dan Bhai is still listening, uh, please pray for me and my family uh, at the Rosa Huzur Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I'm so envious of you that you are in the most beautiful city of the world. Uh, alhamdulillah. So, alhamdulillah. and also, I'm uh, very pleased to um, have met through this stream, uh, Brother Hassan Imam, I think is your name. And Assalamu Alaikum. And, uh, you know, it's so nice to hear people who are educated, calm, and collected. So, you raised a number of points. First of all, I wanted to make the point of Hadith, and Adnan Bhai has already covered it. I engaged in one of my um, devout Ahmadi close family relatives, we are, alhamdulillah, quite an educated family. Um, and I said to him, I posed this question that what about the ahadith that Mirza Sahib claims um, exist? He even claims that they exist in a particular book of hadith, and yet we can't find it. And they've got this cop out over which, you know, the argument then the discussion ends, which is that, well, he knew because he was Hakam and Adal. And so if he says it existed, it existed. So that's an argument, uh, you know, that there's no further debate about that. And I clearly don't believe that. The second point you made, um, Brother Hassan, was about the need for prophethood. Um, and how do we uh, reconcile with the Ahmadi belief that when things go horribly wrong, Allah Ta'ala sends a prophet. 
So actually, if you follow some of the AMD outlets, which I do, uh, there's a guy called Asif Basit who does uh, goes by the name of Umma Dilemma. He never admits that he's an MD, but he is quite high up. He's a director of MTA. And um, he did a very interesting, uh, most recent video in which he is now claiming that if there is ever another prophet, it will have to be one of the Ahmadi Khalifas, Nauzubillah. You can see that it's available on Twitter and on his YouTube channel. The problem is that uh, after seeing today's stream, I'm even more convinced that Alhamdulillah I left this Jamaat because these Murabis, they really are on a hiding to nothing. And I feel sorry in a way because remember these are paid apparatchiks of an organization. Their livelihood depends on it. And may Allah bless them and I advise them that if you come to the right path, Allah will provide you with risk. Don't worry if there is any concern because the problem is that even if they're in their own hearts start asking questions that what we are preaching is all really a mass of contradictions. It's uh, a discombobulated uh, sort of uh, uh, presentation uh, of uh, poor Mr. Razi, for example. I mean, he is the master of filibustering. You ask him a straight question and you can just forget about it. You'll never get one. So I think they are um, trapped. And the fact that Brother Imtiaz has so exquisitely and clearly, you know, it's, it's so transparently exposed the contradictions within the Ahmadiyya doctrine. I'm currently, for example, researching the Muhammadi Begum saga. And, you know, if Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was, had come and he made his claim as in gradual steps, but in 89, he took the bayat and he formally established the Jamaat. In 88, he made a prophecy which had failed. He had said that, and I'm digressing a little bit, but this is for my Amity brothers and sisters. He had said that there are three great prophecies, one against Hindus, which was the Lake Ram prophecy, who was actually stabbed by a chap who pretended to be a Muslim. And interestingly, when he went to the hospital in Lahore, there was a Dr. Yaqub who happened to be an Amity who attended to him. So you can read into that what you like. The second was that of um, uh, Pandit Art, um, uh, the uh, Christian convert uh, Abdullah Atham. He had lost the debate, unfortunately. There was a debate that it was held, and his prophecy about his death also failed. And he said that that was against for the Christians. And the last prophecy, Muhammad Begum, he said was for the Muslims. And without going into details, because I think it merits a separate stream in itself. The Muhammad Begum prophecy occupied this man till his dying day. So where did he find time for preaching Islam and defending Islam and you know uniting the Ummah and all the rest of it that we hear about? For 20 years, he virtually stalked this woman whilst she was alive and her husband were alive and they were living happily you know, for decades, even after his death. Right until his final days, he said, this prophecy, and Brother Hassan mentioned prophecies of Allah, he actually specified that this is not conditional. He said that the essence of the prophecy is that I will be married to Muhammad Begum and that her husband will die. So coming, so that's about the Muhammad Begum, and that enough is uh, to debunk this whole idea of his claims. And it, it, the Muhammad yeah, Begum... I think we should have one stream specifically on that it. topic. But coming back to tonight's yeah. live stream, everyone <laughs> has clearly seen that the Ahmadi Murabi sadly uh, get entangled in contradictions, upon contradictions. Take Brother Ahmad, for example. I feel sorry for him. I mean, he was completely out of his depth with uh, Brother Imtiaz. And to be honest, I, my suggestion to my Amidi brothers is right to their Khalifa. Look, ever since I was a child, we were told by our parents, write to the Khalifa if anything happens. Once a dog bit me and I had to write to the Khalifa to pray that I don't get rabies. This is true. I was about seven years old at that time. Um, and so write to your Khalifa and say, look, there's Brother Imtiaz, there's Brother Adnan, there's Dr. Khan, there's Brother Hassan, all of the Dawawai's team. They are doing these live streams. We are basically getting bowled out on you know, the first over. Kindly, can you come to our rescue? And I also occasionally listen to his khutbahs. His khutbahs currently are 
basically read out of a history book and he's talking about Jange Bada and what happened there. Um, but he's totally <laughs> ignoring this. And I bet you he knows what's going on here. I know how this Jamaat works. I was in it for 58 years. So finally, my brothers and sisters and brother Hassan, um, it's been a pleasure to see you. This stream has further put the nail in the coffin of the ideology, the theology of Jamaat, which just doesn't reconcile with even what they themselves teach. I can also, lastly, I will tell you that we were told that Muhammad Sallallahu is the greatest prophet, etc. But when we read the books, we find out that that's actually not Mirza, what Mirza Ghulam Ahmed and his sons preached. And finally, we talked about the Lahoris. I have great respect for the Lahoris. Sadly, they believe Mirza Ghulam Ahmed to be a muhaddis. And the biography they've written about Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is actually called uh, Mujaddid Azam. They don't believe him to be a prophet. So I would, uh, I, I read the split, which is written by Muhammad Ali, and everyone here is absolutely right. And Dr. Yahya seemed clueless. The main differences were about the uh, claim of prophethood, uh, the Khilafat uh, versus the Anjuman, and the Takfir, because because even when the first Khalifa was alive, and Brother Imtiaz knows all this, mashallah, his knowledge about Ahmadiyyat is probably more than even their Khalifa, dare I say, um, uh, the um, Mirza Malvi Nuruddin was alive. He was dying, and both Muhammad Ali and Mirza Bashiruddin, who became the second Khalifa, were trying to gain his favors. And Mirza Bashiruddin wrote an article in Tajhizul Azan. Again, this was an organ of the Jamaat that he started, which clearly put takfir on all of us, right? And even Malvi Nuruddin, the first Khalifa at that time, actually <coughs> said these words, ke Mirza Mahmood, who was that guy, ko takfir ke baare mein zada nahi pata. So he disagreed with that, and this is on record. And so the three um, reasons for the split are very interesting. And in response to that, Mirza Bashiruddin wrote uh, a book called Aina Sadaqat, in which he even more strongly uh, claimed that our belief is that Nauzubillah, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed is Rasul and Prophet. And he virtually um, tried to do takfir on uh, Malvi Muhammad Ali. But anyway, that's a very interesting historical story. Can I ask a question? Murabis are on a hiding to nothing. Yeah. Brother Khan, can I ask you a question? Um, when you were on Ahmadi, did you believe that there were uh, uh, the door was open for another prophet to come? Absolutely, because we were taught that when we did tabligh, we were all encouraged to do tabligh. The first thing was Khatim al is being misinterpreted, Nauzubillah by all the other Muslims, and therefore the door to prophethood is open. Now they are stuck because they have this Khilafat, which in my view, and I've got you know conviction that it's a family business, right? And that's a separate issue. That's not a theological issue. They've got them. The, this family is um, using this um, whole Khilafat business, and they are now saying that Khilafat will last forever. This is a new thing. Because if Khilafat is lasting forever, then there's no need for a prophet, because these are the true people. And it's a her hereditary Khilafat, isn't it? It's not an election. Or, is and, and this Mr. Basit, who's uh, <clears throat> Umar, my latest video, is very sinister, because now he's saying that if there will be a Khalifa, there will be um, a, a prophet, it will be one of the Khalifa. And the third Khalifa was once asked the question, when the new Islamic century started, you know what he said? He proclaimed <laughs> that he, Mirza Nasir Ahmed, was a mujaddid. So it's all very clever. My dear Ahmadi brothers and sisters, please contact me or through Dawa Wise. I will tell you why this whole business is sadly a big con. A theory con and a financial con. You know, is our boy, when he was saying that he is the Mujaddid, he forgot Mirza Sahib has said he is the, uh, he is the last Mujaddid. Well, he probably didn't read it, hadn't read it. And now, you know, my favorite hobby is I'm a busy doctor, but I love reading the literature and someone must do a PhD thesis uh, on the writings and contradictions of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed, one, and about Mamadi Begum, 
I think deserves and you know I th I pray for Muhammadi Begum may Allah grant her Jannah oh, no. those because I think Allah brought oh, no. Muhammadi Begum to destroy this claim of prophethood of Mirza Ghulam Ahmed and uh, big own goal. You know, Hassan Bai, Hassan Bai, with regard to your question regarding need of the prophet and prophet not coming, if you are, if you want me, Mirza Sahib has given the answer in the following words. He said that if the prophets would come in this ummah, there will be a disrespect to Khatamun Nabuwa, number one. And then he said, but if no prophet will come at all, this will be a disrespect to Nabi Muhammad. Then he said, the conclusion is that Allah did not send many prophets. And in this way, he saved the honor of Khatamun Nabuwa. But he did send just one prophet in this, in this way, he made the honor of Muhammad. So this is the intellectual answer Mirza Sahib gave. These, these Rabbis, they don't know. We know the answer of every single one of them. They said only one prophet, Masih Maud. That's it. And one last yeah. point I would like to make is gymnastics. about this. Uh, <laughs> I think it was the first Murabi Atta who came. And um, uh, you see, remember the fallback? Whenever you discuss anything about Ahmadiyat, whether it's Muhammadi Begum, anything, in the end, when they have no answer, they will say, tell me, is Isa alive? You know, I'm fed up <laughs> with that question. Now, I tell you, ask all the Ahmadis, please listen carefully. I will imitate Imtiaz Bai. Please note down, write it down. <laughs> Mirza Ghulam Ahmed has written that Hazrat Musa is alive and that every year he does a hajj with 10,000 people. How many Ahmadis know that? So I, bet I, none I, of them are I rest my case and I'm so frustrated and I please Adnan Bhai in Medina pray that my family, uh, you know, uh, all convert to Islam. Uh, you know, <laughs> Alhamdulillah, my two sons have converted only last week. Uh, so <laughs> Mashallah. Mashallah. Brothers, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go now. Uh, inshallah, I'll give the chance for the other Muslims to, to come. But if uh, any of the brothers... Uh, after I leave, we can address the uh, question about prophecy, a conditional prophecy, because I find that really hard to believe, because, given that Allah knows in advance what's going to happen, so he would prophesize that way. And I suppose a recommendation I would make is, um, why don't you invite um, uh, Mirza Masru, the fifth caliph, uh, for, for a respectful debate? But, I mean, I will give credit to Mirza Ahmed on, on one aspect, he did engage in debate with, you know, Sanal and whatever. So it's right well, that the caliph also he engages didn't. in debate. <laughs> he, Mirza, 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 Mirza Saif said that you will write one line on the paper, then I will speak for two hours. This was his condition. <laughs> and now that the Amritsari came to Qadian, he actually wait. He even asked to borrow a book of Mirza, uh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Saab. And Mirza Ghulam Ahmed refused to even give him the book so that he could at least prepare for a debate. And the debate never happened. And actually, you're talking about prophecies. Mirza Saab then read a last, uh, made a last prayer. It's called the Akhri Fasla, in which he prayed to Allah that may Allah kill Amritsari if he's the liar or kill me if I'm the liar, specifically from a diarrheal illness, cholera, or from the plague. This is all written. It's written by, and when I ask Ahmadis, why did that not happen? Because the opposite happened. Sanaullah Amrasari survived. And yeah, they say then that tough. because Sanaullah okay. didn't accept the Mubaila. Well, Mr. Dawi didn't accept the Mubaila either. So <laughs> why are you making such a big uh, song and dance of Mr. Dawi? You know, uh, I can absolutely convince yeah. my Ahmadi friends, uh, brothers, if they contact me, over a cup of tea, I'm, I promise that within a few days they will understand that this whole thing is a con. After that, what happens is, and I have family members who say, you know, deep down, you're right, is hard, but you know, it's so hard to leave the Jamaat. To that, I simply say, you're answerable only to Allah, not even to your father or mother, only to Allah, not only to a Malvi uh, or anybody for that matter. Yeah, to be, that's what, be, that's what made, gave me peace. Alhamdulillah, and, is I, is I, I just love it. and I will take your leave now because I think the hospital needs me, so I do apologize. Salam alaikum. I just want to quickly add.
to what Izar Bhai said at the end, that there are people on the edge and they find it difficult to leave because they have family pressure or culture pressure, whatever it is. We just want to tell you, everyone who's on the edge, that, you know, your Akhirah, your Jannah and Jahannam is the most important topic uh, in your life that you need to be concerned about. If you end up uh, believing in wrong things deliberately, knowing well that these things are wrong, then, then you yourself are responsible. So think of Allah and His Messenger. Think of the love you have for Allah or love you should have for Allah so that Allah can guide you. And sincerely, I ask all Ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity to pray, pray to Allah sincerely that, oh Allah, if Ahmadi religion is false, show us a sign, guide us. Allah will show you signs, Allah will guide you, but you have to be a seeker. You have to be seeking. You have to be seeking. As for, as for us, we have no doubt. You know, myself, Brother Imtiaz, and other brothers uh, on the stream, Brother Hashim Mansur, we have all done our studies in our uh, respective uh, capacity. And Alhamdulillah, we have no doubt that this religion is a cult uh, that has, you know, taken a lot of people for a ride, and we want to save them, inshallah. So inshallah. remember Allah and His Messenger, and don't, you know, destroy your Akhirah over. Uh, you know, uh, your cultural, you know, norms or your feelings towards your family and all that. All those things are important. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring your families to Islam through you. You need to take the bold step like Brother Izhar. And I will pray for Brother Izhar and his family, inshallah ta'ala, in the sacred place. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you, Brother Izhar, and may Allah guide your entire family to Islam. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Ameen. Ameen. Um, I came on again. I, I, I don't know if you remember me from the last stream. Uh, yeah, I came on. Yeah, Jazakallah uh, for inviting me. And Brother Anan, I don't know if you can hear me, but I, I always want to give you my salam and, you know, you're always in my du'as. I see your, the way you debate on Speaker's Corner. Alhamdulillah, you know what? These streams are beneficial to all the Muslims out there because I've recently, the Ahmed, Ahmadiyya cult, I wouldn't call it Ahmadiyya, Qadiani cult, is spreading in my area. But when I came on last time, they weren't as uh, big as they are now. And there are brothers that are deciding to, like involve themselves. There's a big mustard that I, I didn't even know that was in Manchester uh, where I am, a Kardiani mosque. And brothers are leaving and joining the Kardianis because they, they don't understand what they're being told. And they think that this is, uh, what you call it, the hack when we know it's not. Now, the thing that I have a problem with is the fact that our brothers in Islam are getting fed this information and their Ahira is being destroyed. And I, truly believe what you're doing alhamdulillah you know what i love all you brothers for the sake of allah please do not stop these streams let these brothers know that the fact that what the Kardianis are doing is a cult it's it's destroying it's going to destroy your year after and the thing that i want i wanted to come back in and say is if you read one of uh, uh, Mirza Ghulam's books, obviously you must have read them but i just want to give this quote sirat al Mehdi, quotation number 966 uh, Mirza Glam Ahmed, he prepared a tonic with alcohol. Now, it says in this uh, quotation from Mirza, he prepared tonic for alcohol and advised it to his fellow Kardianis that is, is for depression. And he then said that although alcohol is haram, but I prepared it myself halal. Now, I then went on the KardianiAnswers.org that give answers for this. And they've written on here that they said, oh, medicine contains alcohol. That's incorrect. It's ethanol. Uh, as a man who studied science, I've got a degree in computer science, and I know medication doesn't contain pure alcohol, it's ethanol. It's a completely different substance. So I don't understand the, the fact that they're allowing alcohol, like it doesn't even say that he mixed it with anything. He just drank alcohol. And that's, we know it's haram. So why are they not seeing these things and then looking at the fact that this guy was an alcoholic? And the fact that he's telling other people to drink alcohol, that to me is not even Dajjal, it's worse than the Dajjal, the allowing Muslims to drink alcohol. Look, there were, there were other problems also, okay? We, we don't 
generally use these examples because these are personal weaknesses of Mirza. Uh, you know, there were other allegations people raised against him. The reason why we address his writings and his ideas is because this is where he is the weakest. This is where he is completely, you know, uh, you know, out of the norm. And this is where we can show that he was a liar, he was a confused man, or maybe he himself wasn't writing all this, someone else was doing it for him, you know, because there are so many contradictions and lies in his writings that it is unbelievable that how can a normal human being possibly lie through his teeth like this without any shame, okay? So I have a theory on Mirza, which is my personal theory, that Mirza was... Uh, either, you know, inspired by jinns or he was not uh, right in the head, okay? A lot of people think that maybe, uh, you know, you're trying to, uh, you know, give him uh, a way out because if he's majnoon, then Sharia is not applied on him and all that, yeah? <laughs> but, but yeah, I've heard that. I've, I've heard that saying, Brother Dran, I've heard it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah. I'm going yeah. um, to... Like brother Ali, if, if, um, if you don't Zach, mind, you're going to have waiting. Zach, everyone for having me. Uh, Me too, I'm going. And you know what? A last so piece. And before I go, I just want to say Jazakallah for having me here. And Brother Anan, it was a pleasure speaking to you. And Brother Intiaz, oh, uh, again, uh, to meet you. And Brother Hashim, again, it was lovely to meet you. Keep me in your du'as, Brother Adran, and, and uh, you two brothers. And inshallah, may Allah give me the opportunity to speak to you again. Allah Take care, Brother. Sorry, Brother Adnan, just uh, sorry, uh, Brother um, Mansour, you had to leave. Uh, it's getting late. So we just got a few more people in the back chat. Inshallah, we'll bring them all one by one. Uh, so the guys who haven't verified with your cameras on, uh, you won't be welcomed on the panel. So if you want to come on the panel, please verify with your camera on. Only I can see you in the back studio. Uh, we got Abzad here. Abzad, how are you brothers. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. How are you brothers doing? Alhamdulillah. So Where are I you have, calling from? I'm from Canada, actually. Okay. I hear there are lots yeah. of Qadian is there. Uh, not so much, but they do have a, a community and uh, they have some masajid here. But oh, is it? I, I don't think they're high in population, to be honest. Yeah, they're not. I'm just uh, kidding. Because Arazi yeah. is from there. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So my question is to uh, Adnan. And uh, the question is... Do you know of any authentic hadith that talks about uh, the second coming of Isa with with regards to um, what's it called? Uh, him performing Hajj or Umrah the second time around? Yes. Like something that that's that's sahih that's not yes. that that it cannot be disputed. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, because the Prophet Sallallahu said, uh, "By Allah." that when uh, Isa alayhi salam will return, he will do Hajj. Yes. There's an authentic okay. hadith from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Yes. So this is not, uh, this is not, it's 100% it's authentic. There's no dispute 100%. about it, right? Yeah, no dispute, no doubt. It's authentic. Okay. And because uh, that... if you bear with me, I can quickly give you a reference as well to this. Because I, yeah, sure, sure. I posted it on my, on, on my Twitter the other day. Uh, I have the exact reference. Uh, and this is one of the things I used against uh, Mirza Ghulam al Qadiani that the Prophet said that uh, Isa, the son of Mary, when he comes, he will go for Hajj. Okay? Um, yes. So I'm going to just um, pull that out for you, inshallah. Just bear with me. Uh, do you have any other questions? Uh, no, I just wanted to make this point because if we can use just one authentic hadith, something that's non-disputable, then yeah. their whole story, their whole you know message just falls on its knees right then and there. There's no need for any of the you know waffling or any of the you know. Uh, you know, my brother. You know, my brother. There is one hadith which Mirza himself has accepted, and he says that once uh, the promised Messiah will start his mission and make his claim of messiahship he will marry and he will have children yeah. now guess what then he implemented this prophecy regarding muhammadi begum 
that this marriage will be and, 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 and by the way then uh, after he made his claim of messiahship he did not marry to any women now he accepted that this is a hadith about promised messiah now we don't even need to prove the hadith because he accepted the hadith already and he did yeah. not live up to this criteria so my brother the, the only problem you know is that whenever you basically you catch them at one front then they will slip and go to something else so that is the game they play so if they stick with mm -hmm. for example as you have seen in the last two stream they are conclusive references the prophethood has come to an end as soon as they stuck on this they start jumping and discuss the death of isa alayhi salam what about isa alayhi salam so what i'm trying to say is that they don't want to let people see that something conclusive has been presented and they have been caught yeah okay no, because my um, i have found the hadith okay it's in sahih muslim hadith 1252 1252 okay so the All prophet right. of Allah said um the messenger of allah peace and blessings be upon him said by the one in whose hand is my soul the son of mary will surely answer the call of the hajj in the valley of uh, Roha or for Umrah or both together. This is in Sahih Muslim. And and wow. and they try to read Roha as Rabwa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. So uh, the hadith is the Sahih Muslim, 1252. Okay. So clearly Mirza never went for Hajj. So Mirza falls here as well as 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 a liar, basically, because he claimed to be the promised messiah the return of jesus basically so yeah because my my thinking is as a layman as, as someone who isn't learned right when you mm -hmm. when you watch these streams sometimes you kind of get lost in the details and the nuances and you just want something concrete you know what i mean yeah. so for the layman um, for for the everyday person if if this one argument here should be enough to, you know, just destroy the whole narrative, right? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe we can do one stream only on the most uh, powerful points that we think are powerful to dismantle uh, the, the 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 claims of Mirza as lies, basically. So maybe, perhaps, in the future, we can do one stream that we can cover very quickly his lies and his failed prophecies. And some of the things, some of the, some of the things, uh, as you have mentioned about the issue of Hajj, basically, because he claimed to be the return of Jesus, but the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Jesus, when he comes back, he will do Hajj. Okay, uh, Mirza never went for Hajj or Umrah, yeah, or both. Jazakallah. Uh, uh, yeah. One, one more thing, quickly. I, I know uh, you guys have to go soon. Um, so, for the second coming of Isa Alayhi Salam. He's also supposed to kill the Dajjal, literally, right, physically. And this is supposed to be happening at the end of times. And we're now, what, 130-something years after? So what, what about this as well? Yeah, it's not it's not even only about Dajjal. It's the breaking of the cross. But Mirza himself joined the cross instead of breaking the cross. Because the biggest symbol of... The cross was the colonial establishment of India in the world. The most powerful government in the world at the time was the colonial government of India. Okay, due to the wealth and uh, the, the, the power this government possessed. And Mirza was praising them lavishly, actually cementing them, even reminding them that we helped you uh, during the mutiny of 1857 when uh, Indians rose against this cruel, racist, and tyrannical rule, and Mirza's family was backing this particular establishment. So instead of breaking the cross, he cemented the cross. And he, he boasted about it in his own writings. So nothing could be more ironic than this. That what kind of Messiah is this? The, this Messiah was working for the Pharaoh, basically. Imagine Musa al -Salam start, starts working for Pharaoh and starts brutalizing uh, Banu Israel, the oppressed, the occupied Banu Israel. Would that make any sense? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no doubts. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So the, I, I, I believe this is one of the most powerful 
arguments against uh, Mirza Ghulam Muhammad Qadiani's uh, career because he lavishly prayed uh, the colonial establishment in India, which killed hundreds of millions of people. If we look at the entire length of their rule for nearly 200 years, but if we look specifically for 40 years, um, from 1880 to 1920, uh, they, they killed more people than ever before. Okay. Yeah, no. upset. Th Inshallah. Thank you, brothers. Inshallah, until next time. Assalamu alaikum. Time, yeah. Wa alaikum right. Assalam. Right, uh, we got um, Hikmat. Brother Hikmat. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You need to speak up, brother. Okay, I'm calling from Jordan. You need to close your tab. If you need to tap, you can hear an echo. I'm this. Okay. Um, is this is better? Assalamu alaikum, Yemeni. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi you look very happy today. What happened? Yeah. I had a good debate. <laughs> Someone's got. Someone needs to mute the mic. His brother needs to mute the mic. Uh, yeah, brother Hikmat, uh, you need to. Mute you know, your I think is your tab still open? Your YouTube tab? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can I yeah, just, uh, please close it. We we heard. Assalamualaikum, uh, Habibi. We heard you got smashed by Razi today badly. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, doing a quick sort of after stream with uh, Ramsey and people were in the chat they were saying oh uh, Ramsey came over uh, sorry Razi came over to uh, Darwise and done a victory prayer and I was like <laughs> okay <laughs> it's like and <laughs> he would say that wouldn't he of course he would yeah he was he was, he was waffling again so we had to get rid of him yeah of course just waste of so oh, how, how did it go overall in your in your own words no, alhamdulillah, it went well. Uh, you know, I believe that I put across what was needed to put across. What, what I did, my strategy, was to establish the usul, which I did. Well, how are we going to pro uh, provide the evidences? And then I argued from our perspective, from the Muslim perspective, of which are the what are the evidences that Isa is, is, is alive? And not only that, I managed to get in within the allocated time their narrative as well and how it doesn't work. And what their sources say. So I was even quoting Mirza Ghulam for them, right? Because at the end of the day, the, the debate was based upon authentic sources. Now, for Qadiani, shouldn't Mirza Ghulam be the most authentic source? So naturally, you know, he would be something that he would call. But Razi did not want to touch him, didn't want to touch him at all. I tried to pressure him on the whole Jesus of India thing. I was like, provide something. You like to talk about Quran and Sunnah, Quran and Sunnah, provide something for Quran and Sunnah that Isa <laughs> Islam died in Kashmir and all of that, right? He just wouldn't have it. And if, you know, uh, when I was really happy that we had the cross-examination because that's when I was really able to pressure him. And then he ended up admitting certain things which he would not normally admit. So alhamdulillah, the, 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 the weirdest thing was when he came to the debate with pre-empted rebuttal slides. I've never seen that before. Well, okay. let's say they got a lot of practice doing this waffling and this preemptive strikes and stuff yeah. like that, you know? Yeah. It's like, just did not engage with my arguments. You should have seen the way he behaved with Adnan today. Like, he yeah, threw yeah. everything at Adnan as if, I don't know why. Just like shotgun tactics. You no, know, no, it's, it's not even a debate. I think he just making, making up things, you know, yeah. just to blame him, just to make him look bad. And then he started to use uh, every Barelvi Sufi, everything out there. And try to turn us against them as if we are the bad guys and they are the only yeah. true people you know he tried story. to do that with me he tried to do that with me and ramsey he was like he, because at, in his conclusion first of all he broke our agreement which was you would not bring provide any new arguments in your conclusion he did that secondly he threw ad hominems at me and tried to turn me against uh ramsey and saying oh ramsey would have done a better job at yeah, it's a tactic they use, man. yeah it's a tactic they use and then he said, what do you call it? If you don't, this is the funniest thing. He was like, if you don't upload this debate to all the popular uh, <laughs> Dawa uh, channels, you would be admitting that you have lost this debate. Oh, and I'm like, if that's, if that's the level that you need to go to, to, to claim victory, 
then we all know who actually <laughs> won the it, debate. It, it shows you it shows you they don't care about winning or losing debates they just want to score points i yes. think it's for, for, for these missionaries it's all about scoring points with the jamaat that i'm your hero i'm your savior so i'm out and about i'm trying to defend the jamaat whether i lose or win that's not important what's important is i'm out there i'm trying to do your work basically that's the attitude these people have they have no shame some of these missionaries have no shame that dr yahya earlier lied to our face okay that you know we believe that who, those who don't believe in mirza are muslims because they're saying the shahada la ilaha illallah and then when we pulled out quotes of mirza and his sons he was just he changed the statement didn't he in the right yeah, yeah. <laughs> he changed his he changed his statement he said no if if you have completely believed in your heart you understood mirza properly then so, so what, yeah. what i mean i mean i mean look look at their level of lying the one of the main difference between them and the lahori is that they declare takfir on us and lahori don't do takfir and now uh, dr yaya was trying to you know pretend as he doesn't know this Yes. Yeah. Yes. which also completely destroys this aspect of unity oh we have unity we have khalafa no you don't you've got 11 sects within yeah. your own community <laughs> what are you on about <laughs> and brother yamani not only the sect the interesting thing is this hmm. that their first split between the lahori and the qadianis through the writings of mirza sahib they yeah. cannot even decide if he was a prophet or not Exactly. Uh, you know, this this split look at the irony this this split happened over khilafa as well by the way and yeah? uh, after the death of hakim nuruddin in 1914 uh, there was a dispute who is who is be the the khalifa muhammad ali molvi muhammad ali or uh, or bashiruddin mahmud bashiruddin mahmud yeah muhammad ali was far more learned uh, and educated than bashiruddin mahmud but because bashiruddin mahmud had Uh, amiji support support so no no, was... no adnan bhai one day one day i'll share with you that the day when this election or selection happened mirza bashiruddin mahmud played some tricks inshallah one day i'll expose those tricks as well that how he rigged the whole game to win the election yeah. <laughs> yes and that's why that's why the jamaat split into two main groups lahori and qadiani Lahori is basically this completely separated themselves the the Qadiani group and uh, you know this is where the Qadiani group basically completely separated itself from anyone who doesn't believe in Mirza's prophethood because Lahori Adnan bhai Adnan bhai you know I just want to bring this thing on record as a part of our belief we considered Ahmadis either they are Qadianis or Lahoris both of them are kuffar okay we want to make it very clear because believing in mirza sahib in any capacity because mirza sahib was a false claimant of prophethood false yes. claimant of messiahship so believing in him regarding anything is kufr exactly it's it's just like a group uh, believes in musaylama qaddaf and another group says no he's not a prophet but he's a great man or yes. he's a he's a reformer right because the, the only thing, thing the only thing that can bring lahori is out of kufr if they reject mirza that is the condition yes and i it really baffles me you know it's a phenomenon i'm still trying to make sense that if lahori is read his books and know his claims uh, about prophethood how can you possibly believe in someone like that and 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 deliberately choose to go to jahannam i just don't understand it's very difficult qadianis are far more uh, distant you know than the lahoris but uh, i don't understand how people can actually believe in this stuff adnan bhai uh, adnan bhai again obviously we all have our own uh, you know way of reaching to the conclusion but my conclusion is that the writings of mirza sahib okay mirza sahib has made very strange claim for example i just quoted today a galti ka izala in which he said that uh, Muhammad uh, Rasulullah wa Allazina wa Allazina mahu he said that I am the Muhammad in this revelation obviously this is the writing of Mirza himself and Lahori is they accept his writing so that what, what I'm trying to say Adnan by is that actually if we if uh, if we deal, really do the you know bit of research when they split after Hakim Nuruddin 
it was mainly the dispute of the position because uh, Mola, uh, Muhammad Lahori did not get the position. After that, they created a different kind of because Mirza Saab was very clear. He made repeatedly this claim. Okay, as we quoted today, in na it is in the mm -hmm. Mirza Saab's writing. Okay, so it is basically very difficult, you know, to 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 give them this margin that they really misunderstood. It's very difficult to say Adnan by this one. Yes. Yes. I'm going to bring in some more users. Yemen, you can stay there. Sir. I know it's quite late, but it's uh, if you're up. I'm not, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to stay too long because I do want to. Yeah. yeah. Assalamu alaikum, uh, Sheikh. How are you doing? Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Looks like you're on your phone today. <laughs> uh, yeah, after the uh, it gave up on me, so uh, I, I'm oh. I'm not at home. I'm away, so that's why. Okay. How are you doing? You're right. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. It's painful again. Always the same thing. Subhanallah. <laughs> what did you say? Welcome, brother Adnan. <laughs> brother Muhammad. Sheikh's asking. Salam alaikum. Yeah, Mani. Sheikh. Wa well, uh, I mean, look, uh, first thing is first, yeah? I mean, I see you, I see your brothers, you get you get surprised, for example, that, uh, what's his name, that Razi is doing, li telling lies. Look, that, that whole sect is built on lies, not about the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but about Allah Jalla wa I mean, look, if you saw phones, you're going to have phones. It's not going to give you apples. It's simple. Yes, exactly. You're, so you're going to have thorns. Mm -hmm. You're waiting for apples. It doesn't happen like that. I mean, I was too sad and pain seeing the, the debate between him and brother Yamani. All he was doing, liar and this and the other. But I, I already told brother Yamani what to expect from such a person. Let, let him, that's why I said, can you bring me on when he was in? Let him let's talk, but without without any without no laptops, nothing. Mm. And let's see what he has got in here. That's how you judge. You judge a book from its covers. But looking and lying and uh, he lies, you know, uh, he breeds lies, that person. And uh, subhanAllah. Time to debate his speaker's corner. You know, uh, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He in wouldn't. I tried that. And you know, and you, you know one, one, one important, you know, one important thing. I mean, because I, I was watching the debate, so I, I didn't join at the beginning, but I saw like briefly, you were uh, you were pressing someone called Ahmed at the beginning um, about Borosi, um, Borosi, Atta, 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 yeah. You know uh, the, the famous saying of uh, of that um, of that congressman when when the when it, uh, what happened in Egypt happened. What did he say? If it looks like if it quacks and walks like a duck, it's a duck. <laughs> as simple as that. Yeah. They, 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 that whole sect is built on lies. Now, let, so that the people understand. First of all, prophethood. You do not present yourself to be a prophet. Allahu yastafi min al malaikati. Allah Jalla wa Ala is the the one who select. Absolutely. So nobody can can present himself from the malaika or from human beings or from animals or from anything. Allah Jalla wa Ala is the one that chose. Ma kana lahum al khiyara. Ma kana lahum al khiyara. They haven't got the choice. And another thing, tell me, give me one prophet, one prophet from Adam until Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. We don't know them all, but just the ones that we know. One of them that said, today I am half a prophet, tomorrow I'm third of a prophet, after two years or five years, oh, I'm fully a prophet now. One, one minute, Mahdi. Next minute, Maryam. Next minute, Isa. One minute, Allah Jalla wa Ala. And, uh, and this, this issue of Quran.
I mean, I know Brother Yamani, maybe he didn't have enough time, but let's talk. Uh, in 1880, somebody called uh, somebody called uh, Ahmed uh, Khan Al Hindi. He's the one that translated, I mean, did the tafsir, the exegesis of the Quran. And he was the first one in India to say that Isa alayhi salam is dead. In 1884, Mirza Ghulam says that Isa ibn Maryam That's him. Now, imagine a prophet that receives a revelation, waits four years, four years, I mean, from 84 until 88, then suddenly, oh, Isa is dead and he's in Kashmir. So Allah Jalla wa waited four years to inform him. Something which already somebody has beaten him to it. Has beaten him to it. So it's either is wahi shaitani, is wahi shaitani, because it's not wahi ilahi, definitely. Allah is not going to reveal something which every Tom, Dick, and Harry knows and say, oh, it's revelation. This is the first thing. Second thing, this. Birza Ghulam Ahmed, in th this is the writings of Qadianese, and you know it. He said that he's better than, his son actually, his son Mahmoud said that he is better than the whole of the prophets. That includes Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's as simple as that. Uh, the, 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 the doctor, the doctor saying, kufr min uh, kufr duna kufr. هذا حق أريد به باطل. Yes. Quote in Ibn Abbas رضي الله عنه. And when he was pressed about to explain it, he couldn't explain it. Brother Intinas pressed him to explain it. He couldn't explain it. No. Kufr duna kufr. Why do you make statements when you cannot back them? Back them. You've got no knowledge, nothing. So keep quiet and say sorry. Can I? Can you teach me? They they mention they mention a lot of things they don't understand. They keep mentioning names. They haven't even read the books of these people and they keep mentioning It's on them. purpose, brother Adnan. It's on purpose. On purpose. Yes. Look, they have got an agenda. They come on and they do that. Look, he comes on and he's boasting. I've done this, I've done that. You're not looking for haq. He's not looking for haq. A debate is about to look for haq. That's right. That's what it is. Whatever haq is, this is for someone who is decent. You need to be sincere for that. When you, yeah, to... well, I mean, the, the decency, the decency. And anyway, you do not come and say, oh, I, I absolutely did or that. You, you call yourself a Muslim and you debate it. You call yourself a Muslim, allegedly. And, and you, you know, know Sheikh, another Muslim. You know, you know Sheikh, look, look at their character that they are, they don't even have the moral courage that if if somebody rejects a prophet of Allah, he's a kafir. Simple as that. And you know, Shaykh, distinguish. You know, Shaykh, this is interesting thing. Actually, all of these verses. The Khulafa have quoted and they have declared takfir on the Ummah. But the modern Ahmadis of today who are having this fancy thing, hate for none and something like that, love for all, a hater for none, they, they, don't, they don't have the character. If they truly love and believe that Mirza was a prophet, they must declare takfir on us. If they are not doing, they, they are dishonest. Look, they, they they consider us kuffar, but you know, yeah. taqiyya, it's the Shia, it's the Shia yeah. issue. Do the yeah. taqiyya, yeah. you know? So, so that, that's hypocrisy. Look, in his writings, in his writings, he says that we are kuffar. Yeah. Second thing, we are not to be married of them, like as if we are really dying to marry of them. Third thing, that if we die, they are not allowed to pray janazah on us. Yes, yes. And you know the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, حق المسلم على المسلم. Khams. Khams, yeah. yeah. And look, 
Janaza, they wouldn't. Now, now, they they misquote a hadith when they say that you know if you call somebody kafir that kafir no if you unjustifiably call somebody a kafir a hook a hook you're meaning you're discussing with another muslim yeah. and you make takfir on him and yeah. he is not he's, he's found out not to be a kafir we're yeah. talking about two muslims two muslims yes. but i am talking to a kafir yeah. So, this is the difference. This is the difference. But Actually, look, you know, Sheikh, you know, Sheikh, the problem is, you you might have seen that when I was quoting with emphasis that Mirza Sahib said that the first advent was under Mars and second one under Jupiter. Because this shows the level of, you know, uh, you can say the evidence he was, because this, this, this guy was quoting all of these things, which is haram. It's, it's astrology. This is what the Hindus use. Yeah, you yes, know, yes. and uh, all these things. You know. Let, let, let me let me astrology. give you uh, just uh, look. I'm going to give you a comparison between the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I shouldn't do it. Wallahi, I shouldn't do it because the status of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam bi abi huwa wa ummi is. I think, yeah. I think, Sheikh, don't, I, I think, Sheikh, you know, you should not even, maybe just leave it, because you know why, Sheikh, this man is no, not... It's very important, him. it's very important, the, the reason why I want to say it is, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, there were the Byzantines, there were the Persians, and the, we had Nasara Najran, Najran is, is Saudi now, Najran is in Saudi, we yeah. had the Nasara of Najran, now Surah Al-Buruj, Surah Al-Buruj talks about them, However, yes. Yes. they came to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You know, they asked, he answered them once. When they started going on and on, Allah Jalla wa Ala said, Inna mathala Isa ka mathali Adam khalaqahu min turab wa qala lahu kun fayakun. Then they went on, faman hajjaka fihi min ba'di ma jaaka min al-ilm. فقل تعالوا مبهلة straight away تعالوا he the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم didn't go debating people debate this one and debate this one and debate this one the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم straight away do you believe you don't you disbelieve Allah جل وعلا told him مبهلة straight away let's not uh, like left and right and center now these people he goes to Abdullah Atham. He slaughtered him. He 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 made he he laughed at him. Two of his murids, two of his followers, declared themselves to be Christians straight away. <laughs> when he loses, every time he loses, oh, I'm going to do. Uh, I've I've received revelation. What kind of revelation? Shaitan, shaitan asking a shaitan. Prophecy is on defeat. Kuri. This is the first one. Then he goes to the Hindu. Uh, the the um, forgot his name. He goes to the Hindu. Then he Lekram. goes here. He, Lekram. Huh? Lekram, Lekram. Yeah. yeah. So so basically from one minute to, to the other minute. But you know, subhanallah, that that filthy liar of of Razin, and I hope he's listening. And if you are listening, Razin, come speaker's corner or or on dawa wise you know what bring your bring your your panels and have people to help you there and, uh, and me on my own by the grace of allah nothing wallahi nothing i'll have someone to testify that i'm not using anything and bring it on yalla <laughs> this is this is for you bring it on Bring the Moroccan that you have got, or bring the Jordanian Arab speakers, and bring it on. Right. And stop you know, mentioning you know, brother you know, Adnan you know, when he's not there. You debating you know, with someone and you going about Adnan, Adnan this, Adnan the other, Muhammad Hijab. And when you are in front of them, you start waffling. Astaghfirullah al the, 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 the hadith, the hadith, the hadith is known. Is you know when the when the Muslims were fighting the the Byzantines, it happened in the Levant in Sham, 
It happened. Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu went to visit the Sahaba. And then what happened? They said, oh, Amir al-Mu'mineen, Amwas is called Ta'un Amwas. They said, Abdul Rahman ibn Awf was there with him. They told the they told the uh, Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu, but he it's not that he didn't believe the Sahaba always wanted, especially Umar. He wants proof. It happened to him with Abu Huraira radiyallahu anhu when he said to him, "If you don't bring me someone else to confirm to concur what you're saying, you are in trouble." That's Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu anhu. Then Abdul Rahman ibn Awf he wasn't there. Then he comes and he confirmed, he concurred that actually the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ida halla had al bawau bi ard al 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 balau bi ardin fala tadkhuluha wala yakhrujan ahdan kum maqal sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Now, Brother Adnan can correct me in here, since he is a historian. In this country, in Derbyshire, I think 18, uh, 17 or 16th century, if I'm not, uh, in Derbyshire, a village, a village was hit by Ta'un. And uh, I think the mayor or whoever was at the time, he would not allow anybody coming out or anybody goes in. He absolutely bordered the village. The reason why there is a hikmah, wisdom behind it. If you let people out, they're going to spread it. If people, healthy people come in, you increase the, you increase the, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the illness. Yeah. So it's better to, it's so this is, this, yeah, yeah. So basically, the Amwas, he's going to, he's going Amr ibn al-As and, uh, and straight away, you make takfir, you do this. Yeah, you're a kafir, we know that. So whatever you say, we don't take it on, 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 you know, subhanallah. We have these people, I know, the, the ones that do not know, yes, we have to be uh, lenient with them and that. But like the likes of him and the likes of that, uh, the, the one um, that wouldn't, wouldn't admit to Buruz and the doctor, also he's well educated, but it just shows you... What, what, what does serve what's your education serves you absolutely yeah, Sheikh, uh, we need to wrap up you know, quickly you know Sheikh, but, uh, if anybody stay, if stay anybody there i'm just going to bring in some more people yeah. in the back from the back oh. chat because we need to close it's been nearly eight hours yeah. Yeah. the brothers have to go and rest you know so inshallah we'll just uh, uh, by the way yamani if you are tired i mean you're welcome to leave but you're welcome to stay as well uh, no, if, if you're gonna keep on enjoy the company, I, yeah, I do. I, if it was any other time, I would, but it's too early for a very I'm long time. Other guys, just you have to leave. Time. all right. Yeah. Shaykh, inshallah, take care. And, uh, keep us in your dwas. See you when you come back, inshallah. Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm off as well. well. So, uh, all right, take care, your money. Sorry, are you, are you staying? Yeah, no, 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 I'm gonna go now as well. Okay. He's coming down tomorrow, inshallah. Inshallah, inshallah. that's the plan, but we'll, we'll see how tired I still am. <laughs> but uh, yeah, inshallah, I'll come down tomorrow. Inshallah. All right, okay. see you tomorrow. Inshallah. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. All right, we got uh, Brother Zach here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What's on your mind, Zach? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm Abdul Razak from Ghana. I, I called the other time. Yes, yes, you came last time, yeah. How is everything? Good? Uh, answers to my questions. During during the debate between Brother, uh, brother Al Yemeni and then Razi the liar, you know, most of the times, these people, they are very smart and trickish and telling lies. When when you talk when you talk about something, they will tell they will tell you let's go to the Quran and Sunnah, and a layman will think they have something to offer. Meanwhile, to the contrary, they distort verses and then you know they make pick and choose. That was what Razi did today, and the most annoying part is that he will be the first person to be declaring someone as a liar, whilst he is actually lying, and that was actually what he did. He did he did. Uh, uh, during the debate, you know, he's telling lies and he will quote this, he will mention this scholar, he will mention this. And you know, they talk, they talk about co uh, uh, context whenever you expose them from Mr. Mirza Gulam's uh, 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 handwritings, and they will say you are reading out of context. 
politics. But or, or Ramazi will go and yeah. uh, make. Or yeah, correct. yeah, he will go and uh, 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 pick and choose. He will go and quote this book. This uh, 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 to be uh, Imam Kul to be said so so and so. But he will not listen to the context. And uh, at a point, he was saying Imam Kul to be meant mutawafika um, means um, umituk. But he has also forgotten in that same in that same uh, book that he was quoting, Imam Kul to be explain what the mumit means, just like Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Oh, um told us so i was looking for a time i was i i actually wanted to join the state to ask him this question rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said he taught us when you are going to sleep the dua we should make allahumma bismika amut wa ahya and then when we wake up alhamdulillah ladhi ahyana ba'da ma amatana wa ilayhi nushur so in this case the word matter that was used in this context doesn't mean we die we die physically but you know when you when you want to catch them i don't know how to describe you jump here then you go to another place and actually sometimes well like, i get uh, i get annoyed because but you know it, the, you, you know sorry to, you know you know tawafa tawafa it means qabada. that's that's what it is it's like you say tawafa to dynam in fulan so i took my i took or i received the, my uh, the bet from so and so, so so uh, and if you say istawfaytu, that's the perfection, al kamal. Yeah. So tawafa. You know. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, and there is always, you know, the, you have when you say tawafa, you have always to do a contextual association, parina, which is you always say tawafa You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, I will say this one thing, Shahna. Inshallah, you know, this Razi coming every day, jumping up and down, you know, the death of Isa alayhi salam, it is just a matter of weeks now. Inshallah, I am doing my extensive research on everything Razi has ever said on his channel. Inshallah, I'm taking my notes. We will my, bury him. In, inshallah, the we'll challenge is open. The challenge is yes. open on the Dawah wise whenever he wants. It won't take more than half an hour. Wallahi, it won't take more than half an hour yeah. on the Our Wise channel. So, okay, brother, Zab, nothing. Uh, take care. Yeah, so, Radhi, um, be careful. I'm watching your videos. I'm taking my note. Be careful. Ready? Don't speak without care. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Assalamu uh, Take care. Right, uh, you know, you know, you know. Today, today, he he lied about uh, Imam Ibn Taymiyyah, rahmatullahi alayhi, when he said that Ibn Taymiyyah, he said that Ibn Taymiyyah is of the opinion that uh, uh, Isa Ibn Maryam, alayhi wa ala after the salatu is 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 uh, is made. And the other thing, he quotes he quotes uh, uh, Imam uh, Imam Ibn Hazm Ibn Hazm al Andalusi. Now, Ali ibn Hazm al-Andalusi is a Bahiri. Now, anybody, anybody that has got, that, that knows a bit of fiqh and, and the scholarship and that, he will know that the Bahir people, they go by the literal sense of the, you know, like ibn Hazm, for example. You know, in Safa and Marwa, if you are a Bahiri, you have to do 14. 14. If you go to the fiqh of zakah of the Dahiriya, it's got a different thing because they take the nusus ala Dahir. They don't do qiyas, for example. There is no qiyas. So there is a lot of, a lot of different issues. So to come and to bring Ibn Hazman to say that. The other issue he said, he said also that there is ijma' al-sahaba, ijma' al-sahaba, he said ijma' iqrari, that Isa ibn Maryam is dead. He said, Ijma. And, and do you know, I mean, we have got Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu. He narrates from the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam a, a silsila dhahabiyya that Isa ibn Maryam is alive. Is alive. Descending. I mean, he, t he tells the brother, give me hadith that says that he, he was raised to the... To the if, if Quran is not enough for you, how what, what are you gonna do with the hadith? Brother, I, I mean, what is Allah Jalla wa'ala? Yeah, true. Oti Salaam bro, how are you doing? Wa alaikum salam, brother. Brother, can I say something? May Allah put all of you to Jannah. I mean, 
But what it is, um, what is my blood is boiling what, when these Ahmadiyas are they're beating around the bush. They're not, I'm from Lahore, and what I see, they just they talk so much lies as it is because Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the only last prophet and he's the source of all prophets. But this is one surah that I found in the Quran, you must know it, is Surah Ankabut, Ayah 64. Allah says, people play around in this earth and entertainment, but do they know that afterlife is their real home? That's true, yeah. Absolutely. Allah Allah Yes, of you course. Know. Yeah, of course in the, in, that is one miracle that Allah is telling these lies. Do you know your afterlife is your real home? And you just messing around, beating around the bush on all of us. But you know, just look at the way he ended up. It tells you everything. Exactly. His death, how did he die? Allah, Allah. That's what I'm saying. Allah cursed them anyways. Anyone... Allah can do anything. Oh, right. Not according to them, not according to them, Allah can do anything, but He won't do. Because you know, like you know. Allah will not, Allah will not, uh, will not let, uh, let uh, Isa ibn Maryam, alayhi wa 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 alayhi Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, when he himself could, obviously he was a false person, he of could not he perform a miracle, and then he ended up destroying the miracles of all the prophets. Allah <laughs> Allah. You, see, you see what you don't do, and this is what we should do. He, he has a revelation, true or not. Mm. And no. all the revelations is stolen from Quran anyway. Mm. Let him quote one revelation and we compare it to one to, to just yeah. to just three verses of from quran three verses it's all plagiarized but, but no, no no even the you know when you plagiarize mm -hmm. at least take the context and make it make it subhanallah yes. this is revelation i don't think he was that clever no, 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 he wasn't. He wasn't. Check it. Look, look, look at the classic one. Inna anzalnahu qariba min al qadiyan. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. Subhanallah. Uh, the Musaylim al Kadab. When, when he wanted, he said, he said, uh, yeah. What, what did he say? Was zariati zaran. والطاحنات طحنا والعاجنات عجنا فالاكلات لقما you know he's the but at least at least it made a bit of sense I'm so angry what he was saying about so many things here that oh because he was mocking the Quran as it is here but they need to stop it because end of the day here end of the day it's up to Allah what Allah is going to do to him because end of the day it's your Makiyama. We have to pull up our socks in your Makiyama. How are we going to respond to Allah on that day? Yes. End yes. of the day, I'm, my, half of my body is already in the grave. That's right. Okay, brother Oti, Jazakallah khair. We just got May Allah give you Jannah and May Allah give you happiness. I mean, I mean, keep us in Allah. We just got uh, two, one, two. Yeah, about two people now, inshallah. Oh, three, sorry. Okay, uh, Islamic response to 21st century, sorry. Couldn't see the last bit. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Sorry, uh, just one second. Uh, those people who joined at the back, uh, so Tawheed, yeah, and Obeda, we can't take you on because we are closing yeah. yeah. yeah, for you. Uh, yeah, firstly, uh, uh, congratulations to entire Daba Vice team again. And, um, you know, Muslims, I, I, I think uh, a lot of credit has to be given to, you know, uh, bro Brother Imtiaz, uh, you know, and uh, Adnan Rashid, they were, you know, the main representatives. But I will give a lot of credit to Brother Hashim as well for, you know, uh, conducting and moderating all these uh, discussions because uh, uh, I think uh, Muslims have now become sort of a brand and leading role 
uh, in terms of you know conducting these discussions because i remember uh, 10 years ago when uh, the christians uh, like sam shamoon were having discussions with the unitarian christians and they used to call them all uh, sort of labels like sons of satan and all these kind of things and the way we are conducting these discussions is i think it's really commendable and uh, muslims have now taken the leading role i think towards all these discussions and all these debates and that's why I, my name 21st century suggests that now uh, when this internet thing started and in today's world you see that muslims have now you know uh, uh, gained all the ground back in terms of debates and discussions and atheists christians whatever you call them muslims are now the leading role in uh, into towards them and credit has to be given to daba wise team uh, you know for conducting all these great discussions uh, mm -hmm. a, a few points i would like to mention about uh, today again uh, uh, about ahmadi is that they beat around the bush they don't uh, you know give uh, uh, straight answers uh, and you know i am from pakistan i am from lahore udhar bhi ye baat na one thing has proved proven these uh, streams have proved proven is that uh, you know uh, brother hashim and brother imtiaz in uh, lahore and pakistan there is a trend about ahmadis कि ये ना आपको फंसाते बहुत हैं इनसे बच के रहो ये घुमाएंगे बहुत ज्यादा इसलिए इनके साथ जरा डिस्कशन नहीं करनी चाहिए सो दिस वाज अ ट्रेंड यू नो बिफोर ऑल दिस यू नो स्ट्रीम्स दैट यू पीपल हैव डन एंड यू नो इट हैज ऑलमोस्ट प्रूवन बिकॉज यू हैव यू पीपल हैव डन ऑल दिस सेवन स्ट्रीम्स एंड यू हैव फाउंड आउट दैट दैट दे कैन नॉट गिव अ स्ट्रेट आंसर यू स्पेंड फोर आवर्स आई आई लिसन टू ब्रदर इम्तियाज यस्टरडे ऑन वन क्वेश्चन he was asking again and again that do you believe that mirza ghulam ahmed is the last prophet and none of them for 4 hours give a straight response today again one question he asked that do you consider us to be muslims and for 45 minutes there isn't a straight answer i mean uh, this this has been a trend in all these streams right it's uh, actually uh, it's more than a trend uh, secondly, because uh, you know uh, it shows uh, Razi, that the heart when you and, got the truth yeah. Mm. when you, when mm. you have the truth then you can respond easily and directly when you don't have the haq then you have to spin the lies and the more lies yeah. you spin the longer your answer gets and the more confusing and the more incoherent it gets yep. and this is the case when you, regardless of which yeah. bathal religion you look at whether it's yeah, christianity and... whether it's um, hinduism or whether it's this qadianism you know all of mm. these isms they are full of it atheism yeah they will have to spin the lies but uh, yeah just of luck bro exactly right yeah, so may so love bless you similar with the uh, yeah similar so with the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, just a uh, couple of more yeah couple of more points uh, quickly you know razi razi came in uh, boasting about you know uh, boasting about he has won the debate this is not about debates or winning debates religion is not about this religion uh, you know it it motivates you to look up it it's a sincere search towards the truth right so it's not about winning debates it's not a competition it's about a sincere uh, search towards the truth and and that that will be my advice to brother razi and not to you know get so much involved into these you know things like uh, winning debates so that i can seek attention i can seek views it's not about this islam is not about this islam is about you know a sincere uh, search towards the truth and uh, 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 uh that's the main thing about brother yeah uh, dr yah yah one important point i need to mention is that you know uh, brother hashim you mentioned about concealing the truth uh you know he was picking into the mistakes of the scholars uh, uh to justify and uh, you know uh, uh, putting an allegation that we don't we disown scholars like you know this was a kind of language used by him uh you, you know when islam was uh, there is a difference between religious language and philosophical language when islam uh, you know when you look at the history of islam in early on amazing scholars like imam ghazali came in imam ibn taymiya came in all the islamic philosophical language was evolving with time irtaqa ke marahil se guzar raha tha during that time some scholars did make some mistakes and we do not we disown those mistakes we disown those minority mistakes but we do not disown the scholars this is the main point and he was trying you know again uh, trying to uh, somehow uh, uh, pick into these mistakes to justify their but alhamdulillah uh, narratives. alhamdulillah and brother adnan was he, right that this, this is uh, he then know, apologized at yeah. the end <laughs> that's true okay uh, brother jazakallah yes, yes. for you and last point again uh, 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 is to just show last point just to show comparison 
the yeah, profession go on, towards go on. them. I'm a little bit against the word, you know, a cult, using the word cult against them. Uh, a little bit against that. I think we should still show compassion towards them. And with that, Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Okay, we got um, just two more people now. Masin, yalla. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam wa uh, I'll just uh, make it quick. Uh, just a little comment on the fact that uh, the Ahmadi is on their stream, and uh, also this this reasoning uh, the bring up is that uh, this is the messianic age, that there is the need of a prophet at this point, or you know the previous century, you know. So uh, I think so a very strong argument, uh, brothers can add. Uh, to dismantle that uh, in terms of using Islamic history, uh, apart from the knuckle we do from our akwal, that you know that's not possible. But for the fact that in the 13th century, when the Mongols uh, took over and uh, they destroyed the Khwarezm Shah and then the Abbasid Caliphate, and then when they were you know about to just enter into uh, Egypt, the last civilization, uh, Muslim civilization remaining, yeah. uh, at Ain and Jalut. You know the last stand of you know Rukhuddin Baibar and the uh, Mamluk kings. At the definite battle, you know uh, the the fortunes reversed. But the point is that uh, during that time, the the uh, who, uh, the scholars, Islamic scholars, uh, historians who paint a picture that Islam was absolutely at the brink because the populations were decimated, the morale was at fallen. The Sufi scholars like Attar and uh, uh, and Rumi, they they had said that the, you know it's like the 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 time for dua is finished. Now we have to pick our swords. Even at that time, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala did not like send a prophet or some direct you know divine intervention. What happened on the other hand is that the very Mongols amongst them, the Golden Horde, they converted to Islam. Like Islam, they destroyed Muslims, and the and Islam won them over. It happened like it, it, it was like truly a miraculous. Uh, and no one can explain this phenomenon, even the uh, Western Indians. So, if at that dis desperate moment Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, uh, anything as such did not happen, you know, a, a Messiah or a Prophet did not come. So this pu purely demonstrates that Islam uh, is 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 complete. It's enough for us. And uh, this is the Messianic age. It's all subjectivity, and I don't think that these arguments can stand. You know, yeah, just to add to that, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, تَرَكْتُكُمْ عَلَى الْمَحَجَّةِ الْبَيْضَةِ لَيْلُهَا كَنَهَارِهَا لَا يَزِيغُ عَنْهَا إِلَّا هَالِكْ I left you on the straight path, right, clean. The day is similar to the night. The only, only a destroyed person, a self-destroyed person that will uh, that, that will uh, deviate from it. So, the... Uh, the uh, Allah Jalla, we have got the book of Allah and we've got the tradition of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What more do we need? If we if we if we uh, hold firm to this, to the rope of Allah, which is the Quran, if we hold firm to the rope of Allah, which is the Quran, it is an, and the tradition of the Prophet. When I say the Quran, it includes also the the the, 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 the hadith, the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We, we will lack nothing. Inshallah. Anyways, thank you very much. We will uh, lack nothing. But, yeah. but because we, we start being now far away from, far away from, uh, far away from it, that's why, that's why we are where we are at the moment. You know, we're talking about Ain Jalut. It was yeah. with the uh, Khazan, which is, the, the, they were supposed to be Muslims. But Sheikh Islam ibn Taymiyyah, rahmatullahi alayhi, he made fatwa, he said, fight them, they are not Muslims. Because they had they had a book, which had some of the Quran, some of it was Judaism, some of it was Christianity and that. So not, every, not everybody that comes and says, I'm a Muslim, mm -hmm. we have to, uh, you know, it's like as brother uh, Hashim does so many times and people come to him, they go, oh, I'm a next Muslim. Five minutes down the line, that's it, exposed. Okay, thank you, Sheikh. You know, uh, thank was, you very much. Uh, Saifuddin Kutus in Ain Jalut. Yes, yes, Kutus, yes, yeah, absolutely. Kutus, yeah, Kutus. Yeah. It was from the Mamalik, Mongol. they called him, Mamalik. the entire, what do you say, the tsunami of the Mongols. Yes. Uh, the, if it did the happen most... then... You, I mean, history would be very different. 
Yes, I mean, Jochi, the son of uh, Genghis Khan, uh, his, his son, Barke Khan, he converted to Islam, the golden no, horde. Barke Khan was, yes, no, Barke yes. Khan, yes, did. Yes. But Ghazan, the last one, the last yes. one, he, he, he was pretending that he's a Muslim. You know, it's like Napoleon Bonaparte when he, when he went to Egypt. That's, he declared uh, Sheikh, that he was a Muslim. Sheikh, but that's he wasn't. The, it, that's the Il Khanate. That's the. Uh, it, it was the yeah, that's after. That's, that's after Hulabu. Barka Khan. That's, that, no, Barka Khan was the Golden Horde. This is the Horde of the Hulagu, Hulagu Khan, the ones who are actually coming to against the Muslims. Yeah, yeah. many of their sons converted, actually. Yes. Anyways, thank okay, you very much. Okay. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. We got uh, our last guest, uh, Omar. Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I have to, to say, mashallah, tabarakallah. You have so much patience, all of you. Mashallah, tabarakallah. Eight hours. Uh, I, I was uh, on the other stream, uh, debate between Razi and uh, Al Yamani. Uh, um, unfortunately, it's the same, it's the same thing that they cannot give a straight answer. And uh, I don't know. I, I, didn't, I don't think I missed much. I think for before I joined here, it's the same thing. I don't think they answered anything. So I joined just in time uh, before before Razi by a few minutes. And he did hear the same thing that he did there. Uh, the same sheikhs is quoting Ibn Taymiyyah said this. So it's very clear. He quotes a few things and says it's very clear that uh, Nabi Isa is uh, dead. No, it's not clear. He, he just quotes things here. And it's very clear what Ibn Taymiyyah's position is. And the brother Yaman, mashallah, tabarakallah, he was straight to the point. All the sheikhs, he it's like he knew who is going to court. And all the sheikhs that he was he brought up later, Al Yaman already mentioned their positions directly without any contradiction. What they believe that Nabi Isa alayhi salam is raised and he's alive with the word that he's alive, he did not die. He caught he brought these quotes and he did not answer. I mean, this guy's he has a rebuttal before the debate. His rebuttal is ready. I don't know if you guys, I don't think you saw it yet, but his rebuttal is ready. Like when it was time for the rebuttal, he immediately put up a slide with the first rebuttal with all the points. Like, how did you get a rebuttal in, in and prepare like uh, so many slides in 10 seconds or half a minute? <laughs> Even uh, he called him out on this, that uh, how do you have a rebuttal before you hear my points? It's like... <laughs> wahi, 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 revelation. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Or maybe, maybe he has like... A Call him free, I'm kidding. He has so you, chat you, you just write listen. down a lot of things that you expect uh, to be yeah, anticipated. Like, <laughs> so he didn't listen at all. He didn't listen to... It's yeah, very clear. He didn't listen to al because he didn't answer any of these points. And then they he's going on... Of of man, here, you should know so this. So excited, I mean. opening his eyes so wide that like he smoked something or uh, just like proud of his victory it's not a victory even even if even if he proved that isa alayhi salam is dead how does this prove anything about ahmadiyya how does it prove anything about ahmadiyya look look uh, look he keeps he keeps on bringing dead. ibn abbas he keeps on bringing ibn abbas let's let's look at the aqidah of ibn abbas in isa alayhi salam ibn yeah, abbas no, he, keeps, he keeps bringing he's the one that is narrating the hadith of Nuzul Isa alayhi salam. Shaykhina, Shaykhina, I would say, uh, uh, Brother Umar, I would say one thing. Uh, these Ahmadiyya clerics, they have played one trick very successfully, unfortunately. And the trick is, the topic is descending of Isa ibn Maryam. That's the topic. And they, mm -hmm. have, made the, and they have made the topic death of Isa alayhi salam, which is irrelevant topic because, as exactly. Sheikh mentioned before as well, even if, and Umar Bayou said as well, if it is proven, and it has been said by many people before Mirza Sahib as well, as Sayyid Ahmad, uh, Sheikh mentioned before, from the Hindi, you know, his Hindi, and there are other people as well. So, so what? So what? It does not prove anything. The, the, the trick they have played is, because there is no way to prove that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was Isa ibn Maryam who descended from heaven. They cannot prove this. So they have very tactfully changed the whole subject to death of Isa a.s. That's why you should always bring them back to this topic. You should always bring them back to Mirza. That uh, They try to run away from that. That's why so many topics they want to discuss, but none of them proves anything about Ahmadiyya. 
it doesn't you know what, brother Omar? Brother Omar, look, yeah. we have got nothing to hide. We are on haq. Let them bring whatever they want to bring. Let yeah, them bring it. But what I'm trying to say is that this is how they play their deceptions, you know. They, 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 they would play deceptively. Why? Because they do not have the courage to defend Mirza Ghulam Ahmed. Exactly. We, we are ready to defend the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes. Any, so many attacks throughout history, they have been attacking the Prophet and we have always been proud to defend him. We are looking forward to defending Wallahi the, Umar, it is, the Wallahi Prophet Wallahi Sallallahu Umar, Alhamdulillah, uh, I, don't, I, I did not want to mention, but I know that uh, Sheikh uh, Ibn Hazm, I know, I know personally, he is, I think he is awake for the last three, four, three, four days continuously reading the books. Why? To defend the honor of Rabbi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because our lives, our children, our everything we can sacrifice on the feet of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But because these guys, they are not even loyal, they are not loyal even with Mirza. لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده ونفسه أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم الآن يا عمر الآن الآن يا عمر you know it's uh, in, in order you know, to like, like like brother Hashim keeps saying they throw, they throw him under the bus even the prophet in order to to justify the degeneracy of the false prophet they even find mistakes and make comparisons with our beloved uh, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Astaghfirullah. They try to, to, to find the same, like some uh, similarities and say, so, see, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also did this, so it's okay for Mirza to do this. Actually, no. Brother Umar, when they are unable to defend their false prophet, they end up destroying the institution of prophethood altogether. Exactly, exactly. Right. Look, is, uh, have, you, have you have you seen the have you seen the hadith of the description of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Look, read Imam Tirmidhi, read read the people that describe the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and look at Mirza Ghulam. That's true. I, I, think, I think you have. You to know, Sheikh, one thing, one thing, inshallah, inshallah, it will be coming very soon. They keep saying that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad did the obedience. I want to ask them what obedience he did. He was not praying in the masjid. He was, we know his fasting. He never paid zakat. He never go for hajj. He was bad with his family. What obedience he did? Look, look, let's, let's put this. There is not a prophet that did not make a hajj. Not a prophet that hasn't gone for hajj. Okay? Now, this is the first thing. Zakah is the third pillar. The third pillar. Shahada, shahadatain, salah, zakah, zakah. This is, yeah? And the he other was a thing. Rich man. Sheikh, 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 he, wa, he, he claims to be very rich man, by the way. He claims to be. Yeah. The, and secondly, you know, Sheikh, look at this one. I'm going to say one thing in 30 seconds to destroy his prophethood. You know what? Sheikh, you know the hadith. The prophets. They do not inherit from someone and neither somebody inherit from there's a condition of profit. And yeah, guess what? Yeah. Yes, Mirza, no, no, Mirza went to the court of law to get inheritance of his ancestors. Yeah, look, Nahnu Ma'ashir al Ambiya, Lanu Wari to Dirhaman Wala Binaran. Matarakanahu Fahuwa Sadaqa. Yes, yes. Fahuwa Sadaqa. He 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 inherited from the ancestors. And then he kids inherited from him. This one thing destroys all. And secondly, Shaq, you know what? As you know, the hadith, all the prophets, they've been shepherd of the goats and a sheep. Was yeah. he shepherd? Yeah. Was he a shepherd? And, and, and the Prophet وسلم, said, said, Hatta ana kuntu ar'a, kuntu ar'a ghunaymat li fulan. Bi, bi yes. had a, look, look, it's not only that. I have got, I have got, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. Well, he, 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 ha he doesn't know Quran. He's not learned Hafid, like what we say, Hafid. A prophet, Billy or Boruzi, or he can call it whatever he wants to call it, caricature, whatever he wants to call it. However, he, he does not know Quran. Did you yes, know that he used to drink, yes, he used to yes, drink alcohol have, and take, and have, take... We, uh, yes, we have reference, we have reference. 
he read he used to recite Quran in Punjabi. <laughs> Who used to write his books in Arabic? No, no, you know, you know, you know, he he t he takes a pun. He take he took the. Um... Oh, I wanted to ask. Uh, I think it's it's a good idea to have uh, Arabic speakers discuss with them. Discuss with Ahmadi. Let let them get those people with. Uh, I, I uh, put in the challenge. I put in the challenge. I put in the challenge. Let him come. They, they will not accept. They will not accept. I, I would not use reference. I would not they use would, laptop uh, or anything. Anything. And he's welcome to use references. They will look like a joke to the Arabs. Guys, we, we got some good news. MashaAllah, Brother Afnan has reached 100,000. Alhamdulillah. MashaAllah. Alhamdulillah. Uh, uh, praying for that. Uh, may Allah give him baraka and accept. Uh, and uh, I think Brother Afnan, uh, Allah, he, he has so much patience. Today, he did, he he was, uh, what Raz was trying to do is was trying to wind him up. And, uh, oh, how can you do this in Medina? Say Wallahi, say Wallahi, like a child. And his, his behavior, <laughs> is not, it, it's a shame that they put this guy to defend their beliefs. I think he should not be authorized. If I was Staffullah, 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 if, if I was an Ahmadiyya, I will not allow this guy to defend me. I will not allow this guy, I will not authorize him to go to any stream to talk about Ahmadiyya. They need it's clowns, right? they need clowns, they need clowns. Because they haven't got, they haven't got academically bright people to come and defend, so they need clowns. Shekhena, first you need, first you need to divorce the intellect, then you become Ahmadi. That's the condition. Yeah. I, okay, I brothers, just wanna, we really need to wrap up now. It's been over eight and a half hours, and I think we have exceeded our record. <laughs> one minute. Okay. Next time Razi comes on your stream, just ask yeah. him to argue with, to discuss with anybody for one minute. He always asks for one minute, one minute. I haven't finished my one minute. Oh, blah blah blah. Just yeah. tell him one minute, no English, talk in Arabic only. Let's see how much Arabic you know. You are just reading from a script. It's so obvious. Any Arab can see that you're reading from a script. So just talk yeah. in Arabic for one minute or two minutes and put the timer there and let's see if you can speak Arabic for two minutes. That's right. Okay. Jazakallah khair, brother. Uh, inshallah, alaykum alaykum next alaykum. time, uh, keep us all in your duas. And um, I I think, will go uh, yeah, I think thank, you, thank you all the moderators for Salam. helping out. Uh, I know it's been quite long. Uh, may Allah reward you all uh, for Amin. your patience, Amin. for your effort. And yeah, Jazakallah khair to Sheikh... Um, and and brother Imtiaz as well. May Allah keep you firm, and may Allah uh, help us, you know, to to benefit from you all. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. we we do indeed benefit from you. So Jazakallah khair. Until next time, um, shadun la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka. Barakallahu. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.